keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletter. Go to sewingstreet.com and scroll down to the bottom of the homepage. Type in your email address and click the envelope. That's it. You'll never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. One, top one, top one. There's something wrong with... Oh, there you go. Fixed it. Thank you. Uh, good morning. Now, I'm echoing really badly, Bruce, just so you know. Something must be loud in there. Santa turned me up. Or turn me off. <laughs> Only on, she says, or off. Uh, we've had quite a morning already this morning. Uh, if they're to play back the tape this morning of the, ga of the, the gallery, they'll have a great time. Anna's not in a good, just so everybody knows, she's laughing now, but it's that kind of manic laugh. Literally, we walked in and, we, and like, she was like, morning! And we're like, oh, she's very bright. She's like, right. And then just started, <laughs> got the first one out of her system, got the second one out of her system, got the third one out of her system. Then she told the story about Steph, her boyfriend, which was very funny. Then she started again. She's like, I've just got to get out of the system. Then Bex Reed arrived and she started all over again. Anyway, uh, should we do the early bed? It'll be out for the system soon, she says. Have a biscuit. So, oven mitt, William Morris. A gorgeous oven mitt, isn't it? It should be 9 99 It's our early bed, not 9 99 today. No, no, no. God, this is good. Christmas, Christmas, Christmas. 6 99 6 99 I'm demoing, I'm demoing. Yeah, could you come from above? There you go. Uh, uh, Dan, do we have like a, a Pyrex dish or a, an oven? Uh, an oven oh, okay. Apparently to find the bowl takes half an hour, but we may have, a, you know, like a, something straight from the oven. <laughs> Hang on, because it'll be hot. Right, no, 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 but, but you keep hold of it, look, look. Oh, oh. How did it get here? Because Dan's, <laughs> Dan's got the rest of his hand. Oh. Tray bake. It'll be because Craig from Crafters Companion would have brought in some cakes on it, would he? Anyway, be careful, because it's very, very hot. <laughs> well, it's going to be one of those days, they right, check out, check out, check out, Christmas presents, so it's 6 99 Oh, no, I've got to, what, what have I got to do an impression of later? Oh, a giraffe. Morning, John. So dark and dreary here. So good to see your happy shirt and your cheery voice. Oh, Gwen, thank you so much. It's miserable. Where has this, all this rain come from? It's terrifying, isn't it? At 6 99 keep going through, keep going through. Oh, now, uh, people are multi-buying. People are multi-buying. Does that mean so you, can, so you can have one on, you know, left one and a right one? Yeah. Hilary says, morning, lovely John. Anne says, good morning. Claire says, good morning. Sue says, good morning. Alice and Marion's watching. Uh, 6 99 come on, come on. Loads of you there. Loads of you there. Buy two, buy two. Hannah ever only buys one. I only ever buy the, do I don't have them like this. I have, the, I have those. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, I don't know if I'm supposed to tell you this, right? Next week, we're filming all these little um, eye dents and things like that for you to watch and everything. And we had to give our 10 top tips, right? And, and all the, the things we'd need to do them with, right? So like, like my, one of mine is reading a commercial dress pattern. So I need a commercial dress pattern to show you what all the notches and everything are. One of my other ones is how to work out your bra size, right? Which I thought was really, you know, it's caused mayhem upstairs because they think I'm going to have to have a topless model. That I go and go, oh yes, 34C. It's not like that. It's not like, it's, it's a mathematical. It's a mathematical. 
Anyway, six ninety nine. Everybody's multi buying. Well, you'll need look two. Uh, one on and one in the wash. Yes, you could do that. From the Isle of Wight. Oh, look, uh, Alison Marion's on holiday in the Isle of Wight. Oh, I bet it's wet there. Not Ireland. It's not in Ireland. It is an island. It is surrounded by water. Uh, loads of you for this. Loads of you. Loads of you. I'm thinking Secret Santa now. I'm thinking Secret Santa. Because ours has gone up to £10 this year. You, what do you mean it has, honey? You never join in. At £6.99. Keep going through because I've got, I've got, I've got a matching tea towel coming up in a minute. Matching tea towel. No, I've got this. I've got this. Collector Kate bought this for me. I love it. I like a good tea towel. So Garen says good morning. Diane says good morning from Scotland. Och, I the new. Okay, I love the honeysuckle pattern. Nine ninety nine. Now he got his daughter to draw this one. Apparently, at four ninety. Anna, four ninety nine for a tea towel. Excuse me. Go to your local garden centre and see how much they are there. Just saying. Just saying, that is a bargain, isn't it? That's an absolute bargain. Now, if I open things, we can't send them back to the warehouse, can we? And I do need another one. One for when I'm using, one for in the wash. Anyway, I'll wait and see. I'll wait and see how, if they, if they all go, then I won't open it. I'll only open. <laughs> okay, be careful. Quarter of the stock in baskets already. You do need, oh, here we go. They're checking out now. Check out, check out, check out. And look, it's even got the pink border on it. It's gorgeous. And it's 4.99, 100% cotton. Look, keep away from fire. As if you're going to put it in a fire, honestly. How does that cotton care instructions? Oh, now, do you need to know what all these symbols mean? Because that's another of my top tips. I'm going to bring my washing machine. Do my washing while I'm there. Deborah says, morning, John and team. Julie Vaughan says, stunning prices. I know, Julie Vaughan. Ridiculous. That's way too low. Oh, Beck's going to buy two and make a tote bag. One for, one for using and one for in the wash. You do need to go through, though. You do need to go through. I'm worried that there's not going to be enough of these now. Yes, so's Hannah. So I'm not going to open this one because I don't want anyone to be disappointed. I won't. Loads of there. Keep going through, keep going through, keep going through. Uh... Yeah, but I haven't, I, she's, I haven't, we've got the giraffe impression to do yet. Uh, loads, loads of it. Low, uh, four ninety nine. Not surprised. Oh, it's going to too many people. Too many people. Lots of people multi bank. Well, I'm not surprised at four ninety nine. One in the wash usually one. Uh, one for you. One for a friend. Two for you. Tote bag. Uh, when you go to feed the giraffes at Dudley Zoo, take it with you with your your bamboo. Now, giraffes don't bite, do they? No, they don't. Hannah's convinced that they bite, right? Horses don't bite you, they nip. I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what comes on my social media the whole time, and I don't know why, because it's not my algorithm. No, no, you know the soldiers that sit outside down the street or Buckingham Palace on a horse, and they let people have their picture, and the horse goes, the horse goes like that, right? I don't know why hundreds and hundreds of those come up. Anyway... Uh, shall we do? Oh dear, that's bad. Uh, shall we? It's going to be one of those days. I'm warning you. Um, if I now, if I come out with something naughty or something rude, I want to say now it's Hannah's fault because she's she's fed it to me. Oh, she's right. She's fully focused on everything that's been said. You watch. She'll say in a minute. Oh, do the mugs. We've done the mugs, Hannah. Do the tea towel. We've done the tea towel, Hannah. No. Right. Come on. Uh, let's have a look at the menu. Uh, William Morris, he's coming in at eight o'clock. Uh, he hasn't arrived. He's not, <laughs> he's not arrived yet. At uh, nine o'clock, Amber makes new, new animal totes. So we've, got, okay, they're already going. So what have we got? We've got the flamingo. Oh, I like the shadows. We've got the elephant and sausage dog. Now, did you take a picture of the other side as well, Bruce? Because, no, 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 the other side of that one, because it's a different colour on the other side. Then we've also got the giraffe. That's not new. Here you go, look. Look, here you go. 
Blue lead, red lead, red lead, blue lead. How gorgeous. Now, be careful on that one. That's very, very popular, that one. Very popular. Uh, did I finish it? No, I didn't. Back to the menu. Embroidery kits with Catherine Savage. There's loads. We've got stump work today. Gorgeous. The bee is back, isn't it, Bruce? There's the bee. Previously sold out. Now, the bee in the middle is 3D. It's stump work. Then Amber makes Roundup with Rebecca Reed. Excuse me. And then, oh, there you go. Lots of pictures. Lots of back in stocks there. Some not since April. Some, though, you haven't seen that one since April. And then at 12 o'clock, we've got quilt kits you will love. Uh, you will love them. You will love them. That one, that one there that you just saw there was designed by Susie Duncan. That one there, designed by Susie Duncan. Yeah. Right. Oh, yes, yeah, so should I do that now? I'll do that now. Right, two days ago, I was in with lovely Samantha from J&B um, Sewing Machines, right? We're, now, the sewing machines have all sold out. I cannot offer you the sewing machine. The sewing machine, the Rebel, gone. All gone, all gone, all gone. Uh, but I can, there's a few left, there's about 20 left, I think, of the frame. Seven, nine, 799 pounds, it's on five-way split, five-way split pay. Um, uh, it's just brilliant. Go and watch the show. It was uh, 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock on, not yesterday, the day before. Sunday. Sunday, right? Um, get it now. Get it now while you can, right? Hundreds have sold. Hundreds have sold. But I've got about 20 left. So, yeah, yeah, sometimes. And also, if you've been away for the weekend, you might not even know that we had it on. There's no, so, um, and you can use any domestic machine. Like you don't need to have a fancy machine. You can use it with any domestic machine. Please go and watch 10 o'clock on um, Sunday morning to see more about it. All right, hang on a sec. So here we go. Wendy says, morning. Home now after eight weeks away doing nanny duty. Chilling, wa watching with a cup of tea. Crazy Lorraine said, uh, oh, she gets the horses on her feed as well. Ali says, morning, John. Still can't you on the tele. Oh, right. Ali messaged me yesterday going, what's wrong with your channel? What's wrong with your channel? Can't get it, can't get it. Perfectly fine on mine. So I don't know what it is. Well, it's doing it again today. So unless they've had bad, bad weather for 48 hours. But anyway, she's going next door with a chainsaw to trim their trees. Oh, Ali, what you like? Viv says, morning, John. I normally get told off for making you say something rude so I can blame Hannah now. Viv made me read something really rude out the other day. Well, she, she read it and I thought, oh, it's a little old Viv, it'll be fine. I read it, got to the last, and I, it was a swear word, wasn't it? And I read it out. Um, Annette says, morning, John, I'm watching from Murcia. Murcia. Is that the one in Spain? Uh, love the shirt, it's very hot here. Patricia says, morning, John, I'm glad you said about the King's Guard horse. It keeps coming up on mine and I don't know why. <gasps> Maybe Prince Charles, or not Prince Charles, King Charles is sending us them. Who knows? Anyway, anyway, get back... Oh, Buy that, buy it, buy that, buy that frame, buy the frame, buy the frame. If you, th the thing is, I don't know how I'm going to say this, but basically, if you don't get it now, you're not going to get it. And I'm not adding any undue pressure, I promise. But th th that's a bit, this is it, this is it. Oh, Dan, can I have my screens, please, my lovely? Important question. <laughs> I did what I have watched first week of Married at First Sight, but I was. No, no, it was on, because it's only on Monday to Thursday, but I have to watch it the next day because it's too late for me, see, to go to bed. And I told you I'm on this WhatsApp group with all these real, like, political editors and journalists and things like that. And I woke up this morning, about 60 messages. I can't look at them because it'll all be about last night, because they all have proper jobs. They can get up at a normal time, unlike me. So it's a, it'll be a bit of a spoiler if I see that one. Uh, anyway, so I haven't seen last night, so I'll see it. And also, I went, I watched the first episode on the app right, which came out before the series. Yeah, but then I went the next day to watch the second one, the third one, the fourth one. They don't do that. There's no others there. Anyway, I need to get on. Cousin Susan said, good morning, John. Happy autumn. Oh, I forgot. It was the autumn equinox, wasn't it? I'm surprised Rebecca Reed didn't come in with some Stonehenge or something like that. But anyway, shall we start? No, no, I think he said no. <laughs> no, John, we won't start. The quilt behind me is coming up later. Don't look, don't look, it's not moving, it's not moving. Oh, it's not moving, it isn't moving. Um, it was on yesterday with Vix, uh, last of stock, last of stock, that one. Right, shall we start? 
the big bundle, the bigger of the two, right? There's not, we, we've got loads of this, the Ebony Collection, but this bundle is only four metres. I've got your three and a half metres and I've got lots by the half metre as well. Okay, it's the last time that I can offer this bundle, right? Uh, now, wasn't Lisa Lamb's bag made out of that yesterday? I'm sure that's the one her bag was made out of yesterday. Or was it the other way around? No, no, it was that. Yeah, it was. Oh, now my brain. Or was it white with black drawing on it? I can't remember now. Anyway, look. Beautiful. Oh, it sold out. The, the bag pack, pack, um, bundle sold out. Oh, it's the only way to get that straw. Oh, look. I love my favourite. Willow bow there. And then you've got, oh, how beautiful is that? So I'll turn it that way so you can see all of them. 62.93. Oh, now, limited, 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 everyone. And it's the last time I can do, well, I think when it sold out, it sold out, basically. Uh, and you're saving £8.99, so you get one of those for free. Do you know what? You know when your tongue feels too big for your mouth? I've got, yeah, I've got a flat. I'll be all right once I get going. Oh, no, but Dan's cakes will have cooled down soon, won't they? The ones he just got out the oven. I just saw him eating something, like a brownie. But how long's it been there? Oh, no, it must have only been yesterday, because it wasn't there the day before. 1693. Oh, yeah. Anyway, anyway, look, 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 look. Four left. Four left now. That's all there are of these. Beautiful. Aren't they gorgeous? So you're getting half a metre of it. Look at this one. Absolutely love that one. Half a metre of each of those. And the only way, the only way you can get this, that's Robbie Thief, it's the only way you can get that now. Oh, right, does so that mean I haven't got it by the half metre? Oh, two left, two left, two left, two left. That's it now, two left. Oh, it's gorgeous, isn't it? That one. Some of the some of them are sold out. Some of them aren't. Anyway, you won't. You can't. You can't get the strawberry thief. Okay, there are two left and six people in baskets. So I'm going to. The other bundle I've got from this collection is a three and a half meter bundle. Porcelain colourway. So there you go. There are others, but there's not enough stock for bundles. You see. So you got your. Oh. Same, same patterns look, just in the porcelain. There's your strawberry thief there. Oh, gorgeous. Maybe the bag was made of that. Oh, I can't remember now. It's only a day ago. I've slept since then. Right. Porcelain. Oh, no, you're only saving five pounds on this one. Oh, because there's one less. It's because there's one less, yeah. Five, but still a saving. We don't need to do that. This one, this strawberry thief. Yeah, I've got this strawberry thief coming up by the half metre in a little while. Are they gorgeous? They're the porcelain range. This collection is very, very popular. Very, very popular. Beautiful. 57.93. Aren't they lovely? Let's say I've got some of them by the half meter. Moda, best of Morris porcelain, this one. Can't get website or app to work. Oh, no. Well, I'll get Bruce to check for you. Oh, they're fine the RN, Jojo. They're fine the RN. Just, re just refresh your box. But the app and the website, aren't they the same thing? Mind you, oh, I tell you what, if, when I watch the app, if you don't watch it live, the thing there that they're talking about isn't the thing that's for sale underneath. That's what always confuses me. It is when you're live. It is, it is when you're live. And it has a funny, um, when the price drops, or if you do a price drop, it's a funny price drop, isn't it, on the app? It's like going all weird and everything. Websites up on fi are fine, Jojo, all working fine. Fifty-seven ninety-three. Keep going through. Okay, right, that, I'm, I'm taking that out. How many baskets, Sam? Huh? Okay, be careful, because there's only four left once you've all checked out. Just saying, just saying. Right, so I'm now doing them by the half metre. Now, go on then. You can give me the number, I'll just look up the number.
<laughs> Maybe this wouldn't work. <laughs> oh, there you go, there you go. It's because we're not allowed to show you the labels anymore, you see. Quilting weight, beautiful. Good morning, John. Working today. Just watching all the floods around the country. I oh, know. Um, I, I was a bit worried because I didn't think I'd be able to get over the bridge this morning because the other bridge is shut down. I know. The cats love the rain. Oh, they weren't talking to me yesterday because they had to go to the vets for their annual, their annual jab and their um, flea. And, um, and they weren't happy. They were not happy at all. Just sat there glaring at me like that all day long. Then Alex, the personal trainer, arrived. Like, oh, hello, Alex. Hello. Hello. Oh, we love you, Alex. We love you, Alex. Yeah. Eight ninety-nine. Bit that was a bit too slow, Hannah, that one. Eight ninety-nine, keep going through. Lovely, isn't it? So it's called um, Compton Florals, this one. What solid colour would you put with it? Oh, would you? Yeah, deep red, very habitat 1980s. Oh, website's back. App still not working. All right, Jojo, we'll find, we'll, we'll let the IT know. I thought they were attached to each other, but. Website's working, that's fine. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Mrs. Bad Crumble. Oh, that must be a cat. That must be a cat. Doesn't like the child. Uh, morning, John. Just quickly went to pre-order my Amber Makes Flamingo tote bag and charm panel. Well done, Pauline. That's the way to do it. Also, if you want the, if you want the sausage dog, if you want the sausage dog, that's absolutely flying out, just to warn you. Okay, moving on. Okay. My favourite one. Yeah. Gorgeous. I just loved it. It's like we, we first had it on sewing quarter in a blue, and I remember it selling out immediately. I don't know what it is about it, just something gorgeous. Yeah. We've got, I've got some mugs of this coming up later, actually, in pink, I think. Coming up later. Little preview there. Beautiful. Keep going through, keep going through. Well done. Go on, just say the number. I haven't got, I can move Strawberry Thief because I know I haven't got that one. Yep, there you go. This is lovely, this one, look. Uh, damask, iris, damask, ebony, that one. Oh, is it upside down? Hang on. There you go. Gorgeous. How mood, and a pair of trousers in that would be nice, wouldn't they? In fact, oh, they're sold out, but the trousers we did the other day with, um, oh, come on, John, brain. Adele, skyfall. Oh, Hannah's watching, apparently. Hannah. Good morning, John. You could make some gorgeous bags out of these if you coupled it with faux leather. Suzanne, you could indeed. Why are they not sending it up? Beautiful. We've had three already, haven't we? With <laughs> Keep going through. Lots in baskets for that one. Lots in baskets. Yeah, got it. Yeah. Beautiful. Willow boughs. Beautiful, isn't it? Very elegant. Also love the two tone on that one. Hmm. 
כן? סטנים. Oh, at the wedding, that was me at the wedding, yeah. I don't know who took it, though, because Francesca was sitting there, and Francesca wasn't taking any pictures, so I don't know. Oh, it might have been. Yeah, it's very blurry, isn't it? Very grainy, yeah. We're talking about the, new, the picture I put up on Facebook yesterday of me in the pink shirt at um, Serafina's wedding, and Dan, Dan's wedding as well. Beautiful. Then, yeah, oh, this is nice. Very, oh, very limited, this one. Anemone, oh, I've got mugs with anemone coming up later. Gorgeous, isn't it, look. Coming up later. Uh, single figures on this one, single figures. Beautiful. Need to check out, need to check out. Don't put, just put it in your basket. Uh, June morning, John, love your shirt. I thought I'd wear this one today to brighten up the day because it was such a dreary day, isn't it? <coughs> yep. <coughs> Excuse me. Gorgeous. 8 99 for half a metre. Oh, one metre. One meter. I didn't think that was bachelor's button. Isn't that weird? It is. Yeah. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Yeah, of course, there's more people now since I didn't meet you at that one. Yeah. Got this light. Now I'm going away from the black, the ebony. Now I'm going to the. Now. We had a quilt the other day that's got this in the corners, and I was like, oh, it's gorgeous. One of the quilt kits. I've got it coming up later. Yeah, they're not the same collection. Uh, Hannah just did a Hannah eclectic mix. It's lovely. It works. Yeah, I'm going to take your money off. Look. Beautiful, $24.99. William Morris, greens and yellows. Very creative name, that one. Be I love that one. Keep going through, keep going through. Got a lot of that putting in baskets and leaving it there again today. Beautiful. Got a mini acanthus there. Don't know what that one's called. Pineapple. Don't know. Let me have a look. Sunflower, even. And then birds in a tree. It's not strawberry thief, that one. I've called it birds in a tree. It's just called bird. 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 Did you watch Strictly at the weekend, everyone? Oh, you don't watch it. The ma the, well, no, no, but one of the contestants is completely blind. And he said, he was, he's, very, he's a comedian, and he was very funny. He said, I've never, I've never seen this before because I can't see it. So he said, I watch it, listen to it, and just hear people scoring tunes and things. It's brilliant. He does a travel programme. He's hysterical. Oh, oh, I'll have to look that up. Describe it to him. Oh, how brilliant. And where do I find that then? Oh, wow. He was, he was brilliant. It was, it was so emotional. It was re he wasn't emotional, but I was a gibbering wreck. No, no, he lost his, he lost his sight when he was seven, I think. 
Anyway, beautiful. Check out, check out. Oh, you are. Well done. Okay. Oh! That's all right. Yellow one on its side. It's not yellow. I wouldn't call it yellow. It's called it some, oh, it's sunflower in sunflower. <laughs> sunflower, sunflower fabric, 8.99 for half a metre. Oh, beautiful, isn't it? Don't know why I went R then. Oh. The what did? Only got four and a half metres left now of this one. Four and a half metres left. It's beautiful, isn't it? Quilting cotton, remember? 44 inches wide, machine washable. Gorgeous colourway. And when you see the quilt coming up in 12 o'clock, that's got that as the background, it's just stunning. Lovely. Pimpernel mugs. Yes. Two. I've only got mugs in sets of two today, by the way. 10 99 That's good. If you went to a garden centre, how much would you pay for one? Just saying, like, just saying. Love the shape. I'm just going to hold them up. Like that. Gorgeous. 10 99 for both. 10 99 for both of those, look. Let me just move that out of the way. There you go. And they come in a gorgeous presentation box. Beautiful. Thinking Christmas now. It's not... Oh, well, is it something like 92 days? Is it something like ridiculous, like 92 days now? I oh, know, it's stupid. I haven't even done some holidays yet. Which I will have next week. No, week, week after. Hang on. I think I fly on that the 5th or the 6th, something like that, of October. Right, Joe, Pimpernel, mugs. Yep. Yeah. Oh, there's those over there. Oh. There we go. Standen. Pretty. Oh, I love those handles. I love the shape of those handles. Gorgeous, you've got the blue and you've got the kind of gold there. I think they're lovely, aren't they? 10.99 for two. I know. They're microwavable safe, dishwasher safe. Please wash before you use them. Oh, Jess getting very excited next door. Oh, are they, are they, on, the, are they on their sheet yet? Steve Bennett's in bed next door at some point this morning. Loads of you there, loads of you there for that one. Well done. A little mid though. Well, they're more subtle, those, aren't they? Got the rosy salmony. And again, got the gorgeous shape there. At ten ninety nine. Beautiful. I've got higher since. Oh, oh beautiful. Ten ninety nine again. Got that lovely shape uh, uh, handle again, but very very subtle colours. Those aren't they? Very. Uh, pastel, pastel colours. Gorgeous. Lovely little rim there as well. Last month, the anemone. Let me put it in order. I love those colours, the purple and the dark grey. Straight. 
Strong tea, apparently. You're needing that one, apparently. I said apparently twice, I know that. Apparently. Well, that fabric earlier was called sun Sunflower Sunflower, wasn't it? It's fine. Gorgeous. Dishwasher and microwave safe. Beautiful. Did I do all the mugs? Oh, yeah, I did. Yeah, yeah, I did. Can I do more? Oh, now this is lovely. This is Teflon coated, this. Strawberry thief in red, first of all. Right, it's only ever been on air once, and the, and the strawberry thief in the other colourway sold out straight away. Oh, let me hold it up for you, first of all, because look, it's wide. Wide! I think, oh, so sorry, it was that microphone. Now, tablecloths, uh, outdoor cushions. Uh, oh, no, isn't that funny? The screen's jumped up. Uh, it's Panama. Hang on, yeah, so it's uh, Teflon-coated Panama canvas. Beautiful. Um... 100% cotton, but this is, a, is it water resistant then? I'm going to say water resistant. They actually say waterproof on the thing. Stain resistant, wipeable, downable, and waterproof apparently. I won't put my tea on it. I'd say water resistant as well. Lovely, so gorgeous Panama cotton. And then just got the Teflon coating on the outside there. How wide? 140 centimetres wide. Gorgeous. Love it. No more of the Strawberry Thief. I've got a beautiful heart-shaped one. Keep with the court behind me. So do the heart-shaped one next. Do you want the number? You're right. On the image on the web, the print looks very small. It's not a small print. It looks a lovely big print. £9.49 for half a metre. Web shop's best place to go. The app, the app is playing up. Or ring the call centre. Ring the call centre. It's free. They're upstairs waiting for your call. Azure, this one, Azure. Oh, Alan, a ga uh, right, I'll ask them for you, Alan. How are the gallery and the directors doing today? Hannah's all right, but she's in a really bad mood, Alan, and Bruce is very monosyllabic this morning. Oh, he's in shock that anyone cares, Alan. £9.49. Oh, blimey. So she's in a much better mood than she was when? Over oh, the past four days. Oh, crikey. Leslie Joy says, good morning, John and all. Good morning, Leslie Joy. It's just as well Steph's away, isn't it? Beautiful. Keep going through for that one. Uh, any particular one? I'm thinking outdoor cushions. Because you never know it's going to be sunny or rainy, do you, or anything. Oh, OK. So Hannah, in her country house, is getting a big wicker basket. She's going to line it in this for her wellies. She doesn't live in a country house. She hasn't got wellies and she hasn't got a basket. Oh, she's got wellies. <coughs> when do you wear them then? I can't wear them to Ellie's. Yeah. Nine forty nine for half a metre. Well done. Remember, you are buying in increments of half a metre. You're buying it off the bolt, so you can have. You want to make a tablecloth? You can have as much as you want. Then I've got a lovely green one. Snake said this one. Uh, 
that Roscoe. Nine forty nine. Oh, no. This is called Snake's Head in Forest, this one. Beautiful. One more Snake's Head in Blue coming up next. Yeah. Beautiful. Lovely China blue, that one. They wouldn't have called it China. What have they called it? Oh, denim. Denim. <coughs> <clears throat> okay, there's something wrong with the captions on Facebook because it's, uh, it's me talking about the early birds. There we go, nine pounds and forty nine pence. <coughs> oh dear, excuse me. <coughs> aircon, back in the aircon. Oh, now they're not working at all. Never mind. Well done. <coughs> Snake's head in denim. It's Teflon coated Panama uh, canvas. Well done. You having any checking out? Oh, I'm having talking problems. <coughs> Poor old Vern on Radio 2. This happened to him yesterday. And Sarah, Sarah what's it? Had to come on and talk for a while for him. Um, if you have any issues uh, checking out, just ring the call centre. They're upstairs. The phones are working. The phones are working. The web is working. She's been a bit temperamental. This is gorgeous. Now, this tapestry, it's called chenille tapestry, this one. Very, very soft, this one, and beautiful. Now, what I found weird this morning... Is it because you can see it's blue and white on this side, right? It's all it is, isn't it? Blue and white. But if you pull the threads out, oh, it's not going to do it now, is it? It was fraying earlier. If you pull the threads out, there's reds and yellows and greens and blues and everything in there. Very odd. Not much this one left, though. Eight percent cotton, twenty percent polyester. This one. Look. Beautiful, isn't it? Nice, big, bold size, that one. I've not seen this chenille one before. It's lovely, though, isn't it? It feels gorgeous. It feels so soft. It'd be nice to make a coat out of this, a winter coat. Morning, John. How are you today? I'm good. Thank you, Karen. How are you doing with your ice tub? You haven't mentioned it for a while lately. Uh, I've stopped doing it for the time being because it was um, affecting my nerve endings, apparently. Also, it's been too wet. I'd drown if I went out in at the moment, isn't it? I might as well just stand in a puddle. Yeah, exactly. Well done. Check out, check out, check out. You've got in your basket. Also, if the web's been playing up, please go back and look at what we've had so far and check out on those as well. Beautiful. Right. The quilt behind me was on yesterday. Oh, uh, was launched yesterday. Have I got the box? Is it coming in a box? Oh, okay. Well, I've got fab I've got some of the fabric from the collection, but this is was in a box. It's gone back to the warehouse. We haven't got it, I'm afraid. Last few opportunities now. Oh, hang on. Good to how much? $159.99. Uh, it's 175 by 216. Now, what's it called? Car red carpet quilt. 
Yeah, but there's not... Right, OK, I was thinking it was Christmassy, but there's nothing Christmassy in it. Yeah, it's a holiday Christmas collection, but they haven't used any of... They've got the Brophy trellis in here. They've got that gorgeous sunflower in sunflower in here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just a nice way of showcasing it. it doesn't have to be Christmas. Actually, in the collection, there's very few that are Christmassy. There's mistletoe, but you wouldn't even know it was mistletoe, would you? Right, that's a quilt from yesterday, if any of you missed out. Because uh, that's what they could have put in it, you see. That's mistletoe, that one there. Okay, right, look, those two... I'm going to do the Mega Bundle first one. I'm just showing those two are the only ones that actually are Christmassy. This is not to make the quilt with. This is the Mega Bundle where you get half a metre of each. So... Beaut oh, look, you get the deers. I'll show you that one open. Oh, that's the one. That's the one that first made me love this fabric. There's your brophy trellis there in the two different colours. Getting half a metre of each of these. And you're getting half a metre for, oh, for free. That's not meant to happen. Strawberry Thief Little in red. Strawberry Thief Big in green. Willow Bow. Bell flowers. Now, I want to call that a canthus, but I don't think it is a canthus. Oh, is it? A canthus scroll there. Well done. Willow bough in the pink there. Then you've got the two mistletoes. And then just want to open this one straight. If you've never seen this one before, how gorgeous this one. Look how beautiful this is. So you see, none of it is, it's their festive range, but only two actually say Christmas, don't they? Look. Beautiful. It's lovely, isn't it? Absolutely gorgeous. 117 pounds and 87 pence. Two-way split pay. Gorgeous. Show you the whole bundle. Oh, I love that one there. It's loads. Seven up, 15 different fabrics there. 15 different fabrics, look. Lovely, isn't it? Just beautiful. Doesn't have to be Christmas. Well done. These are going. These are going. There's only 12 left now. There's only 12 of these left. Oh, and there's lots you got in your baskets. I can't see baskets. Loads you got it in your baskets. Do this one by the half meter. Brook Shields. She's natural. There you go. It's not called Brook Shields, I just said that out loud. How gorgeous is that look? He can see ahead of his time. Oh, there will be an actress called Brooke Shields. You see, that doesn't say Christmas. That says a bright summer's day, doesn't it? Eight ninety-nine. Only three and a half metres left. Only three and a half metres left now. Gorgeous, isn't it? You've got the whole story of the brook and the little reindeers and the oak leaves, the weeping willow. I don't know any others. $8.99. Check out, check out, check out. Beautiful. Lovely quilting cotton. Beautiful, beautiful quality. Ooh. 
Look, small pimpernel, this one. That is glorious. That just sums up 1920s to a T, doesn't it? Now you've got the gorgeous shades of green here. You've got like an aqua and you've got your leaf green and then you've got a sage green in the middle of the flower. Then you've got a soft green here. I just think it's exquisite. I think a dress like that would be beautiful. Small pimpernel in green, absolutely stunning. Quilting weight, dressmaking weight, cotton. 8.99 half a metre. Oh, beautiful. Got a strawberry thief in red in small and the larger green one. There's, here's the red one, small red one. Oh, sorry. There you go. Gorgeous. They've got very straight backs, haven't they, those strawberry thieves? They are on a mission, aren't they? Mini, it's called mini strawberry thief, this one. In wine. Beautiful. Then now, love this green one. The green one's bigger. There you go. Oof. See what I mean about those straight backs there? It's lovely, the colours in there though, aren't they? So there's Bachelor's Bottom, there's Sunflower, there's Strawberries, Orchids. Beautiful. Oh. Uh, it, oh, yeah, hang on then. The mini in red, was it, was it called mini? Oh, no, I can't scroll, sorry, 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 my bad. I knew there was another word, I think. Put, I was put mini in, but it's... No, because they do a canter much bigger than this as well. Yeah. Well, unless it's just the way it's coloured in. Might be the same size, that might be just the way it's coloured in. <sighs> Oof. Remember, Amber Mate's coming up in about 10 minutes' time, already selling. The, the sausage dog is flying out. Brand new flamingo, brand new elephant, and restock of the giraffe and the other ones. Indian elephant and the cat. And we've got five-inch squares to go with most of them. There they all are. Le Gang. Beautiful. Then I've got the green one. Do you, sorry, am I, am I jumping in? Oh, is this mini then? This looks smaller. Small acanthus scroll. Oh, that is lovely, isn't it? Very limited though, that one. Oh, that could sell out. That could sell out. It's in the bundle, but not by the half metre. Well, it won't be by the half metre. There, go, there it goes, there it goes. Yeah, 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 Brophy Trellis. In the red and the green, look. Put the red one in first. Marina, morning, gorgeous, bye. Hello, Marina, I'm sending you lots of love today. 8.99. Do you say brophy or brophy, do you think? Brophy, I'd say. Somebody spending money out your bank. 
Beautiful. Only five meters that one left. Only five meters left. Remember, it's 44 inches wide. I'm showing you half of it there. That you're not getting the fat caught, you are getting half a meter. Beautiful. Then I've got it in the green. Oh, that's nice. Imagine all the things you could do with that, make lovely ribbon out of that, couldn't you? Very limited though, the green, very, very limited. Gorgeous. Oh, sorry, I'm just scratching my leg. <laughs> well done, that's about to go. Yeah, too many people got that in baskets. Bell flowers, yeah, in red. Well, that's nice. So I like that as a lining, that one. Keep going through for that one. Well done, keep going through for that one. Just got to revisit the Strawberry Thief on the Teflon. It's lovely, it's Teflon coated. It's like oil cloth, yeah? They say it's waterproof. But is it? Come here then, Rebecca Reed. Come and stand under this then. <laughs> the, the, mic, the microphone's not on, you can't hear her, but you might hear a squeal when I go like this. Here we are. Here we are. You ready? Oh, hang on. What if it's not waterproof? Well, we'll find out now, won't we? <laughs> I'm going to get really wet. Okay. <laughs> you know that this is going to go wrong, don't you? No, it won't, it won't, you've got to go on telly. Look at that. So ah. it is waterproof. Not wet, I'll, I'll prove it's still there. Let's see. Look, it's all like still Paul there, Daniels, look. Paul Daniels, you are. Paul Daniels. <laughs> <laughs> Paul Daniels. What first attracted you to millionaire Paul Daniels? Oh, oh, it's oh. my favourite line ever to Debbie. Very Yates. clever, isn't it? That is amazing, actually. So you could use this for... Um, I haven't got any blue roll, though, to mop it up. But you could use this for a tablecloth. Yeah, you could. Oh, it would be a good bag, wouldn't it? I mean, look, that is completely amazing. Yeah. Here we are. Look. I'll get some of this. How, bro? You better be quick. Hey, wouldn't that be nice for a Christmas tablecloth? Because um, then when people spill their red wine over it. Yeah, yeah, but I was thinking more outside. You have any Christmas dinner outside? But look, that's dry now. Oh, amazing. Desk is wet. Desk soaking wet. <laughs> that's apart from that. Morning, oh, John and team. It. App. Oh, yeah, the, we know the app's not working, my love. Sorry. Uh, sun's trying to break through here. Oh, I hope it does. There we go. Right, uh, don't go anywhere. Oh, what, what? We are going to break. It's 8.59 and 27 seconds. Rebecca Reed's up next with brand new bags. I'd go now during the break and pre-order yours because the, the sausage dog is not going to last. That sounded wrong. I'll see you in four minutes. Did you know that we can deliver to over 20 different countries worldwide, spanning four continents from the UK to Australia. Check out our website for the list of countries and delivery costs. Sewing Street, stitching the world together. Not only is Sewing Street live from 8 a.m. till 1 p.m. on Sky 670, Freeview Channel 73, YouTube and the Sewing Street app, now, Virgin subscribers can watch on Channel 754, which means there are more ways to watch your way with Sewing Street. Did you know at Sewing Street that on various products we offer split pay? That means on certain items, you can spread the cost over two, three, 
four or sometimes even five interest-free monthly payments. Just pay the first instalment when you purchase and you're away. So shop your way with Split Pay. Never miss a show by watching on the go with the Sewing Street app. Head over to your app store now and search Sewing Street and simply download to your smartphone or tablet. You can watch the shows live and see your favourite presenters and guests. Click on the Today button to shop all of the products that are featured in today's show. Want to know what's hot? Then click here to see today's bestsellers and highlights. Have you missed a show or want to watch one back? Then click the Schedule button and you can go back seven days to watch and shop and you can also see what's coming up over the next seven days. Want to say hello or ask a question to our guests? Then send a message to the studio. You can also keep in touch with all the latest news, events, product launches and much more by clicking here for our social media pages. Never miss a show by watching on the go with Sewing Street. Here at Sewing Street, we only charge one p and throughout the day. You can add as many items to your basket and check out and still only be charged once. Once you've checked out the first time and want to order again, you simply add the item to the basket and click on the Combine Order button. Remember, standard P&P is £4.95. Charges may differ for outside the UK. Or upgrade to our premium option for £6.95 on certain items. Shopping made easy at Sewing Street. Shopping with Sewing Street couldn't be easier. You can shop via our website at www.sewingstreet.com where you can watch our live shows and see all the products from that day. We also have a huge amount of products on our website from your sewing room essentials to fabrics, sewing machines and much more. You can download and shop on the go with our Sewing Street app. Simply head over to your app store and search Sewing Street. Alternatively, you can contact our UK-based call centre 24 hours a day on 0800 001 4433. Shopping made easy at Sewing Street. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletter. Go to sewingstreet.com and scroll down to the bottom of the homepage. Type in your email address and click the envelope. That's it. You'll never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Rebecca Reed's here. Hello, Rebecca Reed. Morning. How are you? Morning. I've got my autumn dinner on. Did you do? Did you bring any of um, Stonehenge with you today? Stone... It was the autumn solstice yesterday, wasn't it? No, it was the vernal. It was the autumnal equinox. Oh, they got it wrong on the on the, the ratio solstice then, is yesterday. June and December, winter and uh, so and then you called? have the autumnal equinox is the twenty first of September. Then the vernal equinox is the twenty first of March. Could be twentieth or twenty sixth. And do you run around naked in your garden for those? No, well? not really. It's just autumnal. You know. No, Ooh, it's the solstices that are the big deal. Oh. The druid thing. You know. Oh. The equinox is not so. They didn't do anything then. No, I didn't. But I did put my autumn, autumn dress on. on and my black bree necklace. What's that got to do with anything? Well, it's kind of autumn, isn't it? Oh, black breeze. Black breeze. See. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's my celebration of autumn. I love autumn. And I put a spring. Summer. Yes, you're very um, hydrangea. Well, only because I didn't want it to. They, I don't want the summer to end because I've had my summer holidays yet. <laughs> oh, yeah. And my garden furniture's not been used that much this no, year. No, it hasn't. Mine's been covered. More than it Oh, yeah, no, I don't on. even bother. I take the cushions in, but I don't yeah. cover it. Rubbish, isn't it? Anyway, what have we got today then? Well, we're going to do so. We did the or, the animal autumn, animal bags, yes. and they were really popular. And I think I might have done them with you. And we asked people to send. Okay, us. you need to move to one side because you're right in front of the dog. Thank you. We asked people to say what they would like. Oh. Loads of suggestions. Right. And Flamingo. Everybody wanted a flamingo because right. obviously a flamingo has a, it's got a, a thing, you know, it's got a neck or something. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's got to have something to get to go around That can go yeah. around the handle. So we did the flamingo, and then we thought, oh, we've got to do sausage dog. A lot of people ask about sausage dogs, because you can do the lead. Did, but I was going to say, dog. did you go, oh, but what can we put around the handle to begin no, with? No, I thought, lead. Straight away. Look. But look, different colours on different yeah, sides. Yeah, red on one side and blue on the other. And then on the inside, I love the inside, because the lining comes on the panel. I've got to show you the inside. Because it's all stripy with more sausage dogs on. Oh. And... Uh, sausage dog is absolutely flying out. And pocket with the sausage dog on. Oh. And a zip pocket with sausage dogs in the zip pocket. Wow. And I get all that fabric on the panel? Yes, all of it. So I don't need anything else? You need a zip, a, zip. a zip if you want to. And you can put wadding in it if you want. I haven't. Because no. it's lined. Um, the thing is, right, you're going to be using it to go to the supermarket and do your shopping in or to go yeah, to the local shop. Yeah. And do, so you don't always need to put... Well, no, and also in. this fabric's got quite a good weight to yes. it. And because it's lined as well, I'm, I didn't put wadding in mine, but you can. And yeah. in the instructions, I do say when and why and okay, how. And what's the other new And then the other one is the elephant. Because but now we've seen this elephant before, haven't we? Yes. So the elephant, every time we do the elephant in something, it's really popular. So we thought, well, it's perfect, isn't it? Because it's got the trunk. Yeah, exactly. And then it has a baby. Oh. And then the inside is like, um, oh, sort of blue. Sort of blue. Sort of blue with elephants, see? And it has a pocket and a zip pocket. Gorgeous. So it could be reversible, but you'd have a zip on the outside, but that'd be fine. Lovely. Be do, they're all popular, but I need to warn you, the shot sausage dog is the way in the lead. Way, 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 way in the lead at the moment. And then I brought the old, the previous one. Yes, as you well, did. Because the Indian elephant, the cats, and the giraffe. Yes. Where are the cats and the Where are the cats and the Indian elephant? Well, they're underneath. Oh, underneath. Oh, didn't have sorry. enough hooks. So there's the giraffe. This was. Look at his head. This was out of stock, so we've managed to get this one reprinted. Yeah. We've got the giraffe, and then there's lots of giraffe prints inside. Then you've got the pussy cat. Right. And when Amy drew it, she well, we neither of us could decide between grey cat and ginger cat, so we went for it's both. both. And so oh. you get one handle that's the ginger cat tail, and one handle that's the black, and that's got a stripy oh. inside. And then there's the Indian elephant, which is about to sell out. But we started with fewer of those than we did the sausage dog. And then the Indian elephant. But that pattern's always been popular, hasn't it? So yes. It's been in the velvet, it's yours, in the pouches. Yeah. Started yeah, off mine, you, yeah. inspired by you you yourself. Inspired by. I didn't draw it. Amy drew it. Inspired by. Yeah. Because you said you wanted Indian elephant. Yeah. So those are the three previous ones which we've got back in stock. Right, let's do Sausage Dog then, first of all. So now, when you look at this from the overhead, you're going to go, that's not the Sausage Dog, John. You've got the... Uh, but all the instructions are the same. Exactly the same, they? yes. There is a video tutorial to go to. Uh, this is your panel. Look, look, look. So you've got your front and your back. You've got your handles. You've got a spare dog there. You've got your zip. No, slip pocket front, slip pocket back, zip pocket front. There's loads on here, isn't there? Look. Then you've got your zip pocket back. So does that mean inside the zip? There's a, a dog yes, inside when the you zip. open up yep. your pocket, there'll be a little sausage dog. And there's your lining. Yeah, and handles. And more handles. Yeah, Hannah just wants the lining. Look. Yeah, you should do something with your stash and you could use that again for something else, couldn't you? Right, you need to be careful. Half the, over half the stock's gone, uh, or will have gone when you've checked out. Well, you could make two bags, you see, because the lining is the same size as the yeah. outside. Oh, yes, of course, yeah. If you wanted to. No, she, what would you make out of it, Hannah? Yeah. Oh, then she would make the other tote outer. Also, I love the fact that Amy's done this, so when you join them together, you yeah, make the, a complete dog. The dogs go round. That looks so uber professional. Where is Amy today? Amy's in South Africa, on a research holiday. Research holiday. Looking at giraffes. Oh, okay. Well, she's got a giraffe. Right? She can't say that because she's already done the <laughs> I know. I know. She sent me pictures of zebras yesterday. Okay. She found a hippopotamus yet? I haven't seen a hippopotamus. I got hippop yet. When I was there, I got mm. pictures of me and hippopotamus. No, I've seen a picture of a zebra and a giraffe so far. So she's on holiday, having a lovely time. Oh. Uh, quick question from Pauline. Does the giraffe one have a black base or a navy base? Um, it has a dark brown base. Dark brown, Pauline. You need to retune your telly. Yeah, it's dark brown because it's standing on the soil. Okay, right. There are. I'm literally down to single figures on this one. You've all checked out. Single figures on this one. 
on the on the sausage jog. So please, if you have got it in your basket, you need to check out. Morning, Rebecca and Jog. These bags are fabulous. Uh, Rebecca's video is brilliant for a beginner and any seasoned bag maker Aww. from Samantha in North York. Oh, thank you, Samantha. That's really That's kind. nice, isn't it? That's not Samantha. Samantha was on the show two days ago, is it? Oh, no, she... Oh, no, she's in Wales. Why do I think she's in New York? <laughs> God, accents, you see. But the tutorial, I can't remember which one I filmed, but it's the same for all the bags. So if you're uncertain of how to do it, just sew with me. Exactly. Uh, but be careful, because they're going to sell out. There's more people in baskets now than we've got stock of. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. And they're dropping down. They're dropping down. Let's have a look around the sample. She hasn't got to talk back in. Uh, no, I didn't. No. Uh, can we look round the sample? No, you, not me. Oh, okay. What would you like me to show you? <laughs> All of it. Please. Right, so here's the front of the bag. And then you have to make sure when you do it, you put the right handle on the right side because you've got a red handle and a blue handle. Yep. So the lead comes round there. And then the bottom is spotty. Now, what I've done with it, because it has a boxed bottom to make give it a bit of depth, um, I decided to do a different sort of box bottom. Oh. Just for a change. Yeah. And also because with this box bottom, you get this really cool... Oh, I like that one. ...little triangle... Yeah. ...thing at the bottom. Um, and it's just a slightly different way of doing it, but it's also a technique that you could then use in your own makes because you don't have to cut anything out. And I also show you how to join the lining to the outside. Oh, that happens with that one as well. In a different way. Yeah. Do it completely different to the other box bottom. Oh, okay. But it means that the lining is held inside, so it yep. can come out. And then if you go on the inside, so you've got a slip pocket that has a sausage dog on, and then a zip pocket. And when you open the zip pocket, now you don't have to put the po any of the pockets in, and you don't have to put the zip in. You could just have it as an open pocket. Yeah. So when you look inside the zip pocket, there's a sausage dog. No. Oh. And a spotty lining. But you could just not put the zip in and just have the little hole if you want. Yeah, we might as well. Way too many people got it in their baskets. Check out, check out, check out. And then this has that foldy corner. Yeah. But you sew them together. You see, look, the sausage dogs match up. Let's have a look. Oh. There we are. Thank you. Right. Um, th th so we're going to come back and let you know, but at the moment, over 20 of you are going to miss out on that. Over 20 of you are going to miss out. Flamingo next. Another brand new one. So again, the pattern is the same pattern, but you have got a, a video tutorial and you will see some of the Flamingo one being made. Do you want to have a look at the actual bag first? So there's the Flamingo bag. So he's obviously his, her, don't know whether it's a boy or a girl, handle is pink like the neck. So it goes all the way around there, standing in nice pink. Oh, Maybe. yes, now I wonder, because normally the girl bird, like a black bird, it's is really brown. Boring, isn't they're boring, it? aren't they? I've no idea about flamingos. Oh, does Flamingo anyone know? Facts. Flamingo facts. We'll ask Bruce. He gave me the giraffe facts earlier. Uh, I don't know. I, I think I had my switch off. Um, uh, let us know if you know if a boy flamingo is different to a girl flamingo. And then if, you, and then if I turn it round, this is what the lining looks like. So the lining is very bright green. So Amy's made it really bright and cheerful and quite modern and I love the um, slip pocket on that one because it's bright pink. Now Tina in Warwickshire, I'll look out for you Tina, she's bought the sausage dog and the flamingo, can't wait to get them. And then inside the pocket is a pair of flamingos. Oh, I wanted one looking at me like that. <laughs> like the next time I want one looking straight at me when I open No, this bit. is like flamingos kissing. Say that again. It's like flamingos kissing. Oh, making a heart aren't they? That's on the pocket on the inside. So it's, I think it gives it quite a lot of structure all lined like this. So that's why I haven't put wadding in, but you certainly could. And Beautiful. I, 22 99 Make sure you check out. You get For the 22 99 you get the whole of the panel. I'll show you the panel now. Plus you get the instructions. Plus you get a tutorial video. Look. So there's the front and the back, the straps, the inside of the pockets, the outside of the pockets. And then your lining there. Gorgeous. Plus your instructions. $22.99. You asked for them. You asked for these. The, the sausage dog, the mm. flamingo. Well, we did and ask. The... A lot of people sent messages in about which animal they would like. There were loads. We had to choose. Gorgeous. Well, then, then the others can go on the queue for the next lot. We could do. Orangutan was one of them. Which the what one? Orangutan would be quite Orangutan? Nice. It would be the like, arm that goes yeah, over them. it would have to be, wouldn't it? 
Oh, uh, if you have a problem checking out the website, please ring the call centre 0800 1433. They're there waiting to take your call. The app and the web are playing up today, I'm afraid. If you let us know if you've got any problems. I'll be the rain. Margaret says, morning, John, Hannah, Rebecca and Teen. Morning. We haven't found out about the flamingos yet then. Nobody, no, we're just, Hannah will just look, she's been a bit hectic. See, Bruce found out about the giraffes. What? Because we wanted to know if giraffes bite. Yeah. And Bruce found out. Oh, did he? Yeah. And I'm they don't. Because no, I said they wouldn't. They've got little teeth. Because they go like this, don't they? <laughs> <laughs> that is honestly the best giraffe impression I've ever seen. The boys are bigger than the girls. Oh, okay. But no but, difference in colour. But they're all pink. Some of them are brown. Oh, visual determination of the gender of a flamingo is very unreliable. Okay. <laughs> so they have a cloaca anyway, don't they, birds? That's what it's called. I did biology bar level. I know these things. I'm talking technically right. called the cloaca. Oh, is it? On a bird. Chickens have got them as well. Is that where the egg comes out? Yeah. Okay. I wonder what a flamingo eggs are. Uh, I think there's a boy cloaca and a girl cloaca. Oh, oh, okay. You... And did you know the one when... Oh, this is more biology here. Wow, well, how's this all coming out now from 1978? Well, you know birds that migrate, mm. when they migrate, certain parts of their bodies like reduce in size. They've got less weight to carry. Like what? Really? Their feet? Good. Good to <laughs> <me. laughs> They didn't even see me. They only <laughs> see you. Anyway, 2299, keep checking out on the flamingo there. Their feet drop off. No. And they realise they can't land. Oh, well, they, no, if they didn't have feet, they'd just la they'd like that. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine? But it was really weird because I, 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 to get to my house, I have to go over a bridge with the river running by. And it's a beautiful... Uh, when I went home on Sunday, there were about 200 Canadian geese really? all sitting in the water. And it's only this deep, but there's not been much rain. So they were standing, right? And they were all... They were, I thought, are they all getting ready to fly off to yeah. Africa or Canada or somewhere like that? And they're all... Meet you, in, meet you in Welford upon Avon by the bridge and we'll set off from there. There were hundreds of and them. And have they gone now? We've had what? They're gone now. Han? Oh, there is, there is an issue, obviously, with the web and the app because lots and lots of people coming in on the phone. It must be the rain. Probably washed out the website. Yeah. Uh, now I've come back for the giraffe, says Pauline. I've got flamingos <laughs> and giraffe on the way now. Gillian says, good morning, John and Rebecca. Uh, message on the bottom. I've ordered dog tote and two charm panels. I haven't even told you about the charm panels yet. Got giraffe last time it was on. Love them from Margaret Aww. Lee in Wiltshire. Oh, thank you. Oh. Morning all, just got a such dog and flamingo bag. Christmas presents when I've made them from Mandy. Yeah, but we don't know who for, do we, Mandy? So we're not giving any surprises away there. So that's your flamingo. I know a lot of people have bought them as presents because they're a bit unusual, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, absolutely. Do you think they're going to make them and give them as presents? Or yeah, just I, give them the pan? I think they make them. I don't know. OK. Um, but because this, the flamingo is quite trendy as well, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. Ooh. Elephant. For the elephant bag. Elephant bag. I will let you show you around it before I show you the panel. So the elephant, obviously, there's mummy elephant. Could be daddy, but yeah. because it's a baby, I'm guessing it's a mummy. Um, then the trunk goes all the way... Well, you don't know with elephants, do you? Because the dads look after them. Oh, OK, well. so it could be daddy elephants. Do you know if you go to Chester Zoo, you can wash an elephant? Can you? Yeah. That must take weeks. <laughs> well, no, no, you get a really over... You get a huge, like, a fireman's hose. Mm. And they love it, and they come up, and they're like this, and you give them a good... Oh, I'd quite like to yeah. wash an elephant. Yeah. That's a nice job. What if they smell? Well, you're not that close. No. But I think they would. Are you behind the... Sort of... you're, no, you're, no, you're up on a high thing like this in spring. Really? Yeah. Oh, I'd like to do that. So this is the elephant with the tree yeah. and the baby elephant. And then there's the elephant trunk going round. And then on the inside, the print is like like a dusty blue, sky, sky, an African sky blue. Is it an African elephant? I think so, because it's got quite big ears. OK, yeah. Because Indian elephants got little ears. And they have them, they're the same shape as the country? Yes, and it has got big ears. Yeah, but so, they're the shape of the country. Oh, that's weird. How do so the Indian ones are shaped like yeah. India. Are they? Yeah. I just thought it was little ears and big ears. No, little ears and big ears. But you are true. full of useful facts. Useless right? information. Useful information, because I never knew that. Yep. And then on the inside of the pocket, yep. there's obviously two baby elephants. Oh. Because, you know, you're the only one who'll see that pocket, but isn't it nice when you've got something nice on the inside of your pocket? And then there's obviously a slip pocket as well with the baby elephant on. 
So yeah, I'm... and we knew about the colour, but we was and we were trying to work out if it was a boy or a girl flamingo. We didn't so the colour we understand about what they eat and everything, but we weren't sure about the boy or the girl. Apparently, all we know so far is the boys are bigger, right? Well, at least the girls get to be pink as well. Yeah, they're all pink. Well, except the ones that were brown. When I went to San Diego Zoo, no, there were some brown. I'd be really disappointed. Imagine, maybe they might be the babies. Imagine buying a flamingo and realising it was pink. No, it might be the babies. Oh, OK. A bit like ducklings. Yes. Where the ducklings are really boring. No, the cygnets. Oh, OK. And both men and lady flamingos can lose their colour when they have a baby because it's such a tense and straining time. The men as well. You see, my I bet, cat, I, I was... At I know, I bet the men from England are going, oh, I'm just so stressed. Yeah, but stressed. Gen, I've got to sit on this baby, do you know? Yeah. Well, they've both got to feed it, though, haven't they? I guess so. But you see, my cat, Luther, has got anxiety. How does a cat have anxiety? What's it got to be it's anxious It's got it all going about? on at the moment. What has that cat got to be anxious about? Well, exa well I said, cats. he lives a life of blooming Riley. But outside, somebody might have, something might have frightened it outside. Yeah, that's true. Anyway, look, elephant bag. Beautiful. $22.99. Reverted to watching on YouTube. It's working nicely. Oh, thanks, Lynn. Love, love, love the elephant. You can buy. Bring the number 0800 1433 That's from Alison in North Yorkshire. Sounds like North Yorkshire. Beautiful. <laughs> I can hear Alan. There you go. Your tree there. Beautiful, aren't they? Oh, So you get the, the front, the front, the back, the back, the pocket, the pocket, the strap, the strap, and the lining and the lining. There you go. And the lining, when you sew it together, the elephants match up. Pattern match. So you could you. use... And you've done a tree that Oni's found in Kenya. And you see, Amy's obviously done a research. Yeah. Because they're the trees that had to fly in. When we did Ghost in the Darkness, they had to mm. fly them in from Kenya to South Africa underneath um, helicopters. Oh, really? Yeah. So they were the right tree? Yeah. That's what that cost. Oh, listen, they brought all the red mud because in, in Kenya they have red mud. They have red Why mud. Why didn't they just film in Kenya? Because it was uh, politically unsafe. Oh, OK. Right? They did look in that we were going to Kenya. I know, to so begin with. flying all the mud and the trees in. Yeah. Yeah, and then we had the flood. So on Christmas Eve, when I had to be mm. saved by the amphibious vehicle, all the red mud washed away. So we had to wait for more red mud to be brought in from <laughs> Anyway, look. No loads in baskets, loads in baskets. Beautiful. Says again. Okay, let's check the dog one before we go on any further. Right here, let's have a look. So I'm going back to the sausage dog now, just be quickly. Oh, what? Right, please be careful. So now, can we get any more? Okay, Hannah's on it now. Hannah's on it now. Uh, I've got 19 left, over 50 people in baskets, but I've only been able to get, what, 50 more, did you say? Right, I'm only going to be able to get 50 more. So that means I'm still, I've only got 17 left, even with the extra 50, just so you know. We had hundreds of these to start with. Right, so that's those. Uh, African elephant. Oh, Indian elephant, of course. Sorry. <laughs> no, because we were just talking about Indian yeah. and elephant. So, in theory, this one will have smaller ears. Well, we'll soon see. Right, now we can't get any more of these. There you go, little, 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 oh, little ears. Little ears. Decorated ears. I'm Decorated, so painted ears. Aren't they beautiful? Right, oh, right. There's way too many people in baskets for this one. Can you just get the bags for me, Rebecca, I can. please? Would you like it? Beautiful. There you go. Oh, oh, I'm doing it now. Okay, thank you. <laughs> well, I could do it. No, no, there you go. There's your front. Well, you smell nice. There's your back. It's me, um, Ollie Murr's perfume. Olly Murs. I was listening to this thing on the radio and Olly Murs, he came in and they said, oh, you smell nice. And he said, you know, I've got this perfume on. I walk, was walking behind this guy in the road and said, you smell really nice. And they asked him what it was. So he bought it. And I thought, well, I bet it is nice then. So I bought it. Oh, so it's not Olly Murs. It's one no, that he wears. No, it's one that he wears. And he asked somebody who he was walking And who, around. what is it? It's, um... Don't go to the shop looking for Oli Murs. No, it's not that. It's called something like Cardigian, Cardigian something. Kardashian? No, it's not that at all. It's 
I don't know, it begins with K. Kodijian or something. Okay, sold out. I wrote it down that sold minute out. when it was on the radio because he said men or women could wear it. And the fact that he'd stopped someone in the street, I thought it and must smell nice. Punch, yeah. Right, that's sold out. I'll have to Take show you the um, bottle. Thank you. Right, now the cats. Pussycats. Pussycat. Ginger on one side, grey on the other, or tabby on the other. They're big. You don't realise how big they are when you see them on the bag. But actually, <laughs> big, big pieces, these. They are. Well, it's a good size bag. You need a good size bag, don't you? Beautiful. Got everything in. But a lot of people have bought them as presents because they are a bit, yeah. a bit different. Yeah, but again, if you... If you've got two friends, one's got a ginger cap, one's got a tabby cap, you could make that one with a calico back and yeah, that one could, with a calico yeah. as back. Long as, you put the right, as long as you've got the right tail, you keep the tail. Oh, yeah, yeah, of course. Then, yeah, you could swap them around. And you I made the, the original added. elephant bag adding wadding. I use it almost every day and get lots of comments. My friends have now bought some of them from Glenys in Greater London. Yeah, no, I said a lot of people have messaged me about the wadding and I did put it in the instructions. Yeah. So, 8640. You could wadding. definitely, use, yeah, and you can definitely use it. It's just I didn't, but yeah. it would give it more. No, no, wadding. no, exactly. You make it as you want to. Right, I've not got many of the cats left now either. How many have we got in baskets? Five left. Five left once you've all checked out. Beautiful. Then I've got the giraffe. Giraffe. Here we go. There's your giraffe. I love this one because his head's upside down. Look underneath the bottom bit. I know, he look. works very well, doesn't he, a giraffe? Was he your first one? Yes, I think. Thinks, yes, I think that's the one when we came up with a list of them. Look. Just because he works up. Because giraffes do put their heads upside down as well, don't they? Did you say brown? Yeah. Do you not think that's brown? You said brown, it's grey. I think that's brown. Like dark brown. Do you think that's grey? Well, grey brown? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Pauline, gray. I'm ever so sorry. I'd say it was dark brown. I'd say it was mushroom. Okay. I think it's like really dark brown. But it could be grey. Anyway, it's, um, it's mushroom. It's a Grey dark... brown. Grey brown. Because <laughs> that's brown there. Yeah, but yes, I suppose so. But then, you know, different shades. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. a brownie grey. What colour did Amy press on the machine? I don't know. I'll ask her. Yeah, when we she can't see I know. She won't be watching. Uh, I had to embroider a small Indian elephant around the hem of a wedding dress in gold thread. Oh, very nice. nice. That's Jean. Right, here's your bag. Okay, I've got single figures of that one left now. Sing and I can't get any more of these. Single figures. Oh, Pauline said it's fine, Rebecca. I love it anyway. Oh, thank you. Well, it could be brown or it could be grey, yeah. Pauline. It's a brownie grey. Brownie grey mushroom. Dark mushroom. Beautiful. Now, are we doing the five inch squares now or are we doing sewing now? Five inch squares. Now, I've not got five inch squares for all of them. And H640 I've got here. Right, so should we do sausage dog first because it's new? Oh. They're so cute. You don't, you don't need them for the bag. You don't need them for the bag. Oh, look. <laughs> How gorgeous. They, so it's all the elements of the bag. So you got the dog, the dog with the lead. You could make a great sausage dog quilt, couldn't you? You could. Now, you need to know that all of them have red leads on this. None of them have the blue lead. Oh, that's true. I wonder why Amy just decided yeah. that. But you could make a quilt, couldn't you? A sausage yeah, dog quilt. Yeah, a doggy quilt. Brand new today, these are. Brand spanking new today. Beautiful, aren't they? Absolutely gorgeous. And you get all of those, look, along the top there. Yeah, so if you may, wanted to make it in a bag, you could use that for, like, the handle. Yeah, you know, and look. And the gift tags. The labels, gift tags. But if you got some, like, red or blue fabric and put sashing in between, it would make a really nice quilt. Yeah, definitely. Dog blanket. Or cushions. Mm. Doggy cushions. Lovely. Right, that's that one. The other one that's brand new today is Flamingo. Oh, lovely colours on this one, look. I know the teal, that kind of turquoisey teal works really well with the pink, doesn't it? 
Still You'd look at that. Job. Flamingos are very in at the moment. Are they? I yes. Why? Don't know. Why have you got cheese plants with it? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Arts gave me. She obviously just thought leaves were nice. If you go to like Oliver Bonus, other shops are available. Yeah. A lot of flamingos and stuff in there. Oh, are they? Very in. Yeah. It's one of those things. A bit like giraffes were and... You know, you get like animals What's at certain next times. Then? You need to be one step ahead. I don't ahead. know. Well, do you remember the, it was the owl, wasn't it? And the sloth. And yeah. You sort of go through trendy animals. Um, flamingos are really in at the moment. Slugs. Hannah says, so, next year, slugs. Next year, slugs. They're there's, very underrated. There's though. always an animal, isn't there? They're very clever. Of... How they can get into my house with the door shut, I do not know. Oh, it's horrible. I'll never forget seeing slugs in the cat food. Oh, oh mm. when you tread on one, with your bare feet. Oh, this, oh just right, so I've got Indian elephants and giraffes. That's it now. Indian elephants first. Is this new? Uh, no, it isn't. We did it. We did it when we did the um, the bag. Oh, see, I don't. I don't yeah. remember seeing this. I love it. This is everything I love. Everything I love in here. Well, it was designed specially for you. I know, I know, I know it was, but I, I haven't seen this before. Oh, haven't you? No, oh, no I think you, Amy designed it specially when we did the bags. I think. Oh, but we didn't, yeah, but we didn't do a tote bag when we did it. We did a pouch and a Yeah, we did, else, yes. We? Yeah. So maybe there were, I can't remember really. Also, remember, when I come back from my holidays at the end of October, it's mm. my fourth anniversary. Yes. And we've got another Amber Makes John Scott collaboration. Mm. Two. Two hours of them. Yeah, we have. Very exciting. Yeah, yeah it's all planned. All planned. All all, I checked. Had to check this all morning. All done. Yeah, very much looking forward to that. Inspired I did. Um, I did. Uh, they said, uh, uh, "What do you want as your logo for, or your slogan, or your mantra?" And mm. I went, uh, "I want that's four years. I'll never get back." I went, <laughs> no, you're not having that one. That got cancelled. I love that one. I love it. So, what was your slogan? I don't know what they've decided on. They've, they've... Four years of unadulterated pleasure. That's not really. I don't think you can get that on a badge. <laughs> I don't think I can go with that one. Okay, <laughs> and then last but not least, la, 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 la. Four years of just being tongue tied. I said this morning. Beautiful. Oh, look. Now oh, now it looks brown on looks here. It looks brown on there. It does look brown on there. Who knows what colour it is? They're so cute, aren't they? Love the oh. last one. I like the little gift tags. You Isn't can, it? you can um, go and feed, I don't know why I'm saying this, but you can go and feed the giraffes at Dudley Zoo. Can you, how many zoos have you been to? Oh, Chester Zoo's because that's where I grew up. Right. Dudley Zoo because I, um, for a friend, I bought him feeding the tigers, Ooh. lions and tigers. And I thought, oh, we'll just stand way up there and throw mm. a bit of meat over the edge. You don't, you go into a tunnel and you're in the cage with them. Obviously, you're in a, your own cage. Yes. And you literally are putting the food through it, and they come and get it like... Oh, I think I'd quite like to do that. It was brilliant, because mm. you're underground. It's dark. Wow. And the tigers come up like this, and they're lit all the spleen you and the tiger is a grill. Oh, I'd like that. I love a tiger. And you just put it on the end of a stick, like oh. a lollipop for them. And I bet they're so furry. Well, don't, you're not allowed to stroke them. Not allowed to stroke them. Not allowed to stroke them. I would like to stroke a giraffe's nose, because when you see their noses, they're really lovely, aren't they? Who, baboon? A giraffe. Oh, giraffe? Uh, yeah. What, you said baboon? No, a giraffe. I'd like... They've got those little noses. You just want to give them a little... Well, it goes, it's all squiggled up and scrunched, isn't it? <laughs> anyway, look, here's the giraffe panel. <laughs> Come on, we've got to get on with some sewing. It's 34 already. <laughs> that's, the, that's the last one I've got to show you, but I do need to recap the sausage dog bag. Oh, and I've got to do H640 as well. So, sausage dog bag. There you go, 50 more, 50 more sausage dog bags. Oh, hooray. <laughs> yeah, there's not 50 more because people are checking out <laughs> on them already. Hooray. Right, here you go. But that's it. We can't get any more after that. Can't get any more after that one. Love his little face. He looks really worried, doesn't he? Oh. Concerned sausage dog. And also, Let's come here. There's a question. Oh, also, I forgot to say about this. Oh, tell me the question first. Okay. There's an email come through. Oh, is it in here? Here you go. Okay. A customer's asked. So it's come from uh, Casey up in customer services. There. Customers asked, will Rebecca 
on with John if there'll be any bags for children. <laughs> well, yes. Like what? Uh, oh, we what? don't know who the customer is. Yeah, what in particular? If you, the customer, ran the call centre and spoke to Casey. Do you mean smaller bags? I imagine they mean smaller bags. Or do they mean these bags, but with children's? Yeah, I don't know. Let us know. Let us know. Well, She's open to suggestions. Open to suggestions. What I forgot to tell you about, this is the only one that we've done this for. Oh, yeah. There's a little extra name tag. Right. And then you could write your dog's name on, like in a permanent marker, and then you can put it on here. Okay. So if you want your... The dog's not going to know, is it? No, but the person... How does the dog know? <laughs> <laughs> the dog goes to doggy heaven. Then you have to put the bag in the cupboard. How many of those name tags do we get? Just one. <laughs> Just one, but Amy put that on as a special extra name tag. None of the others have got them, but then if you wanted to applique that Maybe on... Maybe hand-stitch it on. Yes. If you wanted to applique the name tag on. So what you could do is put, like, a bit of felt or something behind that, so, and then it would be raised. Now, Jackie's messaged in. She's mm. a friend of Chester Zoo. They're opening a hotel in the grounds so you'll be able to see the giraffes and rhinos from your room. Oh, wow. Maybe the giraffes would come up to your window. If you are on well, the yeah, second if you, floor. Well, yeah, if you lean out like that, yeah. there'll be a fence. There'll be a fence between you and <laughs> oh, the I animal. Oh, I imagine, imagine opening the curtains and going, oh, there's a giraffe. <laughs> That's what it's like in Africa. And they would just come up to your window. Yeah. That's what I'm thinking. I don't think they'd let you do oh. something. I think there'll be a fence. They don't it? bite, though, so it's fine. No, but there'll be other animals that might that'll be there. Yeah, but they won't be up to that floor, you see. Oh, no. Well, you if you're on the ground floor, you won't, all you see is the legs. Yeah, what do you do? You say, can I have giraffe floor, please? Oh, yes. Do you have a giraffe floor? So it'd be lion floor, giraffe floor, zebra floor. Yeah. We've got it all sussed. We've got it sussed. Uh, right, now, how many have we got these? <coughs> how many of these are in baskets, Hannah, please? All right, you need to check out. You need to check out, because when, when we went from the other code... Is it the same code or is it a different code? Same code, yeah, but it's a new auction. We can't see how many people are sitting there. Right, shall we do some sewing then? Shall please? we? What are you going to sew? Well, I'm going to show you to start with how you do this um, box corner, which just adds a little bit more detail to your bag because it gives a little pleat on the outside. It's really easy to do. And if you're doing a box corner in a nether bag, you could use this method if you wanted something a little bit different. So the good thing about it is you don't have to um, cut out any corners, but it gives you that depth. Yeah. So what you do is you put your two, your bag... Uh, quick question, for, sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. If do I put eight? If I if I'm putting eight, it's fourteen. If I put it on already now, yeah, do it now. Do it now. Do it, do it now, now before you do anything else. So if you want to use wadding, yeah. if you're using H six forty, press it onto the front and the back of the bag, or if you're using normal wadding, tack it on, may, and then cut it so it's level with the raw edges, and then just follow the instructions as you would. And the boxy corner thing that I'm going to show you will still work even if you're using wadding. Brilliant. So, unlike normally, where you'd be now sewing your bag down the sides and across the bottom and up the top, we're just going to sew it across the bottom. OK, so Sue said, we've had a Maasai come and rescue us from our bungalow in a game reserve in Kenya. A lion was having a nap in our porch. No. They do that, don't they, yeah? Uh, I stayed in... Oh, that was Sue. Nikki says, I stayed in London Zoo. It was wonderful waking up to lions roaring. Blimey. Loving you, Sue. Can you imagine that, a lion in your porch? I would love to stroke a lion or a tiger. I bet they're very soft. Well, I've stroked a lion. Have you? Yeah, because remember I got, nearly got eaten by that one in Africa. And it didn't... And then the next day, or well, a few days later, I was at a, a barbecue, very hungover, and the lion tamer brought the lion with him. I've got a picture of me stroking. Wow, and it didn't lion. bite you? No. Thank you. Good. It was she, was she and biting today. Giraffes just, biting, like biting. biting. <laughs> well, because I said Hannah had a picture of a giraffe on her screen. I'd love to kiss its nose because it had the loveliest oh. nose. And she said, I think it would bite you. It's more likely to lick you. And I bet the, they've got like a cow's, a cow's tongue, quite rough. Oh, do you think they've got black tongues, which is the weirdest? Oh thing? well, Hannah would better tell you. What colour's the tongue of your giraffe? Black, yeah. Now I wonder if. Because if a cow licks your bald head, it makes your hair grow back. Does it? I wonder if it's the same with giraffe. <laughs> you probably end up getting orange hair or something. Yeah, yeah. Or, or mottled like mottled. a giraffe. Mottled. Who knows? <laughs> right. How funny. Shh, shh. So now I've sewn the seam. I've sewn it quarter of an inch seam allowance. I'm going to get my ruler. Um, and you could use a tape measure and mark it. But what you need to do is from the seam, you need to measure and mark a half, one and a half inches all the way along. And remember... This is all in the instructions, obviously, so you have to remember this. And it's all in the tutorial. 
So when you get your instructions, there's a QR code on there that you scan and it takes you oh. to the website where you can yeah. watch it. And then do the same on the other side. Yeah. So this one and a half inches, by the way, if you ever want to make your own bag, this determines the depth of your box bottom. So uh, if you, you haven't want... got talk back. Can you just move to your right a little bit, please? Oh, yes. Yeah, sorry. I should know that, shouldn't I? Um, so if you want a big, not on this one, because I've obviously designed this so that where it will fall with the bag. But if you were using this technique for another bag, basically this measurement is half of the depth of your bottom. So, <laughs> <laughs> so if you want a wider bottom, <laughs> then... No, you do not need a wider bottom, Hannah. Then um, do it bigger. And if you want a smaller bottom... Do Which it, Hannah does. Do it smaller. But that is... So when you do a box bot corner, what you cut the corner out is half of what the corner will be. And this is the same idea. Does that make sense? Yep. Just making sure you follow him. Now, Lisa landed a bag, yes, not yesterday, the day before, and her box bottom wasn't a square, it was a rectangle. Oh, was it? Well, you can, yeah. you can do a rectangle. I've never seen that before. No. I guess you can because it just depends yeah. how you it want it. It makes a different shape, yeah. So what we do now, the reason we've drawn this line, I mean, you don't actually need the line the whole way along, but it does make it a bit more even. I'm going to fold it along this line. It just helps that you... It's only the each end that's important. Yeah. But... Um, it helps to keep it straight. Now, when you do this, press it, but because I've used a heat erasable pen, just be careful not to press the other side yeah. or you'll have to redraw it. Yeah. And then do the same on the other side. Uh, Simon's messaging, John and Rebecca, did you know that giraffes have got the same amount of vertebrae in their neck as a human has? We've wow. We've got seven, I think. Oh yeah, seven. So they I must just have massive vertebrae. Yeah, there's a 10 inches long, where ours are about that big. Oh, how long a giraffe took to become a giraffe? Because... Well, no, because all the ones died off that little neck. Yeah, I know. But how, d how many years did it take? Darwinism. Well, for years. A, for a giraffe to... But if you look at them, they look a bit prehistoric, don't yeah, they? Yeah, they I do, think actually. The giraffe house in Chester Zoo is gorgeous. They're just lovely. Um, so now I've pressed those two like that. You can then, at this stage, press this... Ooh, put it back on the ironing board. Um, press this bottom seam open. I don't do it at the beginning because you're because you're measuring that one and a half inches away from the seam, not the raw edge. I don't do it at the beginning. Make sure that you don't unpress one of those edges. That just gives you, it makes it neater. Now, all you've got to do now is put these two pressed bits together. So that's quite simple. So I think, to be honest, that's easier than doing the other box bottom. Wendy's mum and dad were uh, zoo keepers at Dudley Zoo and the mum had her finger bitten off by a monkey. Oh, not a giraffe. No, not, no, no, but the lady's been back in touch and she would like a giraffe bag for a five-year-old, please. Oh, so smaller. Yeah, please. Okay. Well, you could just use this bag, but just cut it down. Just trim it. Or make them drag it along the floor. Trim it. Yeah. Just because, you know, the giraffe's not... Oh, no, you couldn't make it any smaller because you'd lose its legs. Well, that's fine. Could just be a legless giraffe. And then do the same on the other side. So all you, the only thing you've just got to make sure is you match up those bottom plate, pleats. Hannah's, well, Hannah's had a good idea. Maybe make a storage bo box with Bozal in it for your, for your bed, the little five-year-old's bedroom while she's growing oh, up. Oh, yeah, you could, yes. Yeah. yeah, with all that giraffe. Yeah. Um, when you do this one, most of them have like a, a printed bottom edge. Just make sure that matches up when you do it. And then it just means that the bag then will go round the edges nicer. So just pin that together. Now I've done the pleaty bit. Easy. And now all I'm going to do is sew it together down the sides. Okay. Message on bottom while you're doing that. Uh, I love listening to you to having a chat. You're so funny from Jen in South Wales. Bonne da, Jen, bonne da. She's not listening. Bonne da. I know lots of Welsh. Gwisanathai. Do you know what that is? Sorry, what? Gwisanathai. Do you know what that is? Oh, what? Gwisanathai. Services. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know, when you're on the motorway, Gwisanathai. Yeah. Araf, it stopped. Yeah. When I went to Theatre Cluid, all the signs are in English and in mm. Welsh. So you learn... Uh, I can't remember. Araf, slow. Yeah, oh, is it slow? Slow. Stop. Um, um, you learn... Uh, toilet die. bar, all those. I knew all of those words. Toilet die. Push and pull. Toilet die. Toilets. Oh, <laughs> 
Donna got married in Chester Zoo. And really? Nice. Yeah. Oh, that would be nice in the giraffe house. Yeah, she didn't marry a giraffe, Hannah. She married her husband. <laughs> People do do things like that, though. What, get married in zoos? Marry giraffes and, you know. Oh, oh no, what about that lady who married a, 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 an aeroplane recently? Uh, married a what? An aeroplane. Really? What? Yeah, she's got divorced now. She said it wasn't working. For she's her. got a fighter jet instead now, has she? Yeah. Yeah. I wonder what aeroplane she married. It's great, big, like an easy jet one. Oh. Oh, I think I'd marry a helicopter. Oh, would you? stylish, wouldn't you? Or a red arrow. Quite sexy. <laughs> if you were going to marry an aeroplane, what aeroplane would you marry? I'm just going to press this seam open. <laughs> or maybe, like, one of those fighter jets like Tom Cruise was in. Oh, like in, not Mission Impossible, in uh, Top Gun. Yeah, yeah, one of them. Yeah. It wouldn't be the presidential plane. Are you thinking about the pilots in the aeroplanes? Or the... Well, I was just thinking if I had to marry an aeroplane, what aeroplane would I yeah. marry? It wouldn't be an easy jet plane. You don't have to. No, but see. Nothing wrong with the easy jet. No, but it wouldn't be that. You would be no. marrying Concorde, wouldn't you? Or a fighter jet or something. Concorde anyway. was much smaller than you think. What is? Yeah. Concorde is. I nearly got on Concorde because we had to go to New York to fit Tom Cruise in an outfit and there was only <gasps> one slot where we could go. That so should have been my job. And then we, we, um, we were going to get Concorde because we had to be there at a certain time and then it was suddenly like, oh no, you can do it next a week next Wednesday. So we went on a normal aeroplane. Oh, what a shame. I know. He's still looking good though, isn't he? In the Olympics. He wasn't in the Olympics. No, at the end. Yeah. Yeah. Well, didn't he still look yeah, yeah, yeah. good? Yeah, better than me. No, oh, obviously, you could have done that. They just didn't have your I'd love to, I love abseiling and jumping out of aeroplanes and things like that. So lovely. So now, look, I've turned, what I've done is just turned it right sides out. And then what you get, I'll show you on my overhead, you get this little triangle pleat. But it's sewn in because that's the bit that you sew in. Yeah. So that now is your box bottom. So that's oh, one and a half inches. So yeah. it just means it's just a bit different. Yeah, it's it, quite nice. It I does the same thing. And then when you get, when you've finished it all to press it, you just need to, that's bit that you press, you just need to press it the other way. And that gives you your boxy bottom bit. Uh, having so having so Street on not only teaches us, but helps us to forget the horrible grey skies outside. Oh, thank you. Well, especially when you... Oh, okay, hang on. Something else going the opposite. I like, like being... It's like being back in school <laughs> this morning. <laughs> Hilarious. Well... School did, what school did you go to, Pat? Oh, in Merseyside. Yeah, but that's all your flamingo facts, isn't it, you see? Oh, the facts. The, all fling, the facts, flamingo right? facts. So that is what you do with the bottom, yeah. with the outside. Now, I've made the lining in advance. Yeah. And the lining is done in exactly the same way. All with you, that... Th that pleaty that bit. That pleaty bit. All you do is, when you sew that bottom seam at the very beginning, is you leave a gap. You see? Yeah. Uh, Lo used to do shows in Tanzania and Zanzibar. She can speak Swahili. I learned Swahili as well when Did I was you? in South Africa. Give us some. Sick. <coughs> That's frog. Sick. <coughs> because they do that. <coughs> Sick. So they don't have a word then? No, that's it. That's the word. See, it's spelled S-I-X-O, but the X's are spelled. Like that. So what's the word for giraffe then? Oh, I didn't learn giraffe. Is it... I did learn to count to 20 <laughs> while I was there. Yeah, but is the giraffe like a giraffe sound? No. Oh. Not an onomatopoeia. No. Uh, you can get married in Concord at Manchester, apparently, according to Jackie. OK. There you go. But not married to Concord. You don't go up, no, you don't mar no, Jackie, we don't marry Concord. You get married in, in it. In Concord. It doesn't take off. It's in Manchester, the viewing area in Manchester. Yeah, I don't think that'd be my top. You'd all be like thing. this, though, wouldn't you? I take the... I take the, yeah, like well, that. Right, but... Yeah, you'd have to marry somebody really short. Yeah, and then would you get your food in tin trays? It'd <laughs> be quite funny, wouldn't it? Who wanted the vegetarian? <laughs> <laughs> See, can't go to the toilet until we've taken off. Yeah, I'm sorry, no, can't go to the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> Look, concentrate. With five forty-nine, we've only done right. two funny box bottoms. So, um, Twiga is giraffe in Swahili. Twiga. Uh, Twiga. Oh yeah, because like twig. Yeah. There's a reason for that. So at this stage, now obviously I've made mine without putting the pockets on because yeah. I wanted to show you that bit. Um, if you want to put the pockets on, you do that before you um, put your lining together. So you can put a zip pocket in and a. Um, Patch pocket. And a patch pocket. I have made my patch pocket in advance. So, because I haven't got long, I'm not going to show you all this. I'm going to just... Right. No, no, it's fine. I'll talk you through it. I'm instead. enjoying myself. Um, 
So you just take your patch. Now the pack, the slip pocket has got a front and a back. You sew them right sides together, and then you just pin it on and sew it into place all the way around. I've shown you with the elephant one. In the instructions, it gives you the measurements for the positioning, and then with the um, the slip pocket, the zip pocket, you need a nine inch zip. If you look on the um, the website. It, on there it tells you all the details and there's a bit that says you will also need and I've put on there the things you'll need so if you want to buy them now so if you want to do this and you want the zip we have got the zips on the website and it'll tell you which got the zips need. here yes we have they're a bit longer but I like a longer zip. okay so you fine. need a nine inch zip but we have I found oh, four these, zips now these are all different sizes well they're all long enough okay perfect so we do have them if you want to buy the zip to put into there black one is 24 centimeters They're having a lot, a lot of fun. A lot of laughing going on in there, isn't there? I know. Nine and a half inches, yeah. So that would be good for the... <coughs> well, I don't know. <coughs> then next one. Oh, dark pink is bigger. That would be good for the flamingo. 30 centimetres, that one. Real learning curve this morning. Enjoying the show, says Diana. 12 inches. But that's fine, because the... The pocket, I think, is eight inches, so I always do it bigger anyway. Yeah. That would be a good one for the flamingo. Navy, well, you could use... Cream, navy. back to the uh, um, nine and a half inches. Any of them, really? Maybe the elephant? Nine and a half inches. The blue. That would be good for the sausage dog. Sausage dog? I think. I bet if any money, sausage dog sold out. Oh, right, look, right, there's 20 left, but loads in baskets. Okay, okay go on. So then. all, I won't... <coughs> that, Excuse me. That will take a while. So you, the whole zip is put into the other side of the lining and you have the, um, the zip pocket front and back. Just remember, and it, it does say this in the instructions, that the back is at the back of it. It's hard to describe, really, but when you put your zip in, the zip goes into the front so that when you open your pocket, this is at the back. Right. You want the feature at the yes. back. Yes. But don't worry, it is all explained in there. Oh, apparently YouTube's gone down now as well. Oh, uh, morning, very informative. We're learning. Uh, are we learning to sew? No. And we oh, and, and we're learning to sew. Oh, sorry, Glynis. Love you two together. Rebecca is a brilliant teacher. Oh, thank you, Glynis. Um, right, so the, just put the zip in. So I'm just going to talk to you about the handles. Yeah. So I've made the handles in advance really simple. You just have the, um, the piece of handle fabric, fold it in half right sides together, sew it together and turn it right sides out. Now the best thing to do that is a turning tube. Yeah, turning because, tube. Because um, I have spent many an hour turning these straps inside out until I discovered the joy of a turning oh, tube. I know, they're brilliant. And they, they are the simplest invention, drain pipe and a stick. Yeah and they just work brilliantly. So I would say, if you don't have a turning tool, get yourself a turning tool, because they're fabulous. Seven ninety nine. We've got, only got the one with two from Prim here for seven ninety nine. And it just makes turning these out so fast. I wonder what language that is, because they're either an outil pour guide, which is French, obviously, mm -hmm. a turning set, or a windy. A windy? A windy set. No seven ninety nine. That's strange. Wendy windy set, medium and large. Maybe they're called Wendy somewhere else. Anyway, it's really easy to put the um, the straps on. You don't even need to have measurements because obviously you just match up the feature that you're doing. So what you do is so for the flamingo, because the flamingo neck is the same, Amy's design, so they're exactly the same width, you just pin it. And I always put my straps about half an inch above the raw edge because if you put them right by the edge and you've got something really heavy in it, it'll pull through the fabric threads and then your whole strap will fall off. And I know that from experience. Yeah, especially if you put potatoes in them. And you're walking along and your bag falls off. So when you do a strap, always pin it at the top and then pin it further down because although you think it'll stay straight, something happens to them when you put them under the machine and they go wonky. Yeah. And then when you get your strap, to avoid having to unpick it, just run it through your fingers so it stays straight and pin it on the other end. You don't need to measure. You can probably just judge that, but if you want to, you can. But they have been designed specifically so that your straps will be the same width as um, the neck or the lead, and then do exactly the same on the other side. So they are very simple to make, really. And then run it through your fingers just to make sure it stays straight and put it on the other side. 
And now you can tack, tack that into place. Yep. Which I won't do because I've got long left. Then take your lining and put the bag inside the lining. Now they need to be right sides facing. It doesn't really matter which one is it's on really the outside. Right. It's entirely up to you as long as you've got them joining. Just make sure when you do it, you start off with the side seams because if you position them correctly at the side seams, they will sit better. And because you've got those boxed corners, they need to sit exactly on top of each other. So pin it together across the top, uh, matching these side seams. And then you pin it all together all the way around. And that, that will sandwich those straps in the seam. And you sew it together all the way along the top. I'm just, have I got enough time to do that? Not really, but go on. Well, I won't because I wanted to show you the next bit. Well, you're out of it. time, so. So what, what else do you need to show? I just, well, I'll just, two minutes. So pretend, <laughs> pretend I've sewn it all the way round. Yeah. Okay. This is, I'm just showing you how to join the lining to the outer. So oh, right, When you've joined it together all the way round and sewn it, pull one out of the other like this. So you've got one one side and one the other. Yeah. And then take these seams that you've done this foldy bit to like that and then just put it on top of each other right yeah and then all you have i'm going to tell we to see that there you go there you go right. right so you take them you put them on top of each other yeah so exactly on top of each other match up the raw edges and then all you have to do is sew them together within the seam allowance, not on top of the seam, within it. And you only need to sew for a couple of inches, just enough to hold that lining in place. And what that means is that when you've got your finished bag, the lining, as you can see, is held in. And it's just at those bottom corners, but it's just enough to hold it inside. But it also gives the bag a bit more body because you've got more structure and more layers of fabric going on in those corners. So it makes it more structured and keeps the lining inside as well. But anyway, that's all in the tutorial. So you'll Brilliant. Be able to see that anyway. Here you go then, Flamingo. You get the panel and you get the instructions. $22.99. Check out, check out, check out. <clears throat> then, Elephant next. Instructions, video tutorial and panel. There you go. That makes that one. Lovely. Uh, sausage dog. Now remember we sold out. We got an extra 50 for you. Oh, there we go. There's your sausage dog one. Red on one side, blue on the other. Beautiful stripy lining. There it is. Oops, there. There it is. Gorgeous. Anything else? Giraffe. There's your giraffe. Gorgeous giraffe. Now, please be careful, there are only 16 of the giraffe left. 16 giraffe left, that's all. Sounds like a lot of giraffes, but it's not. Because yeah. when they're old enough, they'll get sent off to Germany to set up their own family. What, the giraffes? Yeah, Chester Zoo, when they have boy, baby boys, mm. they then send them off to different... Um, oh, do they? Because there's only one leader of the pack sort of thing. So they send the oh. young boys off to like Germany or something mm. like that, and then they have their own wives and everything there. <laughs> OK. More giraffe facts. Okay, right. This is H640, right? This is half a metre here, right? Don't buy it. I had this, I had this right on Sunday, right? I did this on Sunday. Don't buy it, right? Because it's 5 99 for half a metre, right? Brilliant price, but we've got a, a bundle where you get, so 5 99 for half a metre, or you can have a metre for 9 99 What happened on Sunday? Loads of people bought the half metre. Not concentrating. Not listening. Just sit have the sound off. They see me. It always off again. Mm. John's waving something at us. A metre. That's well worth it. Yeah, mm. totally. Totally. A metre for 9 99 So you're saving a couple of pounds there. 
Right, so you're back in an hour. What are you doing? Oh, recap. recap yes, recap. so there's a lot of kits that we've sold out of previously. Yeah. And it's taken ages for me to get them back. Yeah. So we've got them back. Topsy-turvy dolls, storage baskets, vintage sewing, book covers, loads of things. <laughs> oh, lots of topsy-turvy dolls have already gone. So they might I not know. be there when we get Oh. There. Don't go anything, Catherine Savage is up next. We've got some brand new cross stitch. We've got a look, got Christmas, we've got all sorts of things. Look, gorgeous Christmas there. Uh, beautiful. And then we've got a brooch, and that's brand new. Kew Gardens there. Is there another picture as well? Look, house plants. And we've got stump work. The bee and the butterfly. Uh, yeah, our st stump work. Yeah, fluffy. We'll see you back here in four minutes. Did you know that we can deliver to over 20 different countries worldwide, spanning four continents from the UK to Australia? Check out our website for the list of countries and delivery costs. Sewing Street, stitching the world together. Not only is Sewing Street live from 8am till 1pm on Sky 670, Freeview Channel 73, YouTube and the Sewing Street app, now, Virgin subscribers can watch on Channel 754, which means there are more ways to watch your way with Sewing Street. Did you know at Sewing Street that on various products we offer split pay? That means on certain items you can spread the cost over two, three, four or sometimes even five interest-free monthly payments. Just pay the first instalment when you purchase and you're away. So shop your way with Split Pay. Never miss a show by watching on the go with the Sewing Street app. Head over to your app store now and search Sewing Street and simply download to your smartphone or tablet. You can watch the shows live and see your favorite presenters and guests. Click on the Today button to shop all of the products that are featured in today's show. Want to know what's hot? Then click here to see today's bestsellers and highlights. Have you missed a show or want to watch one back? Then click the Schedule button and you can go back seven days to watch and shop and you can also see what's coming up over the next seven days. Want to say hello or ask a question to our guests? Then send a message to the studio. You can also keep in touch with all the latest news, events, product launches and much more by clicking here for our social media pages. Never miss a show by watching on the go with Sewing Street. Here at Sewing Street, we only charge one p and throughout the day. You can add as many items to your basket and check out and still only be charged once. Once you've checked out the first time and want to order again, you simply add the item to the basket and click on the Combine Order button. Remember, standard P&P is £4.95. Charges may differ for outside the UK. Or upgrade to our premium option for £6.95 on certain items. Shopping made easy at Sewing Street. Shopping with Sewing Street couldn't be easier. You can shop via our website at www.sewingstreet.com where you can watch our live shows and see all the products from that day. We also have a huge amount of products on our website from your sewing room essentials to fabrics, sewing machines and much more. You can download and shop on the go with our Sewing Street app. Simply head over to your app store and search Sewing Street. Alternatively, you can contact our UK-based call centre 24 hours a day on 0800 001 4433. Shopping made easy at Sewing Street. Not only is Sewing Street live from 8am till 1pm on Sky 670, Freeview Channel 73, YouTube and the Sewing Street app, now, Virgin subscribers can watch on Channel 754, which means there are more ways to watch your way with Sewing Street.
did you know that we can deliver to over 20 different countries worldwide, spanning four continents from the UK to Australia? Check out our website for the list of countries and delivery costs. Sewing Street, stitching the world together. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletter. Go to sewingstreet.com and scroll down to the bottom of the homepage. Type in your email address and click the envelope. That's it. You'll never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Now, I always call you Catherine Savage. It's not Savage, is it? You can call me Catherine Savage. I think it's quite theatrical <laughs> and lovely. I like, yeah, I like Catherine when Savage. When we were at school, there was a girl called Lisa Savage. And uh, we went on a, a course once and they called her name out and she just stood up. She was so brave. She was only about 14. She went, it's Savage, actually. And I've always remembered that. And you, you've now become Savage. I'm happy with the rebrand. Uh, how have you been? Been really, busy? Yeah, been really good. Uh, have you done any shows? Are you doing any shows recently? You know, kind of, because didn't you win an award for having the most beautiful stall or something? I did. <laughs> I won um, Best Looking Stand um, at Stitch, which was very exciting. Excellent. Um, I've got knitting and stitching in a few weeks. I'm just going to move your hair away from your oh, microphone. Sorry. That's right. That's right. Um, so yeah, I've got I've got I've got an idea in my head of what I, what it's going to look like, but I'm still working on that. Oh. <laughs> anyway, we've got brand new, but before we do brand new, B is back in stock. B sold out completely last time he was on. So this is your kit here. It's, oh, it's a queen bee. It's a she. It's a she. It's a queen bee. Sorry. And it's a 3D stump work. So in here, which we'll explain to you in a second, in here you get absolutely everything that you need. But I can see two hoops. You can. So you've got the hoop to do the majority of your picture. And then because the, the wings are on um, some, some tool, um, you want to actually use a smaller hoop. Oh, wow. Uh, so £34, you get absolutely everything. OK, please be careful. They're going already. Fewer than 20 already. So we get the hoops. Now, I don't know what the, this wire. I can see uh, printed cotton. I can see a pattern. I can see ribbon. And I can see loads and loads of gorgeous threads. Yeah, yeah, I'll get it for you now. Let me see. i just see where it is. Hang on, I'll go around the front of the desk. At the front. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, oh, there he is, right at the front. She, she, she. Because I just want, Hannah just wants you to see, like it's 3D, look. Can you see? Beautiful and soft. She, she. So tell me what, what um, techniques are in there then. So this in the middle, the fluffy bit, is actually called turkey work. It's done using a series of loops. Oh, that's not the stump. That's, that's a, this, the stump works are the wings. Oh. Um, I guess anything 3D could be classed as stump work. No, 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 no. I just don't, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it's a sort of a 3D um, technique. So that's turkey, turkey, turkey teeth. Turkey, turkey work. <laughs> turkey work. That there is your stump. Yeah. And then what else have I got to do? So we've got there? some woven rose wheels. Right. Not something you can say for No. Um, you've got some lazy daisies, some stem stitch, lots and lots of French knots, so perfect to do loads of French knot practice, um, some fishbone stitches, um, yeah. And what's, and that? what's in lots there? Lots of little satin stitches and straight stitches. For How the, for gorgeous. This is flying out, absolutely flying out. Isn't it lovely though? Look, look, look at it, it's 3D. You always think of these as being, as this kind of kits as being flat, flat, don't yeah. you? Don't think of them being like that. And did you say this, does this one, yeah, there. So the gauze is for making the stump work, is it? The, the yeah. wings? Yeah, so the wings, I wanted to give them like a really nice sort of see-through texture. Mm -hmm. And the only way to really do that is by using, you know, much like a much lighter fabric. But putting something like that into the big hoop wouldn't work. No, of so course. Thought, let's use the little hoop. And why have I got that then? The wire is what you kind of create the wings with. Are we going to, that's what we're going to show yeah. when we do the demo, yeah, isn't yeah. it? Uh, please be careful. Lots and lots and lots of you there for this one. Once you've checked out, single figures now. Single figures once you've all checked out. Remember last time it was on, it completely and utterly sold out, so we brought it back for you today. I haven't done this. I haven't seen this one before. At uh, £34, check out, check out, check out. Right, I'm going to put that in there. I'm going to put that in there. Uh, what do you want to know next, Han? Butterflies now. Oh, now. Oh, there you go, there you go. 
So this one here is your butterfly stump work there. I'll just get the real thing for you. So again, in the box, we get everything we need. We get <clears throat> the printed cotton for the background. We get the hoop, we get the thread. We must get wire, yeah, wire. Now, no, um, no um, net for this one. No, this one we're using some, um, another bit of fa fabric. So there's a an extra piece of fabric underneath. Oh, okay, let me get it out. Mess, mess this box up. So there's the one with the background printed yep. on it. And the little lines you can see just here are where we're going to add, attach the butterflies to. Oh, okay. So you do all the background first and then on a, a separate piece of fabric, you can draw on the butterflies. If right. you don't want to do the How do I, have I got to, have I got something? Oh, yes, yes, There's yes, a yes, template yes. just there. So you can draw on your butterflies and then um, you start by doing your wireframe. Brilliant. Brand new. Look, 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 look. They're 3D as well. Brand new today, this one. Absolutely brand new today. So cute, isn't it? Um, you get your needle, you get a needle threader. So what's that for? I always back my hoops like that. So I leave oh. them like this. And in case anyone wants to have a little look at. Oh, how, okay. How so you'd put that, uh, when it was yeah. finished, you'd put that you'd over put the that top over there. The top. Lovely, isn't it? We leave it open so that we can see it because we're working on it today. At uh, £34, beautiful butterflies there. So stitches wise? Stitch wise, we've got some satin stitch, some back stitch, um, some French knots, some stem stitch, some fishbone stitch. Um, yeah. And then lots of, lots of like really nice practice doing stump work. Gorgeous. So three different, you know, three times you'll do the stump work. Lovely, aren't they? £34 for that one. Uh, brand, brand new today, brand new today. Uh, we are going to do a demo on the wings of the bee. Is that right? Um, or the butterfly. Butterfly, yeah. Oh, butterfly, butterfly, kind of butterfly, 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 butterfly wings. Okay, perfect. Right, okay then. Uh, so this is stump work, is it? Yeah. Right, let's see how we do it then. So stump work, um, the first thing, so in all of my kits, they've got some, some wire. So it's a nice wire, not, not too thick, um, but not too thin either. So it's going to give... Oh, yeah, sorry, I'm, supposed to, I'm supposed to do this, aren't I? Give everything a little bit of structure. So when you're cutting your wire, what you don't want to do is you don't want to do, use your lovely... Embroidery, embroidery scissors, scissors yeah. because they'll blunt them. So right. you would want to use um, like a pair of sort of pliers yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, to cut. So you just cut that. I know we uh, bend it a little bit. And then the first thing to do is to get your wire into the sort of roughly the shape that you want it to be in. Is, so there, is there a template there in the thing? There is a template. Yeah. I would um, draw it on the back um, and then uh, sort of shape your wire gently. Um, and then the first stitch you're going to do, and you've just seen I've got, I've kind of added a little bit in, otherwise it was going to be yeah, yeah, yeah. flopping everywhere. Um, it's just some couching. So uh -huh. little tiny stitches all the way around the edge, not too close together, um, just to secure that wire in place. Coming up from the back. So, really so I'll pull tight. it tight, but not too tight. Yet. Yeah. So am I going to cut this out then? Yeah, that's 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 a little bit um, that's scary. Yeah, yeah. We've got some nice little scissors to do that with, though. Yeah, you need some sharp scissors. Yeah. You can use your, um, you know, fabric scissors, or you can even use. Yeah, um, no, we've got some really lovely embro little embroidery scissors today. Yeah. So you just do your couching all the way around the edge. I would then go back. I'm caught a little bit there. Um, I'd go back and I'd um, add in. Ooh, I've got a oh, knot. Not. Yeah. So never pull the knot. Always go back and undo, she says. Do you treat your um, thread beforehand? I don't treat regularly, mm -hmm. um, but if I am using metallics, um, then I would. Okay. Yeah. It's just a lot nicer on your hands as well. So yeah, so couching all the way round, mm -hmm. especially when you get to the bit where the wires cross over. I've left my wires a little bit long. They don't need to be this long. Right. Um, they, you can trim them a lot shorter, but I do like to leave a little bit of an overlap. Um, well, maybe leave the bigger overlap till now, so you've, yeah. you've secured all of that. Then you could always trim yeah. it down. And I leave the overlap on a sort of more of a curve rather than this part here, yeah. which is kind yeah. of in, inwards for the... Um, I'll make this slightly longer. There. So once you've gone all the way around with couching, then you're going to go around with a second stitch, so a buttonhole stitch. Oh, okay. All the way around the edge, which just gives it that um, sort of a thicker, a thicker yeah, edge yeah, and a lot course, more yeah. secure. 
All this is in the instructions, though, isn't All it? All this is in the instructions. And for both the bee and the butterfly, um, because this is slightly different and quite kit-specific, I filmed those instructions just that, that, that and part. And where do I find those, then? So those, they are um, on the second page. There's YouTube links. Right. To, to all oh, the links are in the instructions, yeah. yeah. So um, all of the kits have got video links um, to all the stitches that are included. So what I haven't got in there is left-handed French knots, but if anyone needs those, I have got those too. Okay. Well, you just send those to me if I want those. Yeah. Yeah, I was asked to do some, some left-handed French knots. So and I are you left-handed? No, I'm not. Did you get a left-handed person to do them? No, of that course not. That would have been not. easier. I know. Oh. It's not so hard to do them. Oh, isn't it? All right, no. then. And did I not get a picture this one from the from the um, from the children last time you oh, came? Oh, I'm in, you so sorry. Me no, she's been very busy. She turned eight last week. Oh wow! And the other one's only got one arm at the moment because she badly broke it over the summer. Oh no, I saw that on your on your socials. Is it still broken? That's a long break. Yeah, she broke it and dislocated it. Oh, how did you do that? Monkey bars. I don't know what a monkey bar is. <laughs> the playground, you know, the the thing they swim. Oh no. <laughs> Yeah, the last night of holiday, and she... And how soon into the summer holidays did she do it? It was two weeks into the summer holidays, oh. so right at, right, at, yeah. well, right at the end of our holiday, but two weeks in, so she's back to school and she's had um, a cast. She's had two operations. Oh. She's been very, very, very brave, yeah. But she's, um, cast comes off next week. I think that's when I'm going to be most nervous because <laughs> she's talking about going on the monkey bars again. Oh, no, that's good. As long as she's talking about that, but I'd be frightened of like, because she's been used to being yeah. strapped up. Suddenly it's going to be not strapped up. And we'll, exactly, you know. yeah. The, um, the surgeon let her have two colours on her cast. So she's got pink and purple at the moment, oh. which is very exciting. Yeah. Um, Sort of a fashion arm, as she says, as she calls it. Oh, oh! Long as yeah. she's been, it's been positive for oh, her. Oh, she's not just been an absolute, yeah, yeah. Been, oh. been amazing. So, yeah, that was the summer. Yes. Um, cast so. cast off next week, uh, and in the meantime, yes, we've had birthday. So, unfortunately, no pictures. No picture. Next fine. time. Next that's, time. That's too late now. <laughs> I know when I'm not loved. I'll let her know. <laughs> oh, no, don't. <laughs> Right, so we've couched all the way round. Couched all the way round, okay. and now you need to do a buttonhole stitch. With the same thread? You can use exactly the same thread. Okay. Um, yeah. So I normally get started with a little loop. So one stitch, one stitch over. You. And coming up through the middle, and then pulling outwards. Uh, only nine bees left, and we're just doing the butterfly one here. Yeah, that... uh, we'll put the bee in the side graph, but let's just make sure it doesn't fill up too much of the screen. We should be all right. There you go. So this, t this does take a little while. Yeah, yeah, but we're around. not in any rush, are we? No. It's, not a, it's, not a, it's not an art form that you need to rush no. or anything. But this just gives it that nice, like, um, darker sort of definition around the edge. You might want to go around and couch a little bit more as well, but you'd go around and add this all the way around the right. edge. And then you can see from the sample, um, you, it, you've that. covered up all of the, all of the wire is right. completely covered at the edges. Uh-huh. Yeah. And then how to fill the middle bit so in? So once it's filled, once that's all done, then you go back and you fill in... Um, oh, like you would do stitch. normally? Like yeah, you would satin, do normal. yeah, yeah, satin stitch. So this one's got, I think, a line down the middle. So you do satin stitch here yeah. and then the next satin stitch. And it's got a couple of other details over the top. Mm -hmm. There's a couple of straight, um, the straight stitches. Right. Some French knots in there as well. So this, this is your outer... Because doing, doing the buttonhole stitch is going to be like a hand-sewn buttonhole, like when you yeah. military clothes or handmade jacket, or you do buttonhole, stitch around your buttonhole or around your eyelet. So you've secured all the edge there. Exactly. Then you've gone, drawn a line down the middle and done your satin stitch to create that. Then you've done your highlights in there. Then you just cut it out. Then you cut it out. But you have to make sure you don't cut through your buttonhole stitch. Yeah. So I normally um, cut slightly wider first. Right. And then sort of go back, once I've got it sort of out in my hand, yeah. and then sort of go back slightly and, um, and trim. Okay. But, and, and then is that both wings or is that just one wing? Both wings. So you're uh, going to do the wings separately and then put them together. So I'm going to make two of those? 
two of those. And then put them together. Yeah. How do I do that? So putting them together, putting them together, you're going to position both of the um, wings mm -hmm. along that line that you saw on the fabric panel to start yeah. off with. And then it's just sewing them down through the middle. Oh, OK, OK. Yeah. So, any, any so I don't stitch them together. No, I no, just put them on the line, on. but yeah. next to each other on so the line. If I show you this inside, you can see inside has just been stitched. Brilliant. Lovely. So and what you need to cut those is some lovely little Millwood embroidery scissors. Right, now obviously now everything in this hour you post out, don't you? It comes yep. from you, apart from the scissors. But you still only pay one PMP. The scissors come from us. 9.99. But no, 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 special deal for you today. Half price. Half price, 4.99 for little embroidery scissors. Just had to show you those. So they'll come from us. And everything else comes from Catherine. Oh, we're not saying it for 99. Oops. <laughs> 3 99 Christmas is coming, isn't it? 3 99 If you're doing, I want more than that. If you get me on Secret Santa, we've got £10 this year. I want some more, six more pounds, please. Okay, I didn't get a birthday present, so my Christmas present would be a lot better, apparently. Yeah, but my Secret Santa is not my Christmas present. <laughs> Hannah takes part in Secret Santa, takes a present, but forgets to put one in the box. Oh. She didn't realise she was meant to buy one. Anyway, anyway, that's the scissors, three ninety nine. I'll remind you about those later. So where should we go now then, Han? Sunflowers. Hang on a sec, let's have a look. It's Christmas, Christmas. I can see the... Oh, there, there, the thing is. Christmas, Christmas. I'll find it, don't worry, it'll be here somewhere. Oh, I think so. oh, here you go. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh, <laughs> here you go. Sunflowers. Right, I just need to move you across a little bit. So what do I get in here, then? Oh, oh, look. The background's all decoloured in for you. I'm just going to go and get the real thing. There we go. Oh, I love this. So this is what you're making. So this is already... Yeah. It's already pre-printed, so the background um, is... You don't need to worry about the background there. So it's just ready to pick up, pop in your hoop, and then get stitching. So you get the, the back panel, you get the hoop, you get the thread, you get the needle, you get the piece of felt to go in the back, you get the ribbon to hang it from, you get your instructions, and you get your uh, stitch guide. Quarter of the stocks in baskets. I think that's gorgeous. That's so, is that a little bee? Yes. <laughs> I do like bees. The bee from the stump work in the <laughs> distance. No, nope. because the queen bee doesn't go out, does she, and get stuff, does no. she? No, that's just a little bee. That's a worker bee, that one. So, um, French knots. French knots. Um, satin stitch. I've just seen another bumblebee as yep. well. Um, a split stitch. Yeah. And a fishbone stitch. Isn't it gorgeous? I love it. I absolutely love it. Now, is this one e slightly easier? This one is slightly easier, yeah. I would say this one's completely beginner friendly. Okay, brilliant. I, the other two, the stump work, I definitely, um, the stump work itself yeah. is a little bit harder. Yeah. Um, but this would be perfect for a beginner. It's always difficult though, isn't it? Because we're all beginners of what we do, but sometimes you find, so, like when I was at Wimbledon School of Art, I found, you know, to begin with, like the actual sewing difficult, but we did wig making and I found that really easy. Yeah. And yet we were taught, when Dana came in to teach us, like, oh, we're doing wig making today and this is really, really difficult. And I just took to it, took to it straight away. So it's really difficult, isn't it, to say, this is the beginner, this is the thing, because you might take to coat, ca couching, no, um, stump work much, much quicker yeah, than you. Oh, nice. I need to go also go back and talk about, are we going to talk about turkey stitch at some point? Yeah, we can show you some turkey Because we have to talk, oh, now, is that turkey stitch on there, you know, later on? Yes. Is that, okay, yeah. we, I'll tell you about that when we come to Christmas then. Uh, make sure you check out on this home. Quarter of the stocks in baskets, you do need to check out. £28, you get everything you need. To, you've got the finished thing. Yeah, yeah, your felt's there. The felt's in that one as well. Yeah, the felt's there. Threads, needle. Uh, now, yeah, there it is, needle, needle threader. Thread. I was going to say, you normally put needle threaders in. Yep. But needle threader as well. Be beautiful, beautiful. And there. Check out, check out, check out, though. Absolutely stunning.
Right, then we've got poppies. <laughs> yeah, I think under, Wherever I put under it. the red boxes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Under the red boxes. Under the red boxes. Oh, no. No, that's not. No. Under the big box. <laughs> not being very organised today, am I? Here we go. So many boxes. Oh, this is cute, this one. Oh, look. So this is smaller, this one, isn't it? Let me just yeah, get the finish. Yeah, this one's a little four-inch hoop. The other ones so far have all been six inches. Oh, and also this one's different because it's not all filled in. Yeah. Look at this one. Now, lovely for um, Remembrance Sunday coming up. Wouldn't that be beautiful to give to someone? Twenty-one ninety-nine. So again, I get the hoop. I get the piece of cotton behind with the actual drawing on it. Yep. The needle, the needle threader, all the thread I need, instructions and a stitch directory. Yep. Anything unusual in that one? No, no. This one's a really nice, um, it's a really quite a simple kit. Um, I sort of put them together as like beginner kits. It's got um, a back stitch, um, stem stitch, whipped back stitch, which kind of gives that lovely um, extra definition around oh, the Oh, yes, yes, yes. Kind yes. of slightly more rounded shape. Uh -huh. um, and some French knots as well. So sort of four really nice beginner stitches, but something to kind of get into. No, it's gorgeous, isn't it? Twenty-one ninety-nine. Twenty-one ninety-nine. Make sure you check out. Lots of people, again, putting things in baskets. You do need to check out, though. It's cute, isn't it? How big did you say that hoop was? This one's a four-inch hoop. Four-inch hoop. Four-inch hoop, that one. It's lovely. Oh, Glyn, it's got a question about the B, so let me get the B one back. Oh, here we go. So, uh, morning. No, that says Glynis. Oh, OK. Right. What's the question, then? Oh, is the turkey stitch with a foil thread? No, they're, they're, they're no, just normal threads. No, they're threads, all that's... regular DMC threads. Have a look. Look. Yeah, Glennis, that message won't come through. Oh, look, he's got a white bottom. She has got a white bottom. Three left. Three of those left once you've checked out. Shall we do, shall we do turkey? I was going to say let's yeah. do turkey later. Are you all right to do turkey? Yeah. Shall I do it on the... Yeah, we've got a Christmas one coming up later that also has the turkey stitch on. OK, let, well, let's introduce the nutcracker then. So now, the different, with the nutcracker, you either choose red and gold or blue and silver. That's right, isn't it? That's correct. And then you choose, now is it his beard or is it his shabbo? Is that meant to be beard. his beard or is yeah, it his shabbo? Oh, okay, I thought it would have been clever. Right, so <laughs> red and gold first. Hmm? A shabbo is like oh. a cravat, but it has low rate layers and layers. I've spent years making hundreds of them in theatre. Right. So this one here is your red and gold version. So what you get is you get your uh, embroidery kit instructions. You get your um, oh different lots of instructions in yeah, this one. Lots Four of lots of instructions in this one. You get gold ribbon. You get your hoop. You get your fabric with your nutcracker soldier on it already. Uh, your needle, your needle threader, your normal embroidery thread, and some DMC gold. Beautiful thread there. £36. Right. Now, the reason we're talking about... Here you go. He's on the blue one. Look, you can do his beard one of two ways on this one. <clears throat> With either of them, it doesn't have to be the red, it can either be the red one or the blue one. You can choose, and you've got the instructions for them. So you see here... On the red one, Catherine's just done straightforward stitches. Are they herringbone? What kind That's a um, split stitch. Split stitch, right? You can do that on that one or that one, or you can do the turkey stitch on both of them, depending on which one you like best. You can also do, so... Um, oh, yes, the, the blue, trousers are different. Blue, yeah, so the blue way, I've done it in a slightly harder way. So I thought it, it's, a, it's something for Christmas, but sometimes... You know, you don't want it fit to feel, if you don't want it to be too hard, you might, you might just want to be able to stitch it. So you can stitch it in two different ways. Yeah. There's either the, an easier way to stitch it, or if you want to level but it But I get up, all the instructions. There's the instructions for both. His trousers are different. Yep, so that's a satin stitch. Yeah. Um, I can show you how to do that as well. And so the satin stitch, and this one is a split stitch. Oh, you've done all of them in satin yeah. stitch in that one, and so all of them in split stitch Quite a few of them are different, yeah. yeah. They've got different then, coloured faces. He do. looks more angry I, than him. I, 
I wasn't happy with this one, so I then did this one. Oh, so second. this is the one we'll get. Yeah. That's the one and we'll then get. On the fabric, I've actually coloured the face in. Oh, okay. Yeah. So if you miss any stitches, it's already coloured in there. Right. So what we're going to so hang on. If you got the uh, red one in, put the blue one in. So the blue one is exactly the same, but you get blue and silver. You get the same skin tone in both of them. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so that's the blue and silver version. So you either choose the red and gold or the blue and silver, right? Uh, and then you choose how you do the stitches. You know, do all sat well. You could, if you wanted, do his trousers satin stitch, yeah. his jacket split stitch. Uh, but you choose whether you do his beard um, split. Did you say split stitch? Split stitch. Split stitch or turkey teeth. I want to keep saying turkey teeth because I think of the man who painted Julie's um, coach house, and he was called Turkey Teeth Paul. <laughs> No, he wasn't christened that. He wasn't christened that. <laughs> anyway, he, got, he started to go out with Carol the cleaner and they had a way of whale of a time. Anyway, let's do the blue, let's do the turkey stitch now. I'm so, going to have to bring right. you over. Here, here paper. Okay, so um, turkey work is um, it's a series of loops. Right. Which are then cut, which is what oh, gives, okay. it, gives it that fluffy texture. So um, you start off, so whether, you know, starting from the back, you're going to create a little loop. So a little stitch along, create a little loop. You can create the loop however long you want. I often will use a pencil um, and to kind of keep that the loop. Oh, to loop put the pencil distance. in it and pull it yeah. tight around it. Okay. The same. So once you've got your loop in place, you're then going to bring your, leave that loop on the surface, hold it in place, and then bring your needle up at the base, not, not dropping the stitch, but coming up and just doing a tiny little stitch. To hold it in place. To hold it in place. It's almost like a second row of stitching. Yep. So that's your first one. Yeah, but now that's also the anchor for that. Otherwise, yep. they could slide all over the exactly. face. Exactly. So then next one comes up, comes up halfway through. And comes up halfway through halfway, the first Halfway through ah, the first one. I would just, I'd have put them next to each other, but... And then it goes to the side. Get your pencil. Pencil in. You do, after a while, kind of get used to the length. Yeah. Um, and regardless, it won't matter because you'll be um, cutting them. Of course. So, if you have so a better to be that's... too long because yeah. you can always cut them shorter. Whereas if you cut them too short and you think, always oh, beard's too stubbly, there's nothing you can do about yeah. it, then, is there? The cutting, actually, is really quite fun. It makes quite a bit of mess. Oh, so does it? Actually, I often use a bit of, um, when I'm cutting it, um, I sort of get a bit of tape and sort of go over the top with a bit of tape. Well, like cellar tape, yeah. sticky tape. Yeah, sticky tape, um, just to kind of take off any of the extra fluff. Oh, okay. Get a little stitch to lock that in place. So once you've got your first row, then you're gonna go back and add a second row. Right. Third, fourth, keep going. How, going how close to the second row, right next to it? Does it, does just it butt below, up? Just below, so I can't get to this. Yeah, because you don't need gaps, I suppose, do you? No, you don't want any gaps. It does, however, once you've um, stitched lots, once you've cut it, you can kind of give it a little bit of a brush with like a, um, well, yeah. Toothbrush? Like, a, like, an old, like not, not a clean, a clean toothbrush. Yeah, what were you going to say? Or like a um, makeup brush. Like a mascara brush? Yeah, obviously again, yeah. one, you know, huge white. Have many white mascara. Yeah. <laughs> can I do his hair hair? Because you've done his hair and this one yes. as um, little French knots. You could do the hair, yeah. Yeah, that would look really fun. Well, he'd look a bit crazy. <laughs> Einstein. Einstein look. So, yeah. Oh, Hannah says, will you design a guinea pig like this? Because she'd like to do a fluffy guinea pig like I this. I could put it on the list, sure. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of the flam flamingos were on my list. I know you've been talking about flamingos Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought flamingos and stump work would look really cool. Yeah, right? gorgeous. No, Hannah says guinea pigs are very nice. So. Okay, cool. Noted. Not that she's telling you how to do your job or run your business. <laughs> guinea pigs. Yeah, it's not her professional opinion of what might sell, it's just what she likes. Okay. <laughs> not giraffes, no? Giraffe? No. No, okay. No, Han um, um, Rebecca Reed would like a giraffe. Okay. So, then second row. Yeah. Just start just from the base from the last one. Second loop. And then you're just going to go in the opposite direction. 
So the loop and then... So you go that way and that way, you don't come back to yep. the beginning, you're back with no, and come back. No, I'm just going to yeah. go back on myself. It means less, less going on at the back. Yeah. So it's very mindful, isn't it? You can just yeah. lose yourself in this. If there's any tense conversations at home, you know, you need to be, I need to be stitching. Yes. Yeah. It's always... Oh, it's leave the husband to deal with the children then. <laughs> Always, yeah. I have stitching to do. <laughs> have your little girls uh, picked up? Or do they like doing the stitching? Yeah, yeah, they do. Um, they both, I think, yeah, they both, they both enjoy it. Um, we don't do lots and lots, but if they ask to do some... We'd be a busman's holiday mommy, for you. Mummy is very keen. OK. <laughs> <laughs> you want to sew, of course. No, I think there's something really nice about um, spending the time stitching with them. I think teaching kids is, is really rewarding. Oh, yeah, definitely. But then you can also teach them about other things in life. You don't have yeah. to do your job all the time. Yeah. But we don't, we don't sort of sit and do a lot. You know, lots of kids don't sit and do lots of, you know, traditional kind of crafts. No, anymore. no, no. So um, uh, my daughter last year did a, um, a sewing in school, which was brilliant. And um, she turned around and asked the teacher, could she do a back stitch? And I was there helping. I was very proud of her. Oh. <laughs> yes. Teacher, you know, how to, went, you no, know no. how to do a back stitch? <laughs> <laughs> My mummy taught me. Oh. See, that was a very proud mummy moment. Yeah. Make the most of it. You won't get many of them. <laughs> yeah. So, yes, yeah, so you keep going. Yeah. And then, do you mean to show you how you do the cutting? Shall yeah, go on then, let's just cut that a little bit, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, oh, oh, do I my oh, no. oh, got, got, the, got these lovely scissors. Yep. So, the first thing I do is I go through and I actually cut all of the loops. Oh, okay. So I cut all of the loops first. Remember these scissors, they're only 3 99 so, today. When you've got lots and lots and lots, yeah. you're just gonna run your, run your scissors through. So you make sure you haven't missed yeah. any of the hoops. And then you can really just give it a bit of a check to see if, you, if it's going to fall out or if it's actually going to stay in place. Yeah. And you can see already by just cutting them, it really makes such a difference. Yeah. So then I go through and I start trimming. So sort of putting it up as if you were giving it, giving it a haircut. Right. I've, no, I've never done that, but just trim it. Yep. No. Yeah. You, might, you might want to go a little bit more. Yeah, I think so. But don't go too far. No, you're not too far because you can't put it back. Yeah. So then, yeah, this is the point where I would get a pair of scissors, um, a bit of tape. Yeah, and yeah, Just yeah. kind of go over the top. So anything like this would be, you know, it kind of helps just, especially if you're sat on the sofa doing it, you know, a little bit less mess. Yeah. I just think it's a brilliant technique because you could add it to so many different things. Oh, totally. You? It's used for like grasses on like big, um, big pieces or it can be used... Musical, but also just textile art, just yeah, creating an lovely, extra yeah, kind of thing texture. like that. Right, very quickly, which one have you got in at the moment? You've got the blue one at the moment. So remember, the blue one is blue and silver. Oh, it, oh there it is. <laughs> blue and silver. So you get everything in that kit. You get a lot of silver, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So there'd be some of that left over, wouldn't there? Uh, you get all of that, the hoop, the pattern, the piece of fabric with it drawn on. You get your thread, you get your uh, needle, you get your felt at the back, and you get loads of instructions on this one. So you can choose whether you do split stitch or satin stitch, whether you do turkey stitch or whether you do split stitch beard. It's up to you, it's your project. So that's the blue one, 36 pounds. Then we've got the red and gold one. Remember your face is, the face on that one's the wrong color. It'll actually be that toe. It looks a bit flustered. It looks a little like it's about to, head to explode. <laughs> uh, 36 pounds. Uh, again, you get everything, but you get gold this time and you get the gold ribbon as well to hang it with or put the bow on at the top. And are there videos of all of these stitches then on your, yeah, on your website, on your YouTube channel? And what's your YouTube channel called? Treasure Cave. Treasure, think then. <laughs> <laughs> Treasure Cave, spelt with a K, with a K. Right, yo, so that's that one. And then the bumblebee, uh, the same technique, but this is about to sell out. This one's got more in it because you're obviously going to do the stump work on the wings, uh, the turkey stitches here. There's more people got this one in baskets than we've got available. Now, remember, it sold out last time it was on, and the same's going to happen today. Beautiful. Right, now I'm going to show you something that's brand new today. 
Uh, people are already checking out on this one. Right, so this is Kew Gardens. And you're going to be making this one. So in the bundle, you do get a great big picture of the uh, orange. Is that the orangery? Whereabouts in Kew Gardens are you on this one? Can you remember? <laughs> Not the orange. Palm house. The what? The palm house. Palm house. Palm house. So that'll have all of this drawn on it. Uh, then you get your threads, your hoop, your needle. Uh, that's what's that? Is that's not that's not turkey, is it? No. What's that? This one here. Yeah. No, the, the multicolored one. Oh, that's um, using three different colors. It's, it's French nuts. Oh wow. Yeah. By using lots of different colors combined, you can <laughs> always a bee. Oh, it's a bee. I thought it was a spider. <laughs> it was a spider hanging down. I'd have a spider hanging down from the big palm tree. Oh, for Halloween. Nice. Beautiful. <laughs> Look. So you get everything you need in there. I'll just show you the threads. And you get all your instructions and everything. Your fabric with the picture on the back. All your gorgeous colours there of your thread. 36. But that's good. How big's that hoop? Because that's the so biggest that's a, hoop, isn't that's it? That's a nine-inch hoop. Nine so inch hoop there. It's a really beginner friendly project. It's a large project, but you'd start. Bumblebees. <laughs> Hannah. Well, Hannah said, I always listen to you, John. I always listen to you. What's the black dot? She just said. We had a whole conversation about are they dots, are they spiders? And she's like, what are the black dots? <laughs> they do look like dots like that, though, don't they? Uh, good. So, uh, isn't it lovely? Is this is actually taken from there, or is this your version of it? Like, did I... you sit here and go, oh, there's a palm and a paddle and a. Australian fern. So I've used um, photos I've taken, but also photos online. Okay, and you from, just mix yeah. and match and make your own yeah. picture. So don't go looking for this. When you go to Kew Gardens, don't go looking for this one. But the staircase is definitely there, and yep. exactly as is. Yeah. It's exact um, of the. Uh, you live around that way, don't you? Yeah. Because yeah. I used to live, live just a bit yeah, further I don't along. Too yeah. Far. So that's a really good value, that one. £36 for all of that. Okay, please be careful. Less than 15 already. Less than 15 of those now. Brand new. Brand new today, that one. I remember they all cut. So what day is it today? Tuesday. Tuesday. So you'll get the list tomorrow. So you'll be at the post office on Thursday, Friday. Yeah, Thursday. Won't you? Yeah, Thursday. Do you get to one in Kew Gardens? It's funny that. It's funny. <laughs> they got the Kew Garden stamp. Anyway... <coughs> That's that one. I'm only rushing along because I've just seen the time. It's 42. We're not, even half, we're not even halfway through everything. Right. The house plants. Also brand new. So in this one, you get the hoop. Oh, now you've already coloured in some of these. Yeah. So, um, again, this is a beginner kit. So I thought if people don't want to stitch certain things, then the colour's already there for them. So, for example, this bit here, yeah. where you stitch um, over the top, where you're stitching over the top of other stitching, it, it can be a little bit harder because you've already lost the pattern. Yes. Um, so I thought I'm going to do the plant pot there, so you don't have to do that stitching if you don't want to. Yeah. And you can just carry on. Uh, also, like Hannah was just saying, if you hadn't got it drawn out like that, you get the plate. You could get the placement completely wrong. You could yeah. start stitching this bit here, and then it could all shift over that way. Whereas yeah. this way you know it's all going to be in the right place. So you can see that's coloured in there because it's already the plant pot there. The pink one behind there is just really, really subtle behind there. And then uh, the little coloured ones in there, even though you've stitched them in, the colours are behind there as well. £24. It's got, you like this one, don't you? Because you've got that one in... in that one's in... Did you yeah, nick it from I Kew do. Gardens? No, this is actually based in Wisley. And I went there with my aunt and I took photos. Um, and then, yeah, stitched it. So these are all photos. Did like. you go to the coffee shop? There's a really yeah, good coffee do, shop. Do you like the coffee okay. shop? Yeah. Um, beautiful, aren't they? What's in that? What's that one there then? That is just a little back stitch and a couple of French knots. No, I mean, what was it meant to be? Is it a picture frame? Yes. <laughs> Twenty-four pounds. I think in stitch only. Yeah, yeah, no, no. I just think it's gorgeous that one. Really lovely. So what's it called? House plants. I called it house plants. plants yeah. So Hannah's got cactuses. Yeah. How's your um, um, planetarium? No, that's not the right word. <laughs> What's it called? Terrarium. I bought one for Hannah for her birthday a few years ago. It had a what? Oh, it's having a small issue with its life. It's obviously, it's just killed it. Beautiful. So is it back in the back shed now? Does it look ugly? You don't want it in the house anymore. Beautiful, £24, £24. That's stunning, that one. Love that one. Right, where are we going next, then? One Christmas one. 
Well, I've been with the mistletoe in his mouth. That's this one. I didn't open it. Back in stock takes. It's sold out before. Oh, single figures already on this one. Single figures already. So you get your hoop, you get your cotton, you get the, the he's already drawn out. You get the thread, uh, you get the stitch directory. I'm presuming you get some beads in there, do you? You do, yeah, there's some beads in there too. Yes. Beautiful. Oh, thank you. So again, there it all is. Everything, the ribbon, the picture already drawn out, the needle, the needle threads are all the threads that you need. Now, do I split, if I've not done it before, do I split the threads? Yeah. So, so don't use the whole thickness. What you do is you split them down to... It depends on what we're stitching, but right. normally I would always say whenever you're um, cutting thread, so you'll be cutting it, it's a bit similar to this, but this is what the threads yeah, look yeah. like. Always measure out from the sort of tips of your finger to your elbow. Um, not really much uh, more. Of all the whole, of yeah. all the whole so thing? you want to use about 30, 40 centimetres. Right. And once you've cut that much, then what you can do is you can split the thread. So right. if I'm splitting down to three, so you're going to hold three in each hand. <laughs> she says. <laughs> three in each hand, and then you can split it. Right. If you try to do this with a really long length, you'll be there. Of and course, it, and, and, that, it, and, and there'll be more chance of it really to not or thing like that. Yeah, it's really good practice as well to split out each of your threads, right, individually, and then put them back together, uh, because it stops you getting all those knots. Yeah, of course. So the knots later on, this, it really yeah. helps. So and then does it out. does it then retwist itself? It retwists itself with certain stitches. Certain stitches you do get a bit more. You do get a bit more. You know, anything yeah. loopy, you're gonna. This is going to twist a bit more. Brilliant. But essentially, all the twists will be out. Only six left. Only six of those left now. It's cute, isn't it, that one? £25. All the instructions. Everything you need, basically. Everything you need is in that box. You don't need anything else at no. all, do you? Beautiful. Now, if we don't get to all the Christmas things, they're all, of it, they're all on the website. They're all on the website. But we, we, that one's going to sell out. That one's going to sell out. Right, now, I've got my little easels. Oh, here. Pack of two. So this is just if you want to display your uh, hoops around the house, isn't it? Yeah. Just put your little easels in. So I like using these because it means you don't have to actually put them up on your wall. You can just have them on um, on a windowsill. Well, it also means you can change it around. You might only put that one up for remembrance or something like that. Or you yeah. might put the button, or, you know, kind of, you, people change cushion covers and curtains all the time, don't they? Change the decor within the room. Yeah. This way you can literally just, without putting a nail in the wall exactly. and things like that. Beautiful. Oh, hang on, what's going on there? Hang on. <laughs> Which box is in that the way? One. Well done. Oh, well spotted. <laughs> there you go. Seven pounds. So seven forty-five for two. Seven forty-five for two. You don't obviously don't get that. Oh, there's a pack of four. There you go. So I'm not going to get them all out. Pack of four in there. Oops. There you go. Well, they come in this box. Yeah. It's oh. a nice way so they don't get damaged on. No, there. exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Twelve ninety five for four. There, perfect. Now, we need to talk about. Are we going to these next? New ones first, right? Yes. Which leaves, ones? Are the new ones leaves well? and daisy chain. Leaves. Okay. Right. Okay. So let's do. First. So tell me what these are then. These are really, really nice little, um, almost in stickers that right. you can use on fabric. So how they work is um, it's a fabric that's sort of already pre-printed. Right. You're going to cut around the pattern that you want to use. Yeah. Peel off the top layer, which has got a sticky back to it. Oh, and okay. You can stick it on to what you're going to Okay, so it can either be on a hoop or it could be on a denim jacket, it could be on a exactly. piece of fabric that you're going to cut up, whatever. Yeah. So there's no ironing at this point. You no literally just peel the back off and stick it stick onto it on. the thing. Right. Then you'll stitch through yeah. as per usual. Um, it's not different to stitch through. Initially, you might want to stitch around the edges just to kind of keep it really nice and secure. Right. Um, and once you're finished stitching, you can then dissolve it in water. So like a lukewarm water and it completely disappears and just leaves your stitching behind. There you go, it's brilliant, isn't it? Nine pounds? Oh, I'd, I'd invest in a few of those. Nine pounds, so you've got on here, you've got a cactus, it's called leaves. I know, 
I need to work on my description. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Uh, looks like the back of, head of, back of the head of a teddy bear. Just a bit, doesn't it? Uh, uh, all gorgeous, le lovely let uh, ones in an envelope there. You've got ones with a little uh, windmill there. Uh, there's the cheese plant again. It's very prevalent at the moment. Everyone seems to be designing fabrics with cheese plants mm. on everything. Uh, so you get all of those for £9. Obviously, each of them are single use because you peel the back off, stick it on, which is why I'm saying buy a few of them. If you want, imagine you could create a whole, your own design, basically, of a hoop and just do it as you want to do it. Or... On denim, I don't know why I keep thinking of a denim jacket, you can put it on a t-shirt, you can put it on anything, can't you? Yeah. Anything that'll stick to, then you stitch through and then you just put it in lukewarm water and then that's it, it dissolves away. They're, Nine pounds. They're perfect this time of year when you kind of pull out your, you know, auto, you know autumnal wardrobe and then find you've got like a little, moth like, hole. you know, moth hole. You can like pop them over the top and then, you know, stitch. Them. I think I must be, I don't have a summer in a winter wardrobe. Do not. It's just there hanging there. Yeah, I am the same. Yeah. <laughs> and I don't own any knitwear we realised this week or last week. I don't have one piece of knitwear. Weird. Uh, nine pounds, nine pounds, nine pounds. Check out on that one. Check out on that one. Then the next one. Now, what's this one? Because this is like this, different. Isn't this it? one I call Daisy Chains. So this one, I'll, I'll open this one up. Okay. Ooh, if I can. These are all compostable as well. These bags. Right. So, so put them in the compost. Yep. Put them in there. Alice and Mary use those. They're very noisy, aren't they? Yeah. So these are. Oh no, we like them. We like. Oh look. A mirror image of each other. So you can imagine on a jacket, you could either have it on both sides. Some people have actually put them down um, on a t-shirt, so either side of the t-shirt. Like an epaulette? Yeah. Oh, wow. I'm thinking, I'm seeing handbag. I'm seeing the front of a handbag now yeah. for some reason. So that, I mean, you, don't, you don't have to use them together if you don't want to use them. It's two separate things, but they're a mirror image of each other if you did want to do a pair. They're lovely, aren't they? And again, it's basically, you peel that backing off, Stick it to the fabric that you're going to stitch, stitch through, and I would maybe put a tacking, just a big tacking stitch around the outside just to hold it in place. Then do all your stitches. Then once you're happy with it, you get some lukewarm water and you sponge and you can sponge it off. And this just then disappears. It's the same as the stuff that Steffi Stern uses for her um she does felting. Yeah. And when you've got a boat on a river or something like that, you make the boat separately and then stick it on using that. It's the same kind of thing as that, except she doesn't have the, the sticky on the back of hers. Nine pounds. They're gorgeous, aren't they? Also, brilliant for, to give to a child, to, you know, kind of a little project. You're yeah. not going to use a whole... Now, when I'm stitching them, do I need to have a hoop? I tend to always stitch using a hoop. Right. I find um, tension, it's just a lot better. So especially with certain stitches, um, I do use a hoop. Okay. We do sell hoops on our website if you want any hoops. Okay. That's lovely. That one's going to go. Oh, let's put that one. A Christmas one. There you go. There's your Christmas one. Oh, the other way around. So in there, you've got a Christmas tree, a poinsettia, a slice of lemon. Is that a slice of lemon? I'm thinking mulled wine, so yeah, oranges or lemon. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, holly, uh, star, a gingerbread man, uh, what's those? Mistletoe. Twigs? What, what? Mistletoe. 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 When, it, when it's stitched, you'll, you'll, yeah, you'll understand. When it's stitched, you'll understand <laughs> it, apparently. Uh, and then a little star in there, a couple of little stars in there, or hanging stars in there. Nine pounds. Nine pounds. Beautiful. Christmas, Christmas, and you can do it whatever colour you want to do it. Do you know what I mean? It's up to you then to choose your thing. Butterflies, bees and daisies back in stock. Oh, they're nice. They're gorgeous, aren't they? A third of the stock of these have gone already. Uh, Catherine says, uh, oh, it's Catherine. It's our Catherine. Oh. Catherine Wright says, uh, hi, Catherine. Can't wait to see it, Ali Pally. Oh, she's my neighbour. Oh, is she? <laughs> yeah. Oh, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's a lovely neighbour. <laughs> oh, no, she's gorgeous. Uh, anyway, here you go. Look, bumblebees, birds, butterflies. Look away, Ange. Ange doesn't like butterflies. She's oh, frightened of them. Sorry. And I've got a shirt that's completely covered in butterflies. She can't watch on that day. Uh, nine pounds. That's what she says is the reason, Hannah says. Thank you. <laughs> nine pounds. Check out, check out, check out. Always been popular, that one. And then last but not least, we've got Tropical. Oh, I'll be seeing these in real life next week with the hummingbirds all f flying towards them. can never remember what they're called. Hibiscus. They're like weeds in San Diego, those. Beautiful, aren't they? There it is again. Yeah. There it is again. Hannah loves a cheese plant, don't you, Hannah? 
These are going. Check out, check out, check out. These are going. Oh, she, so she's killed her terrarium. She's killed her cheese plant. How are you? How are the cactuses about you? Oh, they're all right. They're all right. That's why I've started buying the things she can't kill now. She got, a, she got a crystal. She got a crystal last time. Okay, one died because it got caught on her boyfriend's coat and he pulled <laughs> it and it went everywhere. Fine. Well, at least it lasted this long. Nine pounds, nine pounds, nine pounds. Well done. Check out your basket. It's no good sitting in your basket. It's not yours till you check out. Right, Joe. Next. Recap Q Gardens. Yes, of course. Beautiful, this one. Brand new today. Brand new today. As I say, there are more Christmas ones on the web. We won't get time to do today. H Hannah will move them over in the break so they're underneath here straight away so you can just check out on those. It's gorgeous, that one, isn't it? So now, where in your house is that going to hang? I've got a lot of green in the sort of kitchen dining room. Have so, you? yeah, probably okay. there. I've got a lot of green because I've got hundreds of plants in my house that I haven't killed. Uh, 36 pounds. <laughs> yeah. Uh, make sure you check out. So remember, you get the big hoop. You get the cotton with the print on it. Uh, this is, is this just backstitch, this, all yeah. this uh, framework here, then? Yeah. Um, and then you get all the threads you need. You get your needle. You get your needle threader. You get your stitch directory and all your instructions. And if you go to Treasure Cave YouTube, you'll see all of the stitches on there yeah the links are all on um the second page so you it only the people that have the kits have the links so you okay can, you can use those for there's me sending them to them now yeah. right uh, can i have what hand the uh house oh. house plant you've got it there house plants yeah brand new today i've made the right mess of your boxes on this side this is lovely this one isn't it 24 pounds so you've got your, uh, so again, now this one's slightly different because that plant pot, that plant pot, and those plant pots are already coloured in. You are going to stitch over them, but you'll see that one and that one through the stitching, and then that one you're actually stitching over the coloured bits there. £24. Oh, there's Kew Gardens at the side. There you go. Lots of people got that one in their baskets. Make sure you check out, though. Make sure you check out. Okay, uh, Pat says, I made a quilt with 12 10 inch squares and I appliqued a different plant in each square. It was my granddaughter for university. And then, no, no comma, very wet here at the moment. <laughs> it's very wet everywhere, I think. But, oh, it was horrendous yesterday. Mm. Anyway, 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 anyway. Uh, check out, make sure you check out, check out on everything. Because, um, do you know when you're in next? I am in, in November. Sometime in November. Yes, I think like this. 22nd. I'll be back from my holidays yeah. by then, so I'll see you then. Uh, make sure you do check out on everything, though. And remember, go and check out, when you get it home, check out the YouTube channel with all the stitches on. Give us a hug. Send my love to the girls. I will do. Uh, and <laughs> I'll see you back here in four minutes where we've got... Uh, oh, uh, Rebecca Reed, Amber Makes. Uh, oh, there's so much. There's so much in there. Uh, some things haven't been, we haven't had since April. We've managed to get them back in. We've reprinted them now. So I'll see you. It's going to be chaos. It's going to be chaos. Oh, I thought you were about to say, if you want to watch something else, go over and come back in an hour's <laughs> time. No, we've got a low, it's already going on pre-order. Uh, thanks ever so much. I'll see you in four minutes. Did you know at Sewing Street that on various products, we offer split pay? That means on certain items, you can spread the cost over two, three, four or sometimes even five interest-free monthly payments. Just pay the first instalment when you purchase and you're away. So shop your way with Split Pay. Never miss a show by watching on the go with the Sewing Street app. Head over to your app store now and search Sewing Street and simply download to your smartphone or tablet. You can watch the shows live and see your favourite presenters and guests. Click on the Today button to shop all of the products that are featured in today's show. Want to know what's hot? Then click here to see today's bestsellers and highlights. Have you missed a show or want to watch one back? Then click the Schedule button and you can go back seven days to watch and shop and you can also see what's coming up over the next seven days. Want to say hello or ask a question to our guests? 
then send a message to the studio. You can also keep in touch with all the latest news, events, product launches and much more by clicking here for our social media pages. Never miss a show by watching on the go with Sewing Street. Here at Sewing Street, we only charge one PMP throughout the day. You can add as many items to your basket and check out and still only be charged once. Once you've checked out the first time and want to order again, you simply add the item to the basket and click on the Combine Order button. Remember, standard PMP is £4.95. Charges may differ for outside the UK. Or upgrade to our premium option for £6.95 on certain items. Shopping made easy at Sewing Street. Shopping with Sewing Street couldn't be easier. You can shop via our website at www.sewingstreet.com where you can watch our live shows and see all the products from that day. We also have a huge amount of products on our website from your sewing room essentials to fabrics, sewing machines and much more. You can download and shop on the go with our Sewing Street app. Simply head over to your app store and search Sewing Street. Alternatively, you can contact our UK-based call centre 24 hours a day on 0800 001 4433. Shopping made easy at Sewing Street. Not only is Sewing Street live from 8am till 1pm on Sky 670, Freeview Channel 73, YouTube and the Sewing Street app, now, Virgin subscribers can watch on Channel 754, which means there are more ways to watch your way with Sewing Street. Did you know? that we can deliver to over 20 different countries worldwide, spanning four continents from the UK to Australia. Check out our website for the list of countries and delivery costs. Sewing Street, stitching the world together. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletter. Go to sewingstreet.com and scroll down to the bottom of the home page. Type in your email address and click the envelope. That's it. You'll never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Did you know at Sewing Street that on various products we offer split pay? That means on certain items you can spread the cost over two, three, four or sometimes even five interest-free monthly payments. Just pay the first instalment when you purchase and you're away. So shop your way with Split Pay. Never miss a show by watching on the go with the Sewing Street app. Head over to your app store now and search Sewing Street and simply download to your smartphone or tablet. You can watch the shows live and see your favorite presenters and guests. Click on the Today button to shop all of the products that are featured in today's show. Want to know what's hot? Then click here to see today's bestsellers and highlights. Have you missed a show or want to watch one back? Then click the Schedule button and you can go back seven days to watch and shop and you can also see what's coming up over the next seven days. Want to say hello or ask a question to our guests? Then send a message to the studio. You can also keep in touch with all the latest news, events, product launches and much more by clicking here for our social media pages. Never miss a show by watching on the go with Sewing Street. Here at Sewing Street, we only charge one PMP throughout the day. You can add as many items to your basket and check out and still only be charged once. Once you've checked out the first time and want to order again, you simply add the item to the basket and click on the Combine Order button. Remember, standard PMP is £4.95. Charges may differ for outside the UK. Or upgrade to our premium option for £6.95 on certain items. Shopping made easy at Sewing Street. 
shopping with Sewing Street couldn't be easier. You can shop via our website at www.sewingstreet.com where you can watch our live shows and see all the products from that day. We also have a huge amount of products on our website from your sewing room essentials to fabrics, sewing machines and much more. You can download and shop on the go with our Sewing Street app. Simply head over to your app store and search Sewing Street. Alternatively, you can contact our UK-based call centre 24 hours a day on 0800 001 4433. Shopping made easy at Sewing Street. Not only is Sewing Street live from 8am till 1pm on Sky 670, Freeview Channel 73, YouTube and the Sewing Street app, now, Virgin subscribers can watch on Channel 754, which means there are more ways to watch your way with Sewing Street. Did you know? that we can deliver to over 20 different countries worldwide, spanning four continents from the UK to Australia. Check out our website for the list of countries and delivery costs. Sewing Street, stitching the world together. <laughs> I'm so confused. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Hannah was going, we're doing Cinderella first. And I was like, oh, is that inside that one then? Like, no, that's Red Riding Hood, that's Cinderella. I don't, I don't. No. How can they be friends? Well, they can't. They could be friends. Microphone. Oh, I've got to. It. Yeah, it's down here. This is meant to be on your blouse. <laughs> Do I to hold it for you? <laughs> Sorry, everybody at so home. I did, I did. Also, also, let me just do this. Oh, hang on, how do you make it look straighter? Is it? Okay. <laughs> you actually asked that question. Oh, we'll have to just be on the outside now. That's all right, though, isn't it? Yeah. There we go. Otherwise, I'm going to have to go up the bottom of my skirt. Oh, that, well, I'll tell you what happened was mm -hmm. we were packing away. Catherine took away a picture. I said, come on, have a picture. And Rebecca had her skirt up like this. So we had to put the skirt <laughs> down to have the picture taken. Then Hannah started to tell us what we were doing, so she forgot all about it. Yes. So it's all right now. I told you, fun, it's not fun, <laughs> Hannah, it isn't fun. <laughs> It'll be a fun hour, everybody. That television's really annoying me. Is it? Well, it's... Well, cut, no, that's worse now. Leave it. That's what, you look in there and I'll move it. Okay. Is that any better? No. No, 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 no. That's as far, that's all I can do. <laughs> anyway, I'll get, Dan will sort it when we're on a doll, but Dan will sort it. Right, so we need Cinderella first, please. Right, there's Cinderella. Right, so what is this then? So the topsy-turvy doll goes back to, oh, it's like, like the 70s, I, sorry, the 70s, I think. The 1870s. <laughs> they used to be knitted, didn't they? Tops I don't know. Oh, would you? oh, you probably didn't have one. Of course I didn't have one. <laughs> Did they do Action Man, the topsy-turvy? I wonder what would have been underneath. Him with clothes and him without yeah, clothes, yeah, I naked imagine. naked and dressed. Well, anyway, they were knitted and they were really popular. And you... I don't know whether you ever did fabric ones. I never saw them. And um, <laughs> when when we did... Um, <laughs> <laughs> now the, so they've done the screen and now the table's moving because the table's not been locked. Look, there you go. Um, when, oh. when I did Yarn Lane, yeah. we did knitted ones. Did and they you? were massively popular. There was a book, the Topsy Turvy Dolls book. Did you ever see it? No. It had loads of them, loads of different ones, all knitting patterns. And I thought, oh, I love those. I'm going to do that. Oh, OK. So that was how it came Oh, so about. you didn't write the book? No, no, it was a knitting book. Oh, okay. OK. And in it, they had about 10 different pairs and you knitted these. And they were massively popular. So I thought, oh, let's do this. It's fab. Right. So the idea behind a topsy-turvy doll is that it's one thing, one side. So this is Cinderella. OK, hang on a sec. Let's see what, there you go, from upstairs. So that's she, Cinderella. She's going to the ball. Because oh, that's a ball gown. She's got a posh dress with... So it's not her in her... In her the next, no, when, okay. look, she's got a hairdo. Yeah, in yeah, 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 yeah. And all of her dress comes off, should you want to, because I know little girls like taking the clothes off. Yeah. I did, anyway. And then what happens is if you want her to then be Cinderella, who is... Um, very poor and scrubbing the floor. 
been picked on by her ugly sister. Oh, so they're both Cinderella. They're yes. both Cinderella. Got it, got it. Right, so this is Cinderella. You see, she's just got a Raggledy hair. She's got a apron with patches. Do you know what you should do? You should do a raggedy doll. Now, what's this called? Uh, Tupsy Turvy doll. Yeah. You and Amy. <laughs> That'd be really funny. Amber Makes, yeah. Thank you. People would love that one. <laughs> I'd love to know what I'd look like. Mind you, Amy's a lot taller than you, so I don't know how that no, would work. No, she's not actually. We're about the same height. I think we'd work well. Oh, isn't that funny? I thought she was taller than you. Which, I mean, might be like an inch or something. Oh, but not I much. thought she was like this tall. No. So, okay, so there what? There we go. So that's um, Cinderella rags. Right. And then I showed you Cinder posh Cinderella. But you can take, they've both got aprons, so they're very undressable, which I quite like. And on the panel, as you can see, there is Cinderella. So she's got her head at both ends. And then there's her back and she's got arms and legs. So why hasn't she got makeup on for the party then? I don't know. Maybe she couldn't afford it. Oh, OK. And then all of the pieces for the dress and everything. I've and where'd you put the arms then? Well, the arms go where the tops of the there are. Okay. It's all in the instructions. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then what I've done is made it as easy as possible by doing things like printing the bodice as one piece. Right. But I've done it so it's like a proper dress pattern with bodices and sleeves. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, because I know people like taking the clothes off. So you can take it all off and it's got like collars and facing so it's reasonably simple but it's i mean it takes it takes a while because you've got to make the dress with the bodice um and you've got the skirt and all the little patches that you can sew on extra patches to put on if you want to and you've got labels but everything that you need fabric wise is yeah 19.99 you will need toy stuffing obviously yes and you need some wool for her hair yes yeah, so you yarn need for her hair. soft toy filling you need some Elastic. I can't remember what that was for. Um, some press fasteners and some yarn for the hair. And that's about it. There you really go. Uh, how brilliant is that? 19.99. These haven't been in since when, Han? April. Ages. But there is a really nice thing to make because well, everything's on there. So you just like gradually work through. The body looks really strange right. when you take the clothes off. Yeah. Just to warn you. Okay. Because it looks like a double-headed thing with four arms. Oh yeah, of course. It looks really odd. Yeah, but once, don't worry about that. But I've done things like we've printed the the pinafore and the top together. To make yes, yes, yes. Easier. They haven't actually got to make a blouse and make no, a pinafore. but it has got nice little gathered Puff sleeves. Puff sleeves, yeah. Leg mutton, well, not leg mutton, are they? And it's got like little press studs there. So where's the elastic then? Well, I don't know, actually. Message on my bottom. Uh, I have a top series doll. was about six. I'm 76 now, so they've been going for quite a while. <laughs> Yvonne in North Ants, P.S. Enjoying the show today. I, Thank you, Yvonne. I think a lot of people did. I think they were lovely. And one of the hardest things about doing rag dolls is embroidering the face. So that's why we printed it on, because it's there. You don't have to bother with okay. that. Okay. And the hair is, this is just like acrylic double knit yarn. It's nothing and how do you attach that then? Um, you just hand sew it on. You you get the yarn and you wrap it around some oh, cardboard to I make know. it into yeah, yeah, a big yeah, yeah, loop. Yeah. And then you just hand sew. But it's all in the instructions. All in the it? instructions, yes. Uh, my daughter had a topsy-turvy doll. She, uh, she was sewn. She loved it, remembers it now, and she's 50. Well, me. see, I've only ever seen them knitted. I've not seen well. sewn ones for a long time, mm. for ages. Anyway, so there we go. So that is Cinderella. Okay, the other one. And then, well, we had to do Little Red Riding Hood, didn't we? Really? Well, she hasn't got two outfits, though. Well, so there's Little Red Riding Hood. Now, she has a cape, obviously, which is removable. Right. And then um, she's got nice sort of plaited hair here. Where have you put her? Oh. Message on bottom. I did Red Riding Hood and won first prize in the village show from Angela. Oh. Fantastic. Good job, too. I don't know where it is. She is. Have we, did we have her earlier? We did, didn't we? Yeah, we did prep. We put everything in piles. We did. Well, I remember going through it all. Oh. Oh, she's not in the chair, is she? No, I've only got Cinderella here. That's weird, isn't it? The panel is here somewhere. When we come across it, we'll show it to you. So it's the same right. technique. So you get yes. the same pattern. Same pattern, yes. And then, um, then she's got a bit of... You know, like she's got like broidery on glaze. We printed. Oh, that's actually printed on. Yeah, and we printed the ribbons on there to make it a bit easier. Yeah. Um, and then when you turn around. Oh, I just got a red cape as yes, well. Yes, I'm taking just taking that off for a moment so you could see it. Oh, so she's different people. She becomes grandma. 
you see. Well, because Little Red Riding Hood doesn't change. He's just always nice. No, that's why that's why how you're going to make it topsy-turvy. So she becomes Grandma with her mob cap and her pearls she's posh, and her very nice apron. Oh, there goes the phone again. Oh, it's all going on today. I mean, it could have been the wolf, but I thought I'd do Grandma. Yeah. Grandma spent an awful lot of money on her eyebrows. She did, didn't she? had her eyebrows done. Or maybe she just had really bold eyebrows as a child, you know, and they just yeah. stayed. And she's got very nice sort of purpley lips yeah. on, isn't she? Slightly pursed lips. Uh, so again, the panel. Hang on, that can't be right. The panel and the instructions. Well, in yeah, to be fair, this is one of the first kits we did when things were a little less expensive. And they haven't changed So you haven't put the price on? <laughs> Who's in charge of this hour? Anyway, uh, 1999, mm. you're getting the pre, uh, pr well, earlier pr prices. Oh, I know what the elastic's for. So I was reading you what you needed for Little Red Riding Hood because there's elastic. Oh, you got mop cap, yeah. Yes, that's what that's for. Yeah. Uh, 1999, uh, check out, check out, check out. Remember, you've got everything you need to make the body, the dress, the two dresses. Uh, you need to supply your own hair. That hair's different, though, isn't it, that one? Yeah, it's just it is just double knit acrylic. No, no, I didn't mean the, the wool. I meant because the, the other one had a, a parting and things. Oh yeah, it just depends how you make it. And I think I'd put it all into a bun. So oh, okay. then I, And then I sewed her cap on. because yeah, it just yeah. kept it in place. It's all done in the same way. It's mm. quite a simple way to do it. Um, and there's and that is grandma. How gorgeous! Make sure you go through. We will find that panel in a minute. We definitely had it. Early. No, we had it this morning. We did. We did all. Of, is it very strange? Where did you do you with the trolley? Don't worry, It'll, we'll find it, we'll find it. Nineteen ninety nine. check out, check out, check out, lots in baskets. But it's all, everything, all the stuff is printed on there to make it easy, but it's quite a nice sort of dressmaking thing to do yeah. as well, because you're putting in, I put facings in, because hemming something as small as this is oh, yeah, yeah, hard, yeah, isn't it? And I did things like, I hemmed this first, this sleeve, cuff, and then sewed it. Whereas if you were doing proper dress, yeah, 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 yeah. Would, you wouldn't do that, no, you but wouldn't it was just all. easier, so. Right, let's move on to book covers, I'll take her. Put her over there. And we'll find her later. Well, it'll turn up, yeah. Right, so what's this then, a book cover? Yes, so we did this, I'm trying to think, this I think was one of the first ones we did. So um, I have use a lot of notebooks, always writing notes, and I remember covering one a long time ago because you can just put the book in and out of it so you can keep the book but just keep changing the cover. Because the way it's, what? They haven't changed the price on this one either. <laughs> right, okay, these are $9.99. Right, instructions are $9.99 here. Five pounds you're paying for that panel. That's madness, isn't it? That's so wrong. That's we, so wrong. It's good when we do we do the original. No, 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 it's brilliant for you. Don't get me wrong at home. Take advantage of it. Because as soon as management <laughs> see that, they'll get they'll, they'll they'll be a phone call in a minute going, why is that only $14.99? Yeah, that should be more. Yeah, so you, phone means you, don't you just get an A5 notebook. Yeah. Like one of, it can be any of them. I've got one of those hardback posh ones. ones. It's posh ones. And then it just slips inside, so you can just keep changing it. Do we have a date, Hannah, when this was first on? Oh, I don't know. Not you. Oh. Your name's not Hannah. Oh, yes. Yeah, sorry. I'm just... 29th of September 2022. Oh, so quite a Two while Two years ago. ago. And it was you and me. Was it? Yes. I bet it was a bit more organised. <laughs> Probably. Um, and then, then inside, there's a pocket to put your pens and your pencils yeah. in. I think this is, was this the very first one? I think so, Because yeah. we sat and said, what would you like to see? And people then said, oh, cookery, oh, oh gardening, yes. oh, all that sort Those, of thing. The, yeah. the, my favourite one was songs to sing by, the, sing by the campfire. Well, you sent that one in, didn't you? No, and I just thought, I don't, don't think anyone else. When you'd had a wine or How two. many people are going to buy these songs to sing by the campfire yeah. books? In the back, there's know. a little pop pocket yeah. to put things in, and then on the back is a slip pocket to put all you these things You know your friends you go to Glastonbury with? Are yes. they quite posh? They look quite posh on the pictures. Um, well, not just normal. One of them's a university lecturer. Is that posh? Yeah, no, she, they just look posh. And, yeah. you know, I, when I was going to Belfast, I was in the queue. <laughs> at half past four, quarter to five in the morning, like this, in my queue, not feeling very particularly well. No, 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 I wasn't ill, but I was tired and everything. And this person came to me, oh, it's Sean. And they started saying, oh, we're friends of Bex. And I'm like, which Bex? <laughs> which Bex? And it took me a while to figure out. Anyway, we had our pitch taken and they were lovely, but it's an old... Yeah, my uh, university friend. University friend. 
So Thanks she was fun. so chuffed to meet you. Oh, she was she so, was so lovely. They were both really, really lovely. But it was just kind of, you know, when you're, you're not expecting to know anyone. <laughs> know. And you're like this and you really like got your grumpy face <laughs> on. You're queuing up to go and open it. And I hadn't got speedy boarding. Yvonne hadn't bought me speedy boarding. So I was in the slow queue like this. Yeah, know. with my friends. <laughs> yes, your awesome. friends were way behind yeah. me. <laughs> yeah, they were in the, in the tight queue. Anyway, anyway, yes. 14 99 uh, so, yeah, so all you need, you'll, you can put some wadding in it if you want. You don't yeah. have to. When and you say wadding, do you mean 1840 yes. or do you mean wadding? Well, either. Either, fine. Use either. 1840 is easier because you can it iron is. it on, can't you? And then a book. And what you say about um, a basket's hand, sorry? Loads of people got it in their baskets. You do need to check out. Now, there is a tutorial for this on the website. It doesn't say on the instructions because these are the original ones, but I have filmed one since. On your website? Yes, yeah, so if you go onto the Amber Makes website under the tutorial section, you will find one for the book cover. Lovely. Because it's not on those instructions, but I have done one since. But okay. It's really easy. Right. I, 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 we've kind of given up on our, our website a little bit. You're all right. You can still buy on it. You can still buy on it, but it's... If you have any issues, just give them a call because the app's not working. YouTube went down earlier. The website's sometimes working, sometimes not working. It seems to be working for you, but it's not working for us. So we like. What is going on? I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, um, so that's that's your book cover for your sewing. Yes, so, my sewing right. notebook. Okay. Then next we've got gardening. Yes. Gardening so gardening was really good. popular when we. Oh look! I what? just found Red Riding Hood. Oh. Knew she was there. We'll do her again in a minute. But in, we'll do, <laughs> she was right, under so the book covers. Book, gardening. Um, so obviously this is very, this is again a really good present because some of the things I've put in this hour I thought would be good for presents. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you know a gardener, mm -hmm. great thing for Christmas for okay, them. Okay, stop talking. There's too many people in baskets. <laughs> stop talking. Okay, moving on. Check out, check out, check out. Anyone who likes now? gardening, tough. I have got another gardening gift though, just saying. Yeah. Baking. Baking. So, this is for you to put... So, oh, by the way, they all have handles on, but they are optional. So, like, on the baking one, I didn't put them in. It's entirely up to you, and it says in the instructions about that, but you can or leave them out if you want. So, so this, um, this is for putting all those lovely cakes. Mm. All your, your favourite fruitcake recipe in. And look at the pocket. It's got tools. £14.99. Fourteen ninety nine. See, what I think is you could write a couple of your favourite recipes and then give it to somebody, couldn't you? That's very sweet of you. And then they could then put theirs in. I've got so many cookery books <laughs> and they're all pristine. Oh, are they? Because they sit on top of a cupboard and never cook anything. Mine are all written in because I was always told as a child you never write in a book. Never. Oh, OK. But you can write in cookery, cookery books. books. So they've all got I've things just never on. Used them. The only one like, that's thumbed is the uh, Slimming World Vegetarian <laughs> Top 50. And mine have all got things like this doesn't work, not enough icing. Oh. Add more to this. Oh, too so much I, icing. No, so I've never made it. And Francesca for years kept buying me these amazing, because she cooks amazing food. Right. So she buy me the cookery that she baked up. No, it's mostly my baking ones, and a lot of them are stuck together as well. Oh, my mum's was like that when we, because my mum had my nan's one, and they're all the page, all the. And I've got um, notebooks like this as well with handwritten ones in. Oh, uh, fourteen ninety nine. Make sure you check out. Make sure you check out on that one. Uh, it's cute. Isn't it? Why is that upside down? Uh, just because of the way the pocket works. So the pocket is oh, the whole thing, so yes, it has yes, to go upside, upside down, down so it ends up yeah. the right way up. But you've got that little pocket, and then you can have that as an extra pocket. So you can get loads in it. And all those bits of paper you put in your notebook yeah. that fall out, you put in there. Gorgeous. Check out, check out, check out. You've not seen these since April, remember? Next is double wedding pens. Well, this could be for anything. So one of the things that people phoned in, other than the campfire songs, was a wedding book. Yes. So to put all your wedding notes. So I just thought, well, so it appeals to think both, it could be wedding because it's double wedding ring. Yeah. But it doesn't say wedding. So um, it could just be a patchwork clever, one. Clever, yeah. And it has different labels on. So you can choose. You see at the top. I put the one that says oh, notebook, yes. but you could put the one that says my wedding note yeah. and you sew it on top or to-do list. What's underneath the... Oh, just the print itself, so you don't have to put anything oh, on. Oh, so if you don't put anything on, no. it looks like this. Oh, yeah, here you go, here you go, here you go. Yeah, so it looks... Like that? Yes, exactly. But if you wanted to label it as a wedding one, you could. But yeah. it is just the double wedding ring patchwork design with little baby double wedding rings. Oh. But I just thought that's quite nice for patchworkers to put Yeah, the patchwork no, notes. no. Or you could use the wedding label and make it a wedding one. Right, we've only ever had this one on the day that it launched. It sold out, never had it since <laughs> until today. 
I know I didn't know why. Mm. Just forgot. Forgot. Just forgot. But it is nice for if you know someone who's getting married, get them that and then they can put them in. Yeah. Uh, 14 99 Check out, check out, check out. You could write in it, please can I go on the top table? Mm. Couldn't you? What? Give it to someone and say, please can I go on the top table? We well, don't want to be on the top table. Are you watching Married at First Sight? No. <gasps> don't you get served first on the top table? Not necessarily. Oh. See, that would be mine. I'd be one because you get served first. But if you're on the top table, you've got to give a speech. Or are you going to be the bride? Oh, no, the bridesmaids aren't on the top table. <coughs> Who are you going to be? You just have to get your kids to get married. I gave a speech at my wedding. Did you? <laughs> yeah. Are you drunk? I think I'd had a few wives. Yes. And I thought, you know, I don't think theirs are that good. <gasps> I thought, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make a speech. I thought, I can do better. They'd all written theirs after a couple of in. wines. I just thought, I think I could <coughs> do better. Did it go down well? Yeah, it did actually, yeah. What was your wedding dress like? Oh, I had it made for me from um, curtain material. So it was like that sort of, th you know, jacquard, what's it called, where it's slightly raised? Yeah, yeah, oh, right, damask. Yeah, damask, yeah. but cotton. Right. And then the dressmaker gave me all the bodice pieces and I couched it all in gold thread, all sort of crossed with a little bead at every intersection. And then I gave all the bits back and she made it. Oh. It was lovely. Mm. What colour was it? Oh, like ivory. Oh. With all this. So the whole bodice was gold, proper gold thread couched with beads. Oh, and what was the skirt like then? Kind of like empire, a bit sort of like the bodice oh, came to here. here. Yeah, yeah, and then it was sort of empire. So a bit medieval Yeah, a little bit, yeah. That big sleeves like that? No, it didn't actually, no. I'll show, oh, I'll show I've you. Have to find I'll picture. send you a photo. Yes. If you I've still got it. Loads and loads and loads in buskets. What did he wear? Fancy dress as well. He had morning suit on. Oh, yeah, yeah. Right. Fin finished notepads. There's so many of those in baskets. So that's that was to fulfil the wedding. Yeah, um, exactly. The wedding. Uh, the thing. sewing one, very, very, very popular. And is that stitched on or is that on the main? Oh, That's just, on that there, on, yeah. but it is also, so you can quilt it. I've quilted mine. Yeah. Because it just gives it a little bit of texture. Beautiful. And it has a label, which you can all leave out or put. And handles. And handles are optional. Does it have, none of them have that? No, but, but I did a little tutorial. I think it's on the website of yeah. how you can turn the handle into a clasp. In oh, okay, because I quite like a clasp rather than a, a, a thing. So you can, yes, and you just sew it into the seam and yeah, then yeah. you can turn it into a, a little... popper there. Yeah. Beautiful. And right. I did a little tutorial you of how to do that. I'll have that one. Right, vintage next. In the vintage group next. So the vintage sewing, which is what that notebook is part of, um, it's always been really popular. So we've done quite a few things in it. Right, so we're starting with... Which one, Han? Sewing set. The sewing case, do you mean? Sewing case. I've got a sewing... Oh, storage. Storage, right. This one. No, yeah, there it is. Storage craft set, right? So now, do, does this come with it? It does, yes, which is oh. quite nice, isn't it? So what the thing is, you really need the st well, it, that Styleville, which is the same thing as Bozo in our yeah. form, um, but you need that for the structure of it. So it has pleated pockets all the way around to put all of your tools. I have one of these on my sewing table and I've got my rotary cutter and everything in it. Um, you've also got all the pieces on it to make a pin cushion and a scissor holder and a tape measure cover, which seems to be missing. Oh, there it all is, there it? Yeah, so all of that you've got on the piece as well. And you and you get the style wheel, which is what you need to, for this structure. But you can get absolutely loads in it. I've only got single figures this. Single figures of that one left. But you do get the uh, style wheel with it. You do. Because you really do need that. I don't need anything else then. Um, I no. Did you put any interfacing in there? No? no, no, I didn't. I did put a bit of webbing in inside okay. just to make it stand up. But you don't really. Don't really. That's up that. to you whether you have that. Uh, well. Sewing case next. This is probably one of probably if I had to choose a favourite design, it's got to be almost this. Maybe this one. Okay. Make your uh, mind up. Because well, it's hard to have your fav favourite design, but I love this because well, you've got your favourite child. You <laughs> have to have your favourite design. <laughs> don't have a favourite child. Okay. Have a look. What did you say? I don't have a favourite child. No, I'm only joking. 
They, I, I always say to each of them, you're my favourite, but don't tell the others. Yeah. I, I, you can't do it because Julie does. You're my favourite daughter because she's the oh, only daughter. I can do that with Freya, yeah. yeah. I do say to them all, you're my favourite. No, I just tell them the dog's my favourite. Yeah, of course. And they all know that. Yeah. Fair enough, isn't it? Yeah. So all anyway, the, show us what this All does, the pieces then. on there. So I love it because it's like a little suitcase. I think it's really cute. And it's really good for... I keep it in my sewing box, so it's really good for taking to workshops. So you open up the little suitcase and then inside... You've got like a zip pocket that says scissors. Yeah. Scissors, and you've got little pockets to put button safety pins, bits of bobs. You've then got all the pieces to make the pin cushion, a little needle case to put your needles in, yeah. and a little tape measure cover, oh. and then then little walls. Yeah. To put them all in, so you can fill it up. Is it difficult? It's not difficult. It takes a little bit of time, and I've changed the design when we did when I did this one because I don't like bound edges, and the original one had that, and I think it's neater not to. So I worked out a way of not having bound, bound edges, edges so that it's all done together in one. I mean, it's not a beginner's project, no. but it's not difficult. It just takes a bit of time because you've got lots of little bits to do. Brilliant. Uh, Leslie Joy's got this one. Uh, she says, Amber makes kits have great instructions. Oh, thank you. Uh, 19 99 to get the panel and the instructions for that one. And there is a tutorial for this as well, so you can sew along with me. Ah, uh, well. Mug, carry case next. There we go. Oh, I brought the wrong one with oh. me. We'll just have to show the picture. Okay. Because there's another one. So this is exactly matching the sewing case. And it's... Um, it's a little carry case that you put your mug in. And I've left it in the cupboard. Okay. Has this one got a... Uh, what's this one? Has this one got anything extra on it? No, it's just the case. Just the case, that one. Oh, it has the little mug mat. Which is oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, I was going to say, you always There's put the something. There's the picture of it. So it's a little mug carry case. And I brought the wrong one out of the cupboard. Um, Never mind. That you keep your mug in. Yeah. And it has a little mat. Mug mat. Right, okay. Um, did you put anything in, in it? Did you put thermalan in it? Um, like I that? think it's got, yes, it's got some wadding in it because yeah. it needs that to keep the mug from smashing. Yeah. And it has a little bit of interfacing in it as well. Yeah, a hairband, a button, and that's it really. Seventeen ninety nine. It's a good price. There it is. But again, on the web, on the, even the Sewing Street website, it says what extra pieces you need if yes. you want to check to see if you've got them or not. Needle case. Now that's what I can't find. Can't find it. I think it must be at home. We've had those recently. I think we've had these recently. Can't find it. I can picture where I can picture them all three of them together, but I don't so know. So what is it then? So it's a needle case. It's a sewing needle case and it's a hand it's a sewing machine needle oh, case and it's a hand <laughs> sewing needle case. So you've got you see all the little pages yeah. on here. So you can Put all of your hand sewing needles in the little needle case and then in the sewing machine needle case you put all your sewing machine needles so you can keep them all in separate pockets. And then there's one pocket that says in the machine, so whatever needle you've got in the machine you put the packet in that pocket and then you remember where it is. So there's a picture of it. Yeah, no, well, I've done this with you recently. I don't know where that is. I, th I think, I think it's at home. Most everything I keep here, and I've just got a feeling. When we went to Festival of Quilts, I took some of them with me, and right. I think that's where I've gone wrong. Oh, okay. And I think I might have took, taken this one with took. me. Took, I think I took it. Took an, I think I, and therefore I think it's at home. But Full it, video. And it looks exactly the same, matches exactly the sewing case. So a lot of people have bought the sewing case and the needle case, and they all go together. Brilliant. So that you can make your machine needle case and just a hand sewing needle booklet yeah. as well. And it all matches. All matches. And it matches, matches the matches. mug carry case. Because I know a lot of people like to buy the whole matching set. Yeah. Uh, now, something that doesn't match. Oh, yes, it does. Well, it's sorted. It's sorted. Vintage cushion. So, this was part of the sewing school where it was about how to learn how to make a cushion. Because it's one of those things that a lot of people ask, how do you make a cushion? So, in here... On the panel, there were all the... That's upside down. Oh, I've got it upside down again. All the pieces to make two cushions. One of them has a zip in the bottom. So I explained to you how to put a zip in a cushion. That one has a zip. Right. And the other one has an envelope back. Brilliant. So they feature vintage sewing things. So you've got like the sewing mach um, treadle machine. But you could, because you've got all the pieces for the fronts and the backs, you could actually make four cushions if you used your own fabric. 
all the backs. Or three if you wanted like the three panels. You know, if you wanted like one, two, three. Full demos on the video tutorial, isn't it? Yes. Is that the, for both of the envelope back and the zip? Yes, it's all in there. And there's also some charm squares on the panel as yeah. well. Make some coasters. Just because. Or some lavender bags. You could. Or make more cushions, but with like a board around them. Uh, Amber makes a great, so he's trying I've made several of their kits, loved them. Cheese omelette. Cheese omelette. <laughs> so, so I met Alison at the Festival of Quilts. We had a long conversation about cheese omelettes. You know Gavin and Stacey? No. Gwen? No. Always makes cheese omelettes. Oh, does she? Have you never watched Gavin and Stacey? I have, but, I don't, but that's, I've, not, I've dipped into it. It wasn't oh, one of okay. my... Wasn't one that's of my, really funny, Alison. They've just finished filming the latest one, haven't they? Yes. So the, one of the things, Gwen, who's Stacey's mum... She always so what's that got to do with Alison then? Well, Alison comes from Wales. Oh, OK. And we had a lovely conversation about cheese omelettes. And she said, I'm going to message you in some time and I'll just put cheese omelette and you'll know who I am. Oh, that's <laughs> nice. So that's really funny. And I haven't forgotten, you see. Love a cheese omelette. Beautiful. Right, so that can go there, that can go there, that can go <laughs> there. Right. Can you put that away because I'm doing fatter quarters now. OK. Yeah. Fatter quarters here. So this is just the fabric that yes. you've used. Yes. So that's the vintage sewing fatter quarter. So you've got, they're a bit bigger than fat quarters. So you've got like a pink one um, with all the elements and then a white one with smaller ones, rows of sewing machines and then little sewing elements there. But it's the fabric that we use in the vintage sewing. But there's labels up here. Look. And labels, this took forever. I made this, this belongs to Handmade with Love. And then you've got sewing machines and applique pieces loads on there so you've got four bigger fat quarters than normal they're 70 by 50 centimeters and all the elements as well gorgeous uh how much is that one at 19.99 these are such good prices aren't they 19.99 then the charm pack so these are the charm squares that go they are the vintage sewing but these sort of go with the um the cushions that we've just shown you oh okay so yeah. they've got all of the treadle machines on and you know like miniature versions of that of the cushions so if you've got the cushions they go together really well yeah or you could just have them like that they make a nice little bag wouldn't they you can make them for you like a sewing machine cover or something single figures on this one once you're all checked out actually it would make a nice sewing machine cover wouldn't it mm. Because you could just cut it out like that. Do you have a sewing machine cover on your machine then? <laughs> I have, and it goes on when I'm on holiday. Okay, fine. It's a kind of, it's a symbolic thing. Oh, I'm going on holiday. The machine is now covered, yes. But does it fit your new machine? It does, because I made it really big. I made it to fit over the plastic case of an original machine. Right. So it now does fit. It is really a big cover, luckily. Oh. Only one machine can be covered. Oh, you've only got one cover? Yes. When you go on holiday... The main machine gets. To be covered. honest, I only ever have one on my table. The others sit in their boxes. Oh, okay. They're spares. You got room in your sewing room for to be in your boxes. Oh no, they have to go somewhere else. Oh yeah, they're in the cupboard. Yeah. Uh, anyway, be careful on this. Single figures. Uh, oh, I don't. Uh, uh, is that right? Single figures. Yeah. Why don't you all checked out single figures on this one? Beautiful. No more notebooks. They're over here. Are we back on to notebooks? Busy B. I've got them over here. Okay. Starting with Busy B. That's that one. That's that one. So um, it's because it did, I think we started off with here. four notebooks, but then because people kept requesting things, it just increased in number. There it is. So it's Busy B with a Busy B. Yeah. It's got bees in the pocket. If you want something Who's doing, there? ask a busy person. Yes. And they can go, no. Yeah. There my, you go. My son said to me yesterday, He's, going, he's a godfather, a christening, on Saturday. He goes, how much would it cost for you to make me a quilt? I went, for Saturday? I mean, you nothing, nothing, because you, no chance. A week? No, no, no. Yes, no. with a swear word in that. Yeah, bit, yeah. For like five days. I went, you could have possibly asked me this earlier, couldn't you? Yeah, but then, 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 then when he knew how much it would cost. Well, there was no, well, I said, are you having, there isn't enough money, I haven't got enough hours. It's not about that. No, 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 no. But even if he'd asked you three weeks ago, four weeks ago, you'd be like, people don't realise no. how much work goes into it. Yeah, I could have said, I would have had to say like £500. And that's mates rates. Yeah, mates rates. I know. Yes, I gave birth to you, but you get mate rates. Busy bee. And he's like, oh, what am I going to get for a christening? But I, it's, sort of, it's fine now. So I bought a really beautiful fleece. You bought it. Yeah, obviously, fleece blanket. Is this um, the one that works for you? 
No, this is the, the middle one. So Freddie works for me. So this is the random middle one. So random. Asking, it's just random. Um, See, Hannah's going to have three children. It's one she loves more than the others. So I bought a really beautiful fleece blanket from John Lewis, because yeah. they're nice, aren't they? And then I bought some fabric, and I'm going to put a binding around the edge, and then applique his name on. Oh, nice. So that's quick yeah, version, yeah. isn't it? And it'll press look the button posh. on the machine, it'll do it. No, I'm going to cut it out. Oh, you're going to applique it, yeah. not, not embroidery. And then it'll look like... Yeah. I'm still charging £500. No. Right, that's Busy B. That's Busy Busy B. No, we have... We have, we have Swaps. I say, I'll do that if you do this for me. Yeah. Thoughts and ideas now. That's this one, isn't it? So this is just general. Not nothing to do with sewing. It's just your general thoughts. Lots of echinaceas on that bees one. Bees and echinaceas. Hannah needs a bigger book than this for all her thoughts and ideas. <laughs> Does she? Yes. Well, it's fine because once she's filled up one book full of her thoughts. Why and have ideas, you got bumblebees on thoughts and ideas then? Well, I don't know. It's just a pretty scene, isn't oh, it? Oh no! Hang on. Did you have that idea, or is that Amy? I think that was Amy. Yeah. Why? Well, no, because you would know the answer. <laughs> oh, yeah, exactly. No, Amy just did that. Bees, yeah. flowers, thoughts. Again, nice present, though, isn't it? Yeah, lovely present. Ah, oh, look. Oh, yeah, yeah, See? yeah, yeah, yeah. And there is a tutorial on our website that shows you how to turn your, instead of having handles. Did you buy these books by bulk? Oh, Everyone's yeah. got that same book. I know, well, they, they just look, they fit nicely with the hardbacks. Yeah. And you can buy them in packs of three from the Long River. Oh, can you? So that's got just a magnetic thing. So if you want to just hold it closed. Yeah, yeah, these have a tutorial. Uh, oh, oh, do they have a tutorial? Please? There I is must a, have if you've done that. There is a separate tutorial, a little bit on the Amber Makes website that just shows you how to do So that. there isn't one for the whole book cover? There is one for the whole book cover. Oh, there yes. is? Yes. Uh, Rebecca's tutorials are fantastic. So easy to follow. Gorgeous weather here in Northern Ireland. Oh. Oh, very nice. Thanks, Debbie. Chucking yeah. it down here. It's horrible here. Is it still horrible out there? Yeah. Probably. No, there is a tutorial for the whole book because I think when I did the elephant ones, I then filmed a tutorial. Right. And there is a little... little oh, that's why these the, the pattern hasn't got the thing on it because yes. you did it after you printed the first Indeed. pattern. Indeed. But there is a little small tutorial of how to yeah. do that. And if you still want handles and the tab, you can. You just have to use your own fabric for that. Yeah. One. Uh, or just have one less pocket and use some of the pocket fabric. You could, yes. Uh, elephants next. And what was this for then? Never forget. Yeah, never forget anything, ever. Yeah, we've seen a lot of elephants today, haven't we? A lot of elephants. So a lot of people I know collect, like the vintage sewing, they collect the elephants, they collect all the different things. <laughs> Big elephant. You're too elephant. quick. Oh, sorry. That's what it is. I know, Hannah. You see, normally if I've got ears... Yeah, well, are you, do you want one? No, thank you. Oh, no, you're not allowed. Hannah always says, slower! She says, it's not a buffet. She says, you treat this show like a buffet. Is that what she said? Because <laughs> you know when you're at the buffet, yeah. you go see how fast you can get through it, so you get a lot on your plate. <laughs> she says, I present sewing street like a bu buffet. That's a good one, isn't it? <laughs> so fast. Because I want to make sure I've got more sausage rolls than everyone else. Yeah, but is it a buffet that you can go back and get more? I think maybe not. Oh, OK. But often we do have to go back because I've gone through Too all fast. of this so fast that Hannah makes me go back. It's quite nice. I can't hear her telling me off. No, she? she's, she's just giggling. She's just hysterically giggling <laughs> today. About the buffet. Oh, don't say buffet. That made me hungry oh. now. What well, would you, if you have a buffet? What would you go and pick now? Well, I would. Most buffets are a bit beige, aren't they? A bit sausage roll, and I don't really. Oh want no, I don't that. need No, and or sandwiches and things. Ooh. You know, they're kind of a bit beige, aren't they? Yeah. And cheese straws. I'd want like a big bowl of hummus. Oh yeah. At uh, Serafina's wedding, uh, the whole the whole meal was Indian food. She's not Indian, but the whole meal was <gasps> vegan Indian food. Wow! And I was like, oh, <laughs> it was so delicious. Then mm. I got a bit peckish a bit later on. About half past nine at night, they brought this great big trolley, um, like a cart out, and it had all warm falafels and hummus yeah. and tomato, and it was and pitters. Oh, and you could just... yeah, that's what I'd have. I'd have hummus, yeah. falafels, pitters. I had that for my tea last night. Stuffed vine leaves. I love oh no, them. Dolmades. Yeah, love them. No, I don't like those. What's next? Storage basket sewing room trio. There's a um, Greek sort of chip shop in Bath oh, that's duffel that you it? can that sell Dolmadi. So you can have a portion of chips with a couple of Dolmadis in. What in your local chippy? In, there's in, in the centre bath there's like a chip shop. Oh yeah. But it's Greek, so it sells Dolmadis oh, right, as yeah. well as chips. There's a, there's a fabulous combination. In Strathton Avon, down the bit where um, 
boots is and Marks and Spencer's. There's a Greek cafe called Tzatziki. Mm. And it, from the outside, it looks really... And every time you walk past, you think, oh, it's... I, I mean, I, and it's like it just... I, I will do one day, but, you know, I'm always in a rush and I'm yeah. running, running past going, oh, I forgot that was there. You need to go and get the dog. Right, which one first, Han? Sewing room. So these storage baskets are for you. Well, I've got them in my sewing room. In fact, I've got this one. This is full of my Aurafil threads. Right. I how many I've got. Um, and then I have other oh. threads. Oh, that one, there it is. So in, on the panel, there's enough to make all three of them. And this is a real easy peasy beginner's kit. And if you're not a beginner, you'll just find it easy. Yeah. And all it has in is wadding. H640 is best. And there's enough on the panel. There's enough piece on the panel to make all three baskets. And line them as well. And line them. And they've all got handles, which are optional. But you can, if you wanted to, use your own fabric for the lining and then you could make six. So the idea is it looks like a sewing room. And on the inside, it looks like the inside of a sewing room. Gorgeous. And you can make all three. And that one has got sewing books on it. Has it got mine? Oh, no, it didn't. I sewing didn't tips. Book, you hadn't written yours then. Quilt blocks, sewing techniques. So all three. So, and you need... I Inside, it's got, like, pins, fabric, spools, so like, sewing words. So you need a... Well, 50... See, this was annoying. I couldn't quite get it on half a metre. 56 centimetres you need. What for? What of wadding? wadding? So I couldn't... Well, that's fine, because we've got the H640 by the metre, stay. Perfect. Perfect. By Perfect. By the metre of H640 for this, you'd be fine. So you can put the hat... The handles are optional, but they're just nice. You can yeah. put a plant... They look nice with plants in. Yeah, I think you've made me one of these. Not the same room. I think I've got a garden. I made there. you a potting shed. Yeah. Uh, anyway, anyway, there's all three of those. A four... Nineteen ninety nine. Half the stock of those is gone. But you can get. I, I have got my whole Aurafil thread collection. I have to hold it quite carefully. Or it, it's now. Mesh on the bottom. Loving you two together today. Been feeling really poorly for a few days. Aww. You two have made me laugh out loud. Plus, I purchased two. You, oh, Kim. Oh, thank you. Kim. Send you lots South of love, Wales. Kim. Have a have a cheese omelette. No. Mm. I think if you're feeling a bit poorly, carrot cake. Oh, carrot. Oh, uh -huh. Because the carrot's sort of a good for you, and cake makes you feel better, doesn't it? Always. No. Kim, have a piece of carrot cake. Is this the Thatch Cottage, this, isn't it, this one? Yes. So, Thatch Cottage. So, this is kind of your kitchen one. Um, what did I put in mine? I think. Oh, look, I've got a picture there. I put apples. Oh, yeah, likely. And a plant. And then yeah. I put all of the um, sauce bottles, you know, like your ketchup and everything in one of them. The what? All the sauce bottles. Like. They're not so they're oils. No, they were posh they were posh ketchups. What are they doing on the shelf? They should be in the fridge. <laughs> yeah, they were for photography purposes. So <laughs> the idea Oh uh, Hannah says she can't be your friend anymore if you open a sauce and keep it out of the fridge. I don't always keep them in the fridge. But they're preservatives, aren't they? They should be able to be yeah. like jam, isn't it? Where well, do you get your jam? Fridge. Yeah. I put jam in the fridge. Once I've opened it. Yeah, I do. Yeah. And mayonnaise and tomato sauce. Yeah, but then sometimes I don't, and it's fine. Lovely. So, this is like a thatch cottage, and then on the inside of it, it's like the inside of the cottage. Oh. It's got all the um, windows and bookshelves, and then that's the medium one. I didn't put the handles on this, but they are on the panel, and it's got a, um, a flagstone floor, obviously. And then this one has got all um, recipe books, and inside it says hot chocolate scone, tea cream, biscuit, cafe. Coffee. Is the sandwich stop still in Bath, round the corner from Gay Street and opposite the entrance to the Maltings? Round the corner? Um, I don't know, actually. Well, I know where Gay Street is. She knows the chip shop sells Stone yeah, Marty's. We have, what's it called? Uh, properly miserable murky weather day in South London. Yeah. This is Terry, isn't it? <laughs> uh, best day in Watch Lane Street all day. Thank you, don't mind if I do, from Terry. Aww. I know, I'm with you. I think it is the, the perfect day for just sitting inside. Yep. Watching Stone Street, doing a bit of uh, sewing. Craig, Craig from Crafters Companion said he had a weekend where he just looked after himself. And on Sunday, mm -hmm. he literally just lay on the sofa. He had tied to the house on Saturday. And on Sunday, he watched telly, fell asleep. Watched telly, fell asleep. Oh, watched telly, fell asleep. Wow. I can't do that. And I can. Right. Well, I think I'd have to feel a bit, bit poorly or I'd feel a bit guilty if I did that. Yes. All day. It sounds Let nice, the guilt doesn't go, it? Hannah says. <laughs> it sounds right, nice, this is the one I've got. Uh, right, yeah, this is yours. The potting shed. So, 
for anyone who missed out on the gardening, but this is present for your gardeners. So in the potting shed, I put a plant in one. Um, you could put seeds in. There we go. So that's the potting shed. It's even got a bicycle on it and the inside of the shed. And a then, bicycle? Yeah, a bicycle. Leaning up oh, against yeah, the yeah, shed. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There, there. And then the medium one is the... The, the girl's pot, bike. The pot potting shed shelves with lots of trugs and plants. And then the inside... You've so, seen how much trugs cost? No. I was in a garden centre recently with Dulcie and she picked me... It's not lovely and she put it over her arm. Then we saw the price... How of, much? I can't remember, but it was like... Ridiculous. Ridiculous. And then I was in a, gar in a different garden centre a couple of weeks ago with Becky from Floor next door mm. and her mum, Trudels. And they had these, um, they went, oh, look, William Morris, William Morris, and they had dog baskets. It was lit, I, I, everyone would be sick of me saying this. The, the cheapest one was just a cushion for a dog to sit on, £150. No way. Then if you wanted one with sides and a bit yeah. cutter, I took pictures of the price tags. It's ridiculous. And it was just, uh, just straightforward, like our normal fabric and everything, but I couldn't believe That is ridiculous. Right. <clears throat> and then the little one has got words on it. It says, like, seeds, herbs, garden. So you could put some, like, string or twine or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but you could, as I say, make more because the insides are just as good as the outsides. Yeah. There we go. Weather ah. update. It's beautiful weather here in Hinkley in Leicestershire. Oh, OK. Isn't that where we're going to be in that house? Where are we going um, to Somewhere beginning with L. Is it Litchfield? Oh, Litchfield we're going somewhere to. Somewhere beginning with Litchfield. L. Yeah. Right. They've promised me it's an hour from here. I bet it's not. It's what? They've said it's an hour from here. That's not... But that means an hour and a half from my house. Well, I, they said it was an hour from here. Actually, I think it's... I'm sure Amy said it was near where she lived as well. Oh, we all said Amy's the night before, then. She's not there. <laughs> South Africa. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Yeah, we'll just go in. And she's got house sitters, if any burglars. Yeah. Watching. Key's probably under the dustbin or yeah. something. We'll, we'll find our way in. Elephants! Yeah. <laughs> I know where it is. I've been, so we'll be fine. Yeah. But you know where the key is? No, but I'm sure. I had this brilliant thing when I lived in Twickenham because I, I, at the front, I didn't have a front garden because I was in a Victorian terrace row with little picket fence and everything. It was about six foot between the picket fence and, and that was all shing, big shingle. And you could buy these like plastic shingles that you slid the bottom off, you put the key in wow. and, then, and then you mixed it with your shingle. The amount of times I came home later. Did I go in with this? I used to have a frog. It was like a metal frog ornament that you did that with. Well, that's a bit obvious, though, isn't it? This, this way. No, but it looked just like a metal frog, but you just took the lid oh, okay. off. But it always seemed to get kicked. So you'd uh, be, well, like, looking for the key and the frog and everything. Yeah. That's quite funny. I just think those boxes on the wall there, where you had to put a code in, somebody could just kick I know. It, you it? Might, oh, shingles, a great idea. I know, not when you couldn't find but it. But imagine on your hands and knees going... Yeah. yeah. Anyway. That's that one. Right. That's the elephant yeah, one. Yeah, so that's the elephant. And again, you get three of them. Oh, to put really good still on the for keeping elephants in. If you have so we're on elephant booths. Now we're going to bees. Bees. This is lavender bee. This is so this so this is our, one of our newest ones. So this these all have um, video tutorials as well. So this matches if you've bought the lavender bee tote bag. So you get a large one. These look lovely with plants in. And a nice gift as well. If you're going to buy someone a plant, there's the picture, oh. then put them in one of these. Is that a Chinese money plant? It is. That well, when, in the southeast corner um, of the house. Amy and I went and stayed in this cottage. Oh. We, <laughs> there was loads of plants. It was quite handy, so we took the, took the picture on Oh, there. well, as long as it was in the southeast corner of the house. I've absolutely no idea. We just thought, oh, they're nice. They fit our Yeah, the trouble is, my microwave is in the southeast corner of my house, so I've had to put mine on top of my microwave, and it doesn't like it very much. <laughs> okay. Next. What are we doing now? Christmas book. Yes, yeah, so this is perfect for all your Christmas lists, Christmas card lists. Who are you going to cross off this year? Mind mm. you, scenes of stamps have gone up so much. You might have be them gone up? Yes, in October they're going up. Oh, are they? Yeah, so, so you need to go in and buy loads right. now. Or hand deliver them all. But this is really good for just keeping notes of, quite interesting to see, like, what you cook each year and who's bringing what. what well, I write, I, I have a book, I've got a Christmas card mm. book 
that I write down everybody I've sent Christmas cards to the day before, then the, the year before, then you haven't got to keep making this. You just go, I'm not sending one. Um, no, I'm not, yeah. One. And it's quite nice to write sort of what you've given people as well and where you are with it. So, again, you could give this as someone as a Christmas present. And it has um, candy canes for its pockets. Never like those. Oh, I quite like no, them. They're nice to look at, not to eat. No, they're a bit rock, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah, cheap. Right. No, you can't say that. They're quite uh, Then I've got two more Helen. books here, which you can't find. She gets cross if you say cheap. I've got crochet and knitting. Yes, I don't know where they are either. Knitting first. So these are exactly the same <laughs> as the others. Just, but for your knitting notes, it says my knitting notes, and it's got knitting things like needles and hats and yarn. So you can put your, stuff. oh, no, knitting. Knitting. That's right, and all your knitting notes in about yeah. what projects you're doing. And when you, you, when you knit a pattern and you change it, and you watch I cast on 53, not 27, you can write that down. So next time you come to make that hat, you remember. Yeah. Have we got a picture of that one? Do we see? A known picture of that one, okay. I don't know where it is. <coughs> Very okay. nice for knitting. And then last but not least, crochet. And again, really good for your crochet. And I do have one of these because I quite often change patterns and then I forget when I go back. But you, quite, you know, or you can write down, you know, how many rows you're doing, tallies. Because I start, I often write notes on my patterns and then I can't find the pattern. What's that stitch at the bottom there then? Oh, that's <laughs> just a made up crochet oh, okay. stitch. The rest there, it the is, there it is, there it is, there it is. Oh, it's for the handles, yeah. But I often write on the patterns and then I can't find the pattern. No, exactly. So write them in a book. Gorgeous. Are we done? No. No? We haven't done duffels. Duffles. We haven't done duffels yet. Oh, yeah, duffels here. No, we haven't done, again, we haven't done these for ages. Crochet first. So the, the duffel tote, again, is a really easy project. It's a mixture between a duffel bag and a tote bag. And it just made me laugh to call it duffel tote. So I was going to do it with the round bottom, but it's easier to do with the square bottom. So it looks like this. So you can put all of your knitting. I haven't got, your oh, crochet. there it is. You can put all your crochet and your yarn in it and it just has a bit of piping cord to do it up. So you get loads in, really good when you're, if you're going away and you want to take a kit with you. Then what you do is when you're actually doing your knitting is you can fold the top over because it's full of pockets. And you can choose what gaps you put in. So you can put crochet hook. I'm so sorry I'm boring you, John. <laughs> I thought they were beyond me now. <laughs> Did you hear his yawn? So sorry. Um, you, can, you can make the um, divisions, like the size of hooks or needles. But it means you can put your yarn in and crochet or knit from it. Lovely. And then you just tie it all up like that. And there it is, a bag. See? Gorgeous. So that's crochet. And I made this, I ha this is one of, that I made specially for me and then thought, oh, well, we ought to do it as a kit, really. Yeah. Knitting. Knitting. So this matches the knitting book. So nice gift for someone if you get them the bag and the book. Or yeah. Or you yourself, to be honest. And again. There's the book, though. The notebook cover, the one that we've lost. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah there, there is it. That's gone. I don't know where it is. Um, uh, but it's, it's nice. fully lined and I haven't put wadding in it. I don't think it needs it. Because no, we were looking for the book. You thought we might oh, I, I think I don't think it needs it, and it has. And with this one, I put sewed really small gaps, so I could put all my knitting needles in. But it's fully lined, and it's got these lined pockets, so it's got quite a bit of body. But it's a very easy make. Hi, John and Rachel. Hello, Rachel. <laughs> John, when you next visit the Wirral, try a halloumi and a falafel sad in Flisses in Thurstaston near the beach. Oh, I will, Julie. Thank okay. you. I'll, my, I'll tell my Julie to remember to go Fissies. there. Because we take um, we take um, Darcy the dog mm. to Liso Beach. You see, which is like a, it's a gorgeous place. Oh, okay. <coughs> that's the panel for it. So yeah, all that's on there. Not interested. Lovely. And then we got well, sewing. I'm just trying to remember where this place was. Fissies in Thurlaston. Fissies, Thurstaston. Thurstaston. I remember that. Okay. Sewing. Thank you very much. And then we've got sewing. So this has got your vintage sewing print on it. So it's a really good thing if you, you, want, you want to put a specific project in it or your tools. And it just is easy to tie up with the um, piping cord and little handles. So you've got all the sewing things on there. Beautiful. There we go. Loving you both. Candy canes are good stirred in hot chocolate. Oh, now there's a good What's idea. It melt? Well, I bet it takes a while. They're really solid, yeah. aren't they? So you could use them to stir, couldn't you? And then you'd have mint, mint hot chocolate. No, I like that idea. 
When are you in next then, Rebecca Reed? Uh, well, I'm in on Monday presenting. Yeah. Do you know what's exciting about Monday? What? Sam Savido's launching her brand new first ever crochet book. She promised me I'd have to. No, wait, she promised me. She promised me. And it's mine. Isn't, isn't, that, isn't that weird though? I remember when it came, when she was so, she did yes. a, a flicking through on social mm. medias and she always oh, not available till October. And I was like, oh my, that's miles away. Yeah, I know. And there it is. So that's She's, on Monday. That's on Monday. So that's quite exciting. Wow. Um, yeah, nice. And I'm doing my first, the next instalment of the sewing school. Oh, okay. The Goldilocks. On Park. your own, on the Monday. On my own. Yeah. I know, I know. No, no, I'm not actually. Tuesday, I'm in doing that with You're Vicks. guesting on Tuesday with Yes, Fix. Yeah. Yes, I'm not doing We've that. We've got to go for own. a break, look, because I've got to go and do quilt kitchen. That's when I'm back in anyway. Thank you so much for today. No, thank you. Uh, I'll see you. Check out on all of those. There's loads and loads in basket. Oh, Jimmy's in, everyone. Uh, I'll see you in four <laughs> minutes with quilt kitchen you will love. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletter. Go to sewingstreet.com and scroll down to the bottom of the homepage. Type in your email address and click the envelope. That's it. You'll never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Did you know at Sewing Street that on various products we offer split pay? That means on certain items you can spread the cost over two, three, four or sometimes even five interest-free monthly payments. Just pay the first instalment when you purchase and you're away. So shop your way with Split Pay. Never miss a show by watching on the go with the Sewing Street app. Head over to your app store now and search Sewing Street and simply download to your smartphone or tablet. You can watch the shows live and see your favorite presenters and guests. Click on the Today button to shop all of the products that are featured in today's show. Want to know what's hot? Then click here to see today's bestsellers and highlights. Have you missed a show or want to watch one back? Then click the Schedule button and you can go back seven days to watch and shop and you can also see what's coming up over the next seven days. Want to say hello or ask a question to our guests? Then send a message to the studio. You can also keep in touch with all the latest news, events, product launches and much more by clicking here for our social media pages. Never miss a show by watching on the go with Sewing Street. Here at Sewing Street, we only charge one p and throughout the day. You can add as many items to your basket and check out and still only be charged once. Once you've checked out the first time and want to order again, you simply add the item to the basket and click on the Combine Order button. Remember, standard P&P is £4.95. Charges may differ for outside the UK. Or upgrade to our premium option for £6.95 on certain items. Shopping made easy at Sewing Street. Shopping with Sewing Street couldn't be easier. You can shop via our website at www.sewingstreet.com where you can watch our live shows and see all the products from that day. We also have a huge amount of products on our website from your sewing room essentials to fabrics, sewing machines and much more. You can download and shop on the go with our Sewing Street app. Simply head over to your app store and search Sewing Street. Alternatively, you can contact our UK-based call centre 24 hours a day on 0800 001 4433. Shopping made easy at Sewing Street. Not only is Sewing Street live from 8am till 1pm on Sky 670, Freeview Channel 73, YouTube and the Sewing Street app, now, Virgin subscribers can watch on Channel 754, which means there are more ways to watch your way with Sewing Street. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletter. 
Go to sewingstreet.com and scroll down to the bottom of the homepage. Type in your email address and click the envelope. That's it. You'll never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Did you know at Sewing Street that on various products we offer split pay? That means on certain items you can spread the cost over two, three, four or sometimes even five interest-free monthly payments. Just pay the first instalment when you purchase and you're away. So shop your way with split pay. Never miss a show by watching on the go with the Sewing Street app. Head over to your app store now and search Sewing Street and simply download to your smartphone or tablet. You can watch the shows live and see your favourite presenters and guests. Click on the Today button to shop all of the products that are featured in today's show. Want to know what's hot? Then click here to see today's bestsellers and highlights. Have you missed a show or want to watch one back? Then click the Schedule button and you can go back seven days to watch and shop and you can also see what's coming up over the next seven days. Want to say hello or ask a question to our guests? Then send a message to the studio. You can also keep in touch with all the latest news, events, product launches and much more by clicking here for our social media pages. Never miss a show by watching on the go with Sewing Street. Here at Sewing Street, we only charge one P&P throughout the day. You can add as many items to your basket and check out and still only be charged once. Once you've checked out the first time and want to order again, you simply add the item to the basket and click on the Combine Order button. Remember, standard P&P is £4.95. Charges may differ for outside the UK. Or upgrade to our premium option for £6.95 on certain items. Shopping made easy at Sewing Street. Shopping with Sewing Street couldn't be easier. You can shop via our website at www.sewingstreet.com where you can watch our live shows and see all the products from that day. We also have a huge amount of products on our website from your sewing room essentials to fabrics, sewing machines and much more. You can download and shop on the go with our Sewing Street app. Simply head over to your app store and search Sewing Street. Alternatively, you can contact our UK-based call centre 24 hours a day on 0800 001 4433. Shopping made easy at Sewing Street. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletter. Go to sewingstreet.com and scroll down to the bottom of the homepage. Type in your email address and click the envelope. That's it. You'll never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. You know when strawberries are just perfect? I, brought, I, got, I bought them in well, Tesco just yesterday and I put them in a Tupperware box. I've just, they were absolutely divine. I was going to have, have a few now and a few on the journey home. I've eaten them all. Eaten them all. Uh, right, quilt behind me, quilt behind me now. I haven't got the box here. They launched it yesterday on oh, more balloons coming in. Do you know what? That balloon shop in Redditch must make a fortune out of us, must not it? Yeah. Yeah, maybe we should start making our own balloons. They're pretty. They're pastel colours, aren't they? Anyway, um, quilt behind me. Should be 200 and what, 19? 219 should it be, Han? Yeah, 159.99. Vix did it yesterday. Now, it is using the William Morris Christmas fabrics, but it's not Christmassy at all. There's nothing Christmassy in that, that thing at all. So if you want it up all year round, or on your bed all year round, you could do. It's a beautiful way of showcasing the fabrics as well. And 159.99. Split pay three ways, split pay 53.33. Uh, there's only a few left now, though. There's only a few left. Okay, can I to be really cheeky though and say if you're going to buy it and you need the frame to quilt it on because they're flying out. Is that all right, Hannah? I don't mean to produce from the floor, but no, no, mini sheds are making a really lot of noise, but that's fine. Um, on Sunday, Samantha from JB Sewing was in. She's gorgeous. All the sewing machines have sold. All the sewing machines have sold. You can use this with any domestic machine. 
right? Uh, but you can do your own long arm quilting. Right, uh, quite a few have gone today. Quite a few have gone today. So if you've got it in your basket, please check out. It's a really, really, really good deal at £799. Oh, here you go. Let's just do some slides of words. See what it says. Oh, cracky. Developed by the Grace Co. for quilters who do not have the space for a full-time, so a full-size quilting frame. The tabletop cutie frame is the answer to your dreams. Uh, free motion, zoning, and adjustable handles. The whole thing. And you can build to it as well. You build it as well. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're going to look at it and you're going to go, if I build it myself on the table, it's not going to be sturdy. It's going to be flimsy. It's going to be... Please go and watch. After I've finished, in, in about 55 minutes, or 50 minutes, right... Please go and watch on our, our website, on YouTube, Sunday at 10 o'clock, right? Samantha knows everything about this, about the weight, about the size, about everything. It's a really, really, really good show. But I don't want you to miss out because I know, secretly, I know we can't get any more, right? I secretly, I know we can't get any more. And it's the time, now's the time to get it. Now, when I left on Sunday at the end of the show, we had... Uh, 38 left, and there were 76 in baskets, right? That's why I'm talking. We know people want it. We know you want it. Now, obviously, the reason I'm just bringing it up now, I haven't got it here or anything to show you, but I do want you to want to see the show, is I would go and get it. Now, several have gone this morning already. Um, if you do want it, uh, um, I, I know I'm not saying, oh, it's only £800 at all. I'm not saying that whatsoever. But I am saying if, if you want, it, it, it's a brilliant piece... I'd be really naughty. Do you remember when we were at Sewing Quarter and we had a lady come in and she had a, 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 she had like four broom handles and some bungees and they were and we don't deliver, right? For seven hundred and ninety nine, you're getting such a brilliant deal. You get such a brilliant deal. I know, and it's on five way split pay, uh, and the customer service team are brilliant. They're, if you have any issues with it, just ring them at J and B uh, Sewing. They're absolutely brilliant, right? Rob and Samantha and the team. Anyway, I just, thought I'd, I just thought I'd mention it. I just thought I'd mention it now because if you are going to buy... We're going into a quilting hour and I just think if you... Oh, see, another one's just gone. Another one's just gone. And also, you might not have watched it at the weekend. You might have no idea that we had it on at the weekend. We did an hour on the frame and then we did an hour on the Rebel sewing machine. The Rebel sewing machine was £3,000. They've all gone. They've all gone. But we have got the frame. But you don't need the Rebel... You can do it with, you can even do it. We were, we put a tiny, you know the tiniest Elna that we sell? We put it on the frame to show you how it works. All it, oh, what was that? All it means, right? Yes, I know, but it's a very funny shape, Baloo. Um, all we, uh, Jimmy was carrying it peculiarly. Um, all, all it means is when you have a, a, oh, she's not 40, is she? Cracky, she's aging well. Uh, anyway, um, what I'm saying is, if the smaller the machine, you just have to do smaller spaces. If you've got a great machine, you can do 11 inches at a time. A small machine, do four inches at a time. Another one's just gone. Another one's just gone. So please, no, not another balloon. Not another balloon, but another of the, the frames have gone. So please be careful. Can you see how many are in baskets, Han? You see, now, if everyone checks out, if everyone checks out, I've literally down to my teens in that now. Down to my teens. We had hundreds of them. Right. Okay. So now we're going to go to, is it the Christmas one? The one that Delphine was going to make. That one. Yeah. So now this, this one here is a Christmas quilt. I'd say that this one is, a, it's the same fabrics as that. It's got Christmas fabric in this one. I'd, and it's called Christmas in the Meadow. No, but I'd say it's got Christmas trees, doesn't it, you see? But it uses, remember that fabric we had earlier with a lovely deer on? And it was called Brook Shields, right? Uh, you see great big sections of that one as well. Now, this should be 249 199 199 It's down there. Dan, have I got the sample of this one, my love? I can look, but I just didn't want to start rummaging. Oh, first one. Thank you. This is, right, I'm going to show you here, close up, first of all. These are what they, they're all classed as their festive range. Oh, no, that one is, they've got mineral in that one there. But they're mistletoe, you see. That's what makes it Christmassy as well. But look, I'll just show you the top, top of it there. There you go. Lovely, isn't it? Beautiful. 
And they've done um, meander, the, the quilting that which you could do on your cutie frame. Isn't that lovely? It's really nice. And then if I just hold it up like that, you've got great big sections of that brook, which really, really, really shows off that fabric. 199.99. Could be an heirloom Christmas quilt, that one. Heirloom Christmas quilt. Beautiful. Three-way split pay. William Morris fabric from Cotswold Holiday. Holiday. So, see Madonna going to that fashion show last week. The big black shroud on. It's very strange. 199.99. She had a crown on as well. Oh, Jimmy, Jimmy's going to be wearing a crown for you later as well, apparently. But he's covered up something with purple velvet and apparently he's going to leap out of it wearing nothing but a gold crown and a smile. We better put the heat on in here as well. Anyway, keep going through. 199.99. I have the grey tabletop frame. It's amazing. So lovely to be able to do my own quilting. It's so, it's so easy. It's so easy. I can't tell you. I, right, no, I don't do this, do I, right? I literally said, oh, give us a go, give us a go. I wrote my name and then I did this big love heart and the love heart was like perfect. I don't know how I did it because I can't draw a perfect love heart. It's so easy to use and it glides beautifully. It's really good. Put it there for you just to make sure. If you've got it in your basket, please check out. I know, I, I mean, it, 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 they are fantastic. They are, and you know me. If I didn't think much of it, I wouldn't be, I wouldn't, I'd be like, oh no, I'm not mentioning that again. Oh no, I'm not doing that again. It's brilliant. It's absolutely brilliant. Hmm? Yeah. Beautiful. $199.99. Right, moving on. <clears throat> Oh, now, somebody messaged in while I was doing this. Oh, no, no, didn't they, they messaged me afterwards. And I'd read a message out for their mum. And I was doing this quilt at the time, right? And the mum went, I'm buying that, I'm buying that. I love the colours. She said, what I love, John, is you put in your, um, your own, not your own words, but you describe the colours perfectly. This. Now, I'm going to be, I'm going to be totally honest with you, right? We have done this pattern. I'll just show you the slides. Bruce will show you the slides. We've done this pattern in uh, William Morris. We've done, uh, not William Morris, we've done it in Cafe. We've done it in Tula. We've done it in, do you remember Emma Bradford did it in that Moda fabric, which was all like fishing and grass and trees and everything. We did, it's a very, very well-known pattern, right? What they've done this time is they've teamed it with the uh, fabrics from William Morris. Now, I'll just put it on the table, first of all, because the colours they've chosen are perfect for it because first of all look at the background right they haven't just put a cream or a beige or a you know a plain color the background is that beautiful sunflower sunflower i called it nutmeg the other day but apparently sunflower sunflower and then <clears throat> whoever's chosen the fabrics for this one has done such a fantastic job at getting exactly the right colour. So it really, really works. I mean, there's the centre, right? There's the centre with the green, <coughs> excuse me. And then it's just very, very, very clever design, this, because you start with the green and then it just works going out, doesn't it? Beautiful. I'll hold it up for you in a second so you can see those colours really blending. Now. I know what you're sitting there. You're sitting there thinking, oh, I couldn't sew all those diamonds together. Oh, I'm not, I would say the same thing. It's not diamonds, you just sew strips together. You just sew straight strips together. I'll show you in a minute. I'll open it up and show you the instructions in a minute. But I just want you to see how beautiful, I don't think I'm even tall enough for you to be able to see it, look. Look, oh, now there you go, there you go. Jimmy's not tall enough. What was that? No. Uh, anyway, let me open the box and show you. Let me just open the box. Oh, that's not your price. I thought, I forgot about that. I do apologize. Look, $199.99. $199.99. 
Uh, it's 220, it's a square, it's a big, big square, which if you got, I'm sorry to go on about it, but if you get your cutie frame, right, you can do any size quilt on it because you do a bit and then you move it along. You do a bit and you move it along. So it's, you can do all of that on, on the cutie there. You do all of that on the cutie. Right, well, they sent me another new one, look. Right, let me show you the instructions first of all. Now they call it intermediate and I'll tell you why. What you do is you just sew strips together, straight strips, now, uh, the reason they're um, graduated like that is because you're going to take a ruler and you're going to cut them on that angle there. So if you sewed all of those that length, when you cut the angle, you've wasted all this fabric, right? So they tell you how to do this, but they're just straight strips on the straight of grain, straight strips sewn together. And then what you, they do, is, now you must remember, though, to sew them together in the order that they tell you to sew them together in. That's what you have to do, right? Then you cut it like that, so it makes one of these, and then you just sew these straight edges together. You just sew the straight edges together, it's so simple, right? And then it tells you here what the strip sets are, so you know you've got to sew them in the right order. It's just a case of being organized, that's all. And then what you do is you just have your squares and your, and your um, triangles here to set them all in. I mean, it's so easy. It really, really, really is easy. Uh, so hang on, where does it say about cutting? It tells you what size to cut and everything like that. Uh, when you think of the size and the amount of fabric you get in here, it's brilliant value, 199.99. There's over 11 and a half meters of fabric in here. Ooh, it's a heavy box, this. And also remember, if you bought something else today, you only pay your one PMP. You're only paying your 4.99 PMP. Right, there's, there's your background, your sunflower in sunflower. That's your background fabric there. I oh, know it's beautiful, isn't it? There's loads of it as well, loads of it. Because it is in the quilt as well as being the background. Then look at this, you've got your briar rose in big and little, red and yellow. The, the colours they've checked, this is your star in the middle. Isn't that gorgeous? Then we've got the coverlet. Isn't that the coverlet one? The one that's from the bed in the Emery Walker house. I'm sure that's the coverlet one. There you go, May's coverlet. May's coverlet. Isn't it lovely? I don't even remember seeing that in the quilt, actually. Then you've got your sunflowers, but in your darker colourway. Yeah, in the house, in the Emery Walker house in London. Isn't that it? Yeah. Oh, it is in the quilt. Yeah, no, no, it's definitely in the quilt. Yeah, yeah, sorry, I just don't remember seeing it. Yeah, the way it's been cut. Oh, there it is. Yeah, look, it creates that lovely halo design there. Beautiful. Then you've got your willow bow. Then you've got your... Now, they called that one Buttons, Bachelor's Button earlier, didn't they? So, oh, no, it's called Small Wallflower here. But they definitely called that one Bachelor's Button earlier, didn't they? Very... Yeah, look. Oh, okay. Anyway, 199.99. I know it's considered purchase, but it's so. Imagine that quilt. Imagine having that quilt. <laughs> oh, Jimmy! He just took look one look at that balloon, and he's so bitter. The balloon burst. There he is. Look. No, nobody. There was nobody anywhere near it. Nowhere near it. 199.99. Beautiful. And you've got a pair, of, a pair of trousers for Jimmy. Make sure you check out though on that one. No, not yet. He's going to be jumping. No, it's just a crown he's going to be wearing later. Cat's got that to look forward to. Uh, right, what's next? Watercolour flowers from Village Fabrics. Right, you will, oh, it's in two colourways, look, two colourways. Right, so what you get here, you need fusible web wobbing, wobbing, wobbing. so you some wobbing and some backing. 34.99, uh, finished size, 24 inch square. Beautiful, all the fabric you need. Oh, no, that one's been opened, that's not been packed like you've got. This is how Yvonne packs a bag, not like this. Who's had this one open? Look, you get all this fabric in there. There you go. Oh, there's your uh, Macau linear 
design. Floral, you've got blue in there. You've got your strips in there. More strips, look. Beautiful. That's pretty, isn't it? Unfold that up like that. Then you've got your white on white there. And then, oh, there's loads more strips under there. Gorgeous, look. All of that, plus your instructions. So it's log cabins, basically, around a bunch of flowers with some um, borders. $34.99. Then we've got it in a different colourway. There we go. Now, that's nice, isn't it? Got the burgundies in there and the rust. 14th of August this was done. Jimmy, no, not a balloon. He's like, everything's falling off my desk. He's like uh, bewitched. He just twitches something that falls off the table. Thank you. Beautiful, thirty-four ninety-nine. Make sure you go through for that one. Have we got any? I haven't got any have more village fabrics. No. Oh, the app's working now, we think. What's happening next then? More box ones. Yep. Now, Stuart uh, demoed this one, first time off. All I see is blue. From Kaif, uh, loads coming off this one. $129.99. Now it's not difficult this one at all. It's a square with a border. And you make you make them like that. You obviously put them on points. So they're not on, they're not biased, they're straight squares. But you put the kit the, the quilt together in rows like that. Beautiful, that lovely blue background. Oh, look at that gorgeous cave fabric. So you've got your big floral there. Oh, Jimmy. Then you've got your plaid. Then you've got your, well, I call that shark's teeth. It's bunting. Then you've got your beautiful folk floral. Then you've got your jumble. Then you've got grandma's garden. Then you've got, now is that shaggy? Or is, that, um, or is that one Japanese chrysanthemums? Japanese chrysanthemum, that one is. No, it's Japanese chrysanthemums, that one. Then you've got more plaid there, but in the different colourway. Beautiful. Look at all these fabrics you get. Oh, there's uh, regimental fans. And then there's your blue as your background. And there's your black as your sashing or your borders, your borders. Single figures, once you've all checked out on that one. Beautiful, make sure you check out. Also remember when you, ch uh, when you um, quilt it, this is when you want your QT, isn't it really? Good split pay as well on that one. <laughs> There you go, all your instructions of what blocks to make and how you put them together. Lovely. Check out, check out, don't just put them, I know there are issues on the web. Make sure you check out later if you can't check out now.
Those colours are lovely, aren't they? Unusual to have a blue background as well, isn't it, really? Okay, moving on. Blocked in, yeah, that's this one here. <clears throat> oh, now I've got this, I've got this. Oh, he says. Quite confidently, yeah, there it is. Yeah, no, it is here. Look. Now th I'm thinking this one's designed by Susie Duncan. I think this one is. Or was it, uh, I think she, she's designed about uh, uh, five or six for them. <clears throat> there we go. Not small, look, and it goes, watch, watch, 199.99, 100 pounds off, 100 pounds off. Reminds me of Milton Keynes, this one, yeah? Because Milton Keynes is all on uh, gridded roads, isn't it? And they have the cows in the field when you go past on the train. The what, cows? Concrete cows, that's right. Let me open it. Is it the last one or one of the last ones? Yeah. It's a hybrid new town. It's not new anymore, is it? It must be. Oh, hang on, come on. Why can't I get this open? Is it stuck down? Oh, there we go. One look from Jimmy and it breaks. So there's all your instructions. Under a hundred pounds for a beginner quilt. Not small. It's uh, 190, oh, it's two metres square, basically. Two metres square. So there's your squares in the middle. There's your frame. There's your big squares in your jumble there. There's your binding. There's your background. And there's more, oh, oh yeah, no, that one was your, that was your border, that was your, your binding around the squares. 99 pounds, 99 for a great big two metre square quilt. Thank you very much indeed. Beautiful. That's not you, I can't, for some reason that slide doesn't want to fit on there. Surrounding, what, fences? I think this is another Susie Duncan one. Oh, is it? I don't know if it is or not. I don't know if this one is. This one's going under 100 pounds as well. Looks like it's got some interesting fabrics in. I'll open this one now. 99, 99, look at that, split pay 33, 33. That can't be right. Let me just check. Yeah, there you go. Get this home for 33 33 then pay two more 33 33s after that. Well, you'll be done by Christmas. Yeah, 158 centimetres square. Right, now strip piecing and snowballing. Beginner intermediate, it says. Beginner intermediate. What that's meant to mean... Oh, wow, that's a colourway I've not seen before. Oh, Mr. Bin. Oh, hang on, I'm going to undo the ribbon. So you've got your ovoid in there. Then you've got that in like a dark aubergine brown. And then an orange version. Then you've got your green dots. You see, it's funny, see, you look at those fabrics, well, they won't work together. And yet, look, okay, it's that gorgeous quilt. 
158 centimetres square. Ninety nine, ninety nine. Beautiful. Beautiful. So hang on, how much? Oh, that, I mean, that's just a, yeah, no, nine, <coughs> ninety nine, ninety nine. <coughs> Excuse me. Have I got what? I have indeed, I can see it right from here. <laughs> right, what's what we want? Fields and fences. <clears throat> this looks nice, doesn't it? 99 99 Oh, pfft. Have I got this one? Let me just check. Oh, is this it? Is this it? Is this it? No, nope, I haven't got that one. Fields and fences. I'll open that one up. I oh, know, 89.99 for a quilt kit. Oh, Jimmy, they're all falling off. Look, no, no, look. <laughs> Jimmy's doing a lovely display for his first show of ribbons, I think they are, and they're all just falling off the desk. Oh, Daddy Adam's here with a funny haircut. What happened? You just got out of bed? Yeah. Oh. Look, Jumble. That's nice, isn't it? Oh, it's just three, fab just three fabrics. Isn't that funny? You wouldn't, you wouldn't think that looking at that, would you? Big piece of fabric, though. Well, 135 by 135 centimetres is the finished um, quilt size. Gorgeous. Oh, I've given you too much choice today. Right, okay. They call this Moda Zen Chic, right? The collection, but there's no mention of that here. Beautiful. Right, I've got this one here. Delphine did this one. This one's foundation paper piecing. And guess what? Oh, now, 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 I need to warn you. Six left. There are six left. 89.99. And here it is. It's beautiful, isn't it? I'll open the box for you because it comes beautifully presented inside the box as well. Second of August was the day we did this. Oh, I thought we did it longer ago than that. Anyway, look, it's really nice. Look at the look at all the fabrics in here. Now you will need to uh, at best press them all when you unravel them. They're all your fabrics there. And then, here's the design, intermediate. Now, oh, oh no, I thought it was some um, foundation paper piece. It's just piecing. It's just piecing. Isn't that weird? I've always thought this was foundation paper piece. No, well, it looks like it, doesn't it? Hang on a sec. Hang on one second. No. No, look, the way they've laid it out. Isn't that, f oh no, there you go, there you go. Tis, 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 tis foundation paper piecing. So there are the pieces you cut out and then you must have, the there you go. And then these here are your pieces, you see, the, your foundation uh, charts. I thought so. Uh, make sure you go through, only six of those left. And there are three in baskets. No, not today. I've got to go straight away. Right, okay, here we go. 89.99. I will do, but I can only be like one minute. Uh, 
Okay, there's two left now. Two left once you've all checked out. No pattern, you have to buy the quilt kit, I'm afraid. I've got some books I can do in a minute for you. I do need to check out though. I do need to check out. Okay. Quilt kit, rainbow glass, Scott. Right, here we go. So this is a Delphine. Yeah, yeah, Delphine. Delphine, sorry. Delphine, I couldn't see it. Delphine pattern. Uh, bumbleberry as your background, a metre and a half black bumbleberry. And then this is one of her Lewis and Irene panels. Oh, that's nice. I've not seen this, I don't think. Uh, it can't sell you the, the panel on its own, I'm afraid. The only way to get that panel is in this bundle now. Forty-six ninety-nine. How big's the finished quilt? Forty by forty-four. Where's the finished picture? There must be a finished picture, isn't there? Oh, there you go. Oh no. It's weird, isn't it? Funny angle picture. Beautiful. Rainbow glass quilt kit. Good way to get that panel, isn't it? And your metre and a half of your um, bumbleberry. Oh, look, and she's cut the bumbleberry out in different angles as well. And then you've got, uh, is that a border, a mixed border? Like, wait, wait. Chunked border, is it? That's what it called, is it, Hannah? Hannah's named it the chunked border. Beautiful. Beautiful. Right, let me fold that one up properly. That sounds like an Annie's quilting book, if I've ever heard one. It's not. Oh, this one. Yeah, 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 yeah. I've got it. Oh, I don't know where that ribbon's come from. It's only been on air once before with me, and it's called uh, Scrappy Wonky. Quilt Block Extravaganza by Shannon and Jason. Extravaganza. Eleganza. Anyway, 12 blocks, 13 projects, deceptively simple and fun. Here they all are. There's all your blocks. And then how you use the blocks to do different... Um, Quilts. So the blocks. Now, I did this with, uh, I think I did it with Catherine Wright, didn't I? I can't remember now. It was all wonky. No, no, hang on. I can, I can see the blocks on the desk. And the, the, and no, no, they were, no, they're not on the desk. I can see, I can remember them on the desk. Maybe it wasn't Catherine Wright. Look, that's gorgeous. I love that one. All what you need and everything like that. What date was it? Third of September. So these are your different wonky star. Oh, Alice and Marion, that's who it was, because they're very similar, aren't they? Alice Marion and Catherine Wright. Very different people. Anyway, what you do is you can either make a sampler, make one of each. Oh, look at this, I love this. The love shack is a little place where we can get together. Look. So basically, you, make up, you can make up as many different blocks. Well, there's 12 different blocks, right? And then, look at this. We, she made that one on the day. You can either put them all together in a quilt, all the same, or you can make like a sampler quilt. It's very, very popular, this book. Look, at there. there's the sampler one, look. That's like one of each of the blocks put together with sashing in between. I like the white one. There's a the one with the white background that I like best. I think it was at the beginning. Look. Look. 
Look, coasters or placemats. Pillows. Isn't there a bag? Yeah, look at that lovely bag there, beautiful bag. Look. All scrappy and quilty. Full Monty. Oh, that's the Full Monty because it's got all of the blocks from the pattern. No, all the blocks from the book are in there creating that lovely uh, random sampler quilt. Where's the white one? Oh, there, this one I like. Look, isn't that lovely? Looks like a film poster, doesn't it? That's nice as well, isn't it? That one, lovely and busy, that one. She knows, you know. Mind you, I like ups and downs, so I like all of these. Beautiful, 1999. Make sure you check out Lots in Baskets. Beautiful. Right. There are lots of people, I think, I think as the issues with the website, people are checking out after, after, after. Right, I've just, I know I'm, I'm boring you by doing this, but I just need to remind. There are six people who need to check out on this, on the QT frame. Oh, do you know what? Loads have gone today. Loads have gone today. <clears throat> now, if you want to, please go and watch Sunday at 10 o'clock. Sunday at 10 o'clock. We spend a whole hour on this on Sunday at 10 o'clock. Samantha from J&B Sewing Machines and me getting overexcited as usual. Um, but there are six of you need to check out on this one. It's £799. It's five-way split pay, which is brilliant. Uh, and it's just a fantastic way of doing your own long arm quilting. Now, I was really, really... Before we did the show, not, not this week, it's the first time I met them, I was like... Oh, this won't work. It'll be flimsy. Oh, this will be rubbish. Oh, it's flimsy. It's brilliant, right? It's absolutely brilliant. You can use any machine, a domestic machine, as long as you can drop the feed dogs <clears throat> and it does a straight stitch, which what machine doesn't do a straight stitch, you can long arm quilt with it. I know, it's fantastic. Please go and watch after this. Go and watch that um, 10 o'clock on Sunday show. You can either do it on YouTube or you can go to our website, go to TV Guide and go back to Sunday and you can just see it on the website there. Loads checked out, but I've got six people with it sitting in their baskets. Now, when I went home on Sunday, there were uh, 38 left and 76 people wanted them, wanted them. We had them in their baskets, right? We had the amount of interest of people, because we can see if you've clicked on it of interest, Hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of people looked at them out of interest and everything. Anyway, please be careful because they're not going to last much longer. Right. Next. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. No, no, I just don't know where it is. There it is. This one. Vintage floral. Lots of these in baskets as well. Lots of these in baskets. So how much should it have been? 239.99 is about how much it's spent supposed to be. 40 pounds off. Jimmy or um, Dan. Hannah wants to see this quilt. Will you help me hold it up? There we go. I don't think Jimmy, do you want a step ladder, Jimmy, to stand on? You're not that much short. You're not that short, you are. There you go. There you go. Go on tippy toes. <laughs> oh, do you want to move that way? Gorgeous. Check out, check out, check out. It is beautiful. It's thank you, Jimmy. You if you could, don't just throw, he's waving at you rather than me just folding it up there. Right. <laughs> Uh, 199.99. Make sure you check out on that one. Beautiful. Right. Where do you want to go next, Han? Now I've got quilt as you go. Right. You can do this. You can do this on your um, cutie. You can do. You can, I'll do whichever one you want. Then I'll explain. Yep. No, not this one. They do look. That's what, London Labyrinth, the next one's not so easy. 
The next one hasn't got a name on it, actually. Anyway, so what is Quilt As You Go? Well, oh, they use one. That, I've seen them on the shopping channel where they do that and they zip it up and you can't open it again. Very good for your freezer, but you don't put this in your freezer, do you? What it is, is the, the, the actual design is printed on the wadding, right? Then the lines there are uh, placement lines, not sewing lines. They tell you what to cut out, where to put them. And what you do is you put the first one flat down like that, and you, put, and you must follow the number, the system that it goes on. Now, rather than making a whole big quilt, you only do one at a time. They're 12 inch squares, right? You can do one at a time and you can literally uh, stitch it and quilt it at the same time. And then if you want to do additional quilting on it, you can do little squares like a 12 inch square on your quilty, up and quilty, on your cutie. I know, but this you don't need, any, you really don't need to have that because what you could do is as you, you've put your backing down, your wadding down, then you do the bits on the top and as you stitch them down, they are your wadding lines of stitching, stitching lines of wadding. It's time to go home. 16.99. Yeah. Oh, it was one pound cheaper this one. Don't know why. Same competition, same everything. 15.99. And what's it called this one? Hang on, quilt as you go. This one's not got a name, is it? Paris on point. That, it's not me going, oh, hang on, is it that? No? Oh, there you go, there it is, Paris on point, yeah. Yeah, it used to say it here, yeah. 15.99, 15.99. Gorgeous, make sure you check out, always very, very popular quilt as you go, it's from June Taylor. Sorry there's so many issues, but the web and the app and everything today. Well done. Keep checking out on that one. Shh. Jimmy, don't let Jimmy own any of that balloon. He's popped two already. Well done. Yeah, oh yeah, he's gonna get ready. Put his crown on in a minute. When you see a purple curtain draped over some steps, you know Jimmy's going to jump out with nothing on but a crown. <laughs> so be ready for it. If you've, got, if you've got a Zoom on your telly, put the Zoom on. $15.99. Right, moving on. God, I've only got a minute left, look. Ah. I've, got, I've got fairy tales and flowers. Actually, the sample here. Can I just do this one quickly? Is that all right? I would help if I put it the right way up. Look. There you go. <laughs> Bruce, what was the end of that sentence? He went, it's very... Beautiful. Right, so this is... Uh, K Facet, Fairy Tales and Flowers, Quilt Kit in Blue, 139.99. It's not the last one. There's nine of these left. Oh, last auction. I thought you should, I thought she said it's one left, last one. <laughs> 89.99, nine left. Make sure you check out. Right. Keep going through for that one. 89.99. Yeah, very quickly mention the QT before I go. Because that that rat. Oh, oh, oh. The six in baskets. The six in baskets. Might be more now. Let's have a look. Six still in baskets need to be checked out. Please, if you if 
If you want to see the demonstration of it, please go to 10 o'clock Sunday, just gone, and you'll see Samantha from j &B, uh, Machines and me spending an hour on it. We had a lovely time. I even do some, I even do some free motion. 799, but you do need to check out. You do need to check out your baskets. Right, would you like to see tomorrow's menu? It's me again tomorrow, I'm afraid. Rainbow colours at 8 o'clock. Oh, yeah, I've just seen. <laughs> I'll have to have words about that one. Nine o'clock, Crafters Companion, Threaders Christmas Kits with Becky Swan. Ten o'clock, Gifting. Eleven o'clock, Crafters Companion, New Autumn Dice Collection. And West Yorkshire Spinners, Home for Christmas with Danielle Dean. I will see you tomorrow morning at eight o'clock. Hobby Maker Up Now with, um, 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 I've forgotten the word already. Hunky Dory. No, not you. I'm talking about the, the, the Hunky Dory. I knew it was Sherilyn, but the Hunky Dory. Wasn't your name, I've forgotten. They t I asked earlier, what is it? So I know what to say. And what? Anne Marie's birthday. And you can tell how old she is by looking at the balloons. <laughs> that sounds wrong. I'll see you tomorrow. Make sure you check out. Uh, I'm going later on, go and watch that, that film about the cutie. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>